Hello, hello, hello everyone. We are here and it is time to finally enter Albion, a place that I've been wanting to get to ever since the initial reveal of Unicorn Overlord and the idea that it would be kind of open world, although getting to Albion is definitely not the first thing you can do on your list. There are things to do prior to that. Uh, even if you can probably rush there in a fairly efficient manner, it's not going to be super viable. But anyway, I'm very excited to get there, and I'm very excited to have a nice daytime stream with all y'all. I've been seeing people say in the pre-stream chat as I've been getting things set up and getting a little bit of calisthenics and uh, light exercising done, because I haven't been too active the last couple days, which is bad. Uh, but I've been seeing people say that they're surprised that I'm doing a stream so soon after we were up late last night. But the idea is that I want to get another really good stream in and push towards the end of the game. I want to start Trues and Oiren soon. I have a lot of content that I want to do that requires me to finish Albion, like a bunch of side quest compilations, analysis of different character classes, all that type of stuff. Um, and I want to do that while people are still looking for that information, so I can try to make sure that the stuff people want to know is actually out there and available via the channel. So, I want to push on. We're not going to be able to clear Albion today, I'm sure, let alone finish the game, but uh, we're going to make some good progress, for sure. Plus, there's some supporter characters that are in Albion that I want to make sure that we pick up feather units, things like that. So, a lot that I want to do. And I'm planning on getting a very good stream in here today. Uh, also, thank you to everyone who's gone and checked out the Best Rules video already. That's doing quite well. Best video that I've had go up in the last couple of days, so I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun just blathering on about how good Best Rule units are. It was a fun little video to do really quick. Oh. See, a lot of people are here in chat right now already. Daniel J, Izzy, Grim Tidings. Oh, actually, Daniel J is saying he won't be able to make it. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. Uh, Momo is here, Michael Poole, Brunt, TR Lightwing again, hello, hello, Cyberwolf, Pristinely Ungifted, Bane Gaetti. Bane, every time I see your name, because I've been, like, absorbing so much Dune content, I keep thinking Bene Gesserit, <laughs> with the capital B, capital G. Uh, so if I stutter every time I go to say your name, that's why. Uh, poor Tactics Ogre, I know, Odd Panda, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and yet our fortunes it's gonna happen, it's gonna them. get finished, goddammit. Also, Sidwa, thank you for joining us. Very good to have you. The earliest you can get to Albion is after beating Elf Kingdom. Exactly, exactly. A mighty sword arm. Uh, this is the last VOD. You're trying to ruin my sleep schedule, aren't you? Yeah, another Unicorn Overlord stream insomnia. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I said this at the end of the last stream. I want to say it again here. Thank you for adding Antonio to your army. Of course, of course. Thank you for the support, Cyberwolf. Oh, oh. Warrior. <laughs> Uh-oh. Michael Poole is at it again. Gifting five memberships to the community. Thank you for the generosity once again, sir. Holy crap. Uh, and welcome to Skizulander, Super Blue, Jack J, Aaron Pitts, and Okat Amerpus. Let's start the stream off right with a little love. Very much appreciated, sir. Very much appreciated. Um, and welcome to all of the purpose. new members. Good to have you guys with us. Hope you enjoy your new access to beans, and uh, hope you enjoy your time around the channel. A tune where a man becomes a giant worm prophet. Exactly. You can also just call me Bane. I probably will. It's just because of the B and the G, it just makes me think of it every time. Which way are you going to start Albion from? I think starting from the Bastoria side might be more apt. I mean, that's where we're at right now, so we may as well. I'm curious about what it's like starting from uh, Elheim, but... Just finished my playthrough last night at 3 a.m. Can't wait to see what you think when you get feather bows. Oh, it's going to be fun, Chrono. It's going to be fun. Okay, well, that is a strong start from Michael here. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, you guys will notice we actually have Oclise here. Uh-oh, hold on, got to sneeze. Okay, my apologies. Uh, <clears throat> we have Oclise here in the squad with Amalia, because I figured it would only be appropriate to bring her along into Albion, and it's been a while. Uh, and, you know, I got my last unit here up to uh, five members, so we are now maxed out all ten of our squads now have five members, and we're ready to rock. Oclise will wind up getting subbed out at some point here, but I got her leveled up. I got her set up with a cool little burn build with the Flamberge, because, you know, like Angel, Paladin, and everything but class name, burning with Holy Fire, all that type of fun stuff. Uh, and also, because we do have an Idealist Hand Mirror here somewhere, I thought anyway. You know, I thought I did. Yes, there we are. We're going to change Oclise's color scheme as well. Because, I mean, at this point, 
we don't really have much need for idealist hand mirrors anymore. We're going to be subbing out the majority of the rest of our named units for backer members or backer characters, uh, supporter characters by the time we finish Albion. So I figure we may as well use this on her now, make our awesome goth angel, and then uh, we can move on. By the way, like, finally decided who to marry. I married Ocleese. I mean, that's a good choice. Ocleese was definitely at the top of my list prior to Berengaria showing up. Do I do some off-stream grinding slash housekeeping? Occasionally, yeah. Very occasionally. Uh, like, I went through and I just donated a bunch of materials to different uh, villages and stuff to get our money and honors up and everything. Uh, since I did get a bunch of money from that, I went and I bought the majority of the things that I wanted from the black market merchant in Pistorius. So we're set up in a pretty good position at this point. All right. Go get her, go get her. Uh, don't know that that's super necessary. I'd rather have her have a little bit more offense than that. Uh, and then we can probably keep another go getter, maybe precise. Ah, she doesn't have good crit rate, so. Yeah, we can have a go-getter. All right. Now, base color. Uh, we can change the armor to black. All right. And change the hair to black. And then change the pants to orange. Yes. And the accent color to... Come on, give me orange. Might have to be yellow. That might be the closest we're going to get. I mean, that's pretty dope. We could also make her hair orange. Hmm. The fact that the wings don't change is really disappointing. I was expecting the wings to change color. I do kind of like the orange hair, honestly. And then we could go black for the accent color here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's hot. Let's go. We shall succeed. I swear it. Black wings would have been sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. Middle of the deserves way more love. Oh, absolutely, Sebastian. Absolutely. See, Michael, you and I were of the same opinion here, my friend. Okay, uh, there's really nothing else to do. I didn't have the unsullied scrap metal that I needed to get this town upgraded to Basaurus, so we will do that as soon as we have the ability to do so. We'll station a guard there, and then Basaurus will be done, other than, like, you know, the shrine here and trying out a couple of the other weapons over here, stuff like that. Um, what's this? Stone Circle, Stone Circle, Cornea Sanctuary. Yeah, I guess we do have to go clean up those Stone Circles at some point, but it's not super pressing. So, nah, screw it, man. It's time to go to Albion. Let's go. Halloween colors. Always, always. I love the Halloween colors. Here we go. The northern coast of Albion. Don't know how people find the elves weak. The sisters are busted. The elf archer's been very good. Support archer and fences are fine. To my credit, I haven't used the elf sisters much because of the whole, like, generic characters thing. Um, but I do like the fencer and the archer a lot. It's just, you need to think a little bit more about how you want to use them compared to something like the best rules that you can just start slapping into places. Wow, the music. Okay, I suddenly feel like we are stepping onto very sacred territory, which we are. Okay, okay. We have a Shrine of the Animal here. This is one of the last two. Alright, a legionnaire. That's already a good sign for our Trinity Rain These build. These are beaten, broken souls. What's going on? And yet our fortunes ride with oh. them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, Skiron's Great Shield. Physical defense 16, guard rate 40%, guard efficiency 50%, plus 5 initiative and hastened cover. Activates before an ally's attacked. Cover an ally with medium guard. Grants that ally max initiative for their next action. That is interesting. Hmm. That could be pretty good on Amalia, actually. 
Because I don't... I'm not too worried about these immunities for her, honestly. Not when we have a cleric. Uh, which actually I should probably, if we're going to do that, set, uh... Refresh. But yeah, then we put this here. Gives her hastened cover, if needed. Alright. I like it. I like it. Uh, I would like her to have a sapphire pendant again, though. Who has one of them for me? I have one on um, Oclise, but she doesn't necessarily need it. She could just take the lapis pendant. I just put it on her because it was available. Uh, yeah, let's swap that with Oclise. There we go. Cool. Goes to the end, all I will say is make sure all your units are at a good level. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we're doing pretty all right. I think we're doing pretty okay in terms of level. Fitting for the angel place to have a choir. Oh, yeah, and it's beautiful. More star iron. How much of that do we even have at this point? We're getting stocked up again pretty quick. Yeah, seven. Three more and we can get the last two uh, weapons. Or at least the other two that we haven't already gotten. Man, this place really does feel like the Altus Plateau in Elden Ring. I remember the first time I walked into Altus. Oh. Bradley. Ah. This is one of the guys who's one of the traitors, right? Who is at the capital, Elania. What do you wastrels think you're doing? Don't let them get away. Oh, boy. Ugh. Nice, Albion soldier. All right. Hurry, Rainus, go! Uh, oh, I should be using Scarlet here, too. There's someone over there. Hmm. Poor woman. It would seem she was cut down from behind. Uh, how can this be? Oh, Rainis. You know her. She was once my lady in waiting, yes. Oh, interesting. Stand back. I think I can heal her wounds. Hey, Lady there we go. Scarlet, I thank the Father above for your safety. You've grown much since last we met. Before me stands not the child I remember, but a full-blooded soldier of the Liberation. How can you tell? Is it our color schemes? This isn't exactly how I imagined our reunion, but... I'm glad you're all right, Rainis. And still as stunning as ever, I see. What have you been doing these days? Fighting back. I string my bow for a small resistance movement backed by almost every last of Albion's lords. Okay, cool. Good the to know that there's has a, not bent the knee to Zenoira. An active resistance they going on. They maintain deference outwardly, all while funding our revolt from behind the curtain of anonymity. As a result, the territories that fall outside the church's purview are locked in fierce civil war. Oh, me too, Cyberwolf. She's got a great voice. And how did you come to be knocked out on the ground here? I was sent as a messenger to request aid for the resistance. But I was soon discovered by a band of Zenorans who turned their blades upon me and struck. My wounds ran deep, yet I was able to escape until... Well, you know what happened next. Rhaenys, was it? Zenoira is our enemy as much as they are yours. We will purge them from this holy land. And see Albion restored. Hell yeah, Elaine. As I should have expected, word of your noble actions has long reached our ears, Prince Elaine. Allow me to lend my aptitude to the effort. It's barely been ten minutes since you were rapping on the father's door, begging him to welcome you. You need rest, and you're not fighting anyone until you get it. Of course, Lady Scarlet. Hey, Noodles, what's up? How you doing? Oh, Travis Beckman subscribed as well. Welcome, Travis. If you truly wish to wage this battle alone, I'll not intervene. I only pray you find success in my stead. The Faithless Knight. Interesting. Well, I mean, we should recruit her, definitely. Huh. Interesting that it won't let us. I have no choice but to fight ahead any further, Lane. Are you ready? Level 30. On the shores of Albion, the Liberation encounters a resistance fighter named Rhaenys, who was injured while delivering a message. After treating her, they hurry off to aid in defense against Zenoira. Aww, yeah. 
Spitting bars get into heaven. Love the sentence rapping on the father's door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. I unfortunately don't have the honors to promote Scarlet, or we would use her here, but... Just made it to Albion last night. We're literally in the same area. Hell yeah, noodles. Let's take Albion together, brother. It's as you expected, sir. The rebels have come ashore. God, all the angels have such cool voices. Of fate all too easily seen. It is a strange feeling. Crossing swords with my countrymen half a world away from our common home. I don't envy the duty, sir. All the same, this is a burden I must bear. Interesting. Why is Bradley already uncomfortable with this? He's not, like, laughably evil like Gaith was, or whatever his name was. I'll spill the blood of any who stand in our way, even that mm. of my own kin. Very interesting. I'm sorry, my lord. Waste not a shred of worry on it. We share the same stigma, you and I. Traitors who sold their own nations to Zenoira for the frail promise mm. of one more sunrise. He's just a coward, got it. <laughs> Let us relish that tie which binds us from one turncoat to another. Now then, our quarry is the forgotten heir of Queen Elenia. Ready your blade and seek to plunge it deep into the boy's chest. I think he's voiced by... He almost sounds like he's voiced by Joseph. My prince, our adversary in this battle is not Zenoira alone, but the perpetual march of time itself. Okay, Joseph. <laughs> not the time to get deeply philosophical on me here, bud. Like, I know you're getting old, but, like, Jesus, save it for after the fight. Zenoira armor on the angels is pretty cool. It is, yeah. Keith Silverstein is Bradley's voice? Ah, okay. I'm confused. I know in the intro, uh, Renal Hodrick and the General and Elheim were in Queen Squad. Is this another squad mate? No, so, Brunt, if you look around in that very intro mission, uh, you can actually, like, once the game makes you click on Galerius to go fight him, you can actually stop and you can move out to the edges of the map. And at each gate, there's an enemy squad led by a, like, semi-unique general. Uh, and this guy, Bradley, is one of them. Um, the general that you fight in the huge fort at the north of Drakenhold is one of them. The warlock who we just killed in Pistorius is one of them. There's a bunch of different people scattered around who are the traitor lords of Cornea, who either betrayed Cornea to save themselves or were mind controlled into doing it, one or the other. Although it seems like they all did it willingly from what we've seen thus far. And as you may have noticed, my allies stand well and truly surrounded by the enemy. I beg of you, do what you must to deliver them to safety. One final thing, Your Highness. Lady Rainus has asserted that a man named Bradley commands the invading army. It saddens me to say he once stood as a holy knight of Cornea, same as I. In any case, we shall have to make our way beyond this gate if we seek to oppose him. Past the watchtowers, you mean, but how? It is a question we didn't answer at the present moment. Come, we must first attend to Rainus's allies. Cool. Okay, so we can't let them be defeated. Got it. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, exactly, Ocean Gale. The perpetual march of time itself has been an adversary since Battle 1, Joseph. It's called the Timer. Exactly. Alright, so enemies are all level 30. Super Cav Squad. Yikes. Got Feather Bows here. We gotta look at what they do. Bunch of Breakers and stuff. So many Feather Bows. Jeez. Ugh, yeah, level 29. They'll hold for a little while, but not that long. And they only have three or four guys to a squad. Or gals, actually. Uh, alright. Then we got thieves These are and cell swords. Broken and calves, souls. And more archers. And yet our fortunes legionnaires. With them. Yeah, get Mahoney. Alright, Bradley. So, yeah. Okay. He is a paladin. Interesting. Yeah, so really... 
The Sainted Knights and Paladins, like, they even have basically the same sprite. I never really thought about that. They just have slightly different skill sets. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, so Bradley's basically just going to be Joseph. Um... Holy Barrier, Divine Cross, yeah. Pretty much all the things you would expect. He does have a Sapphire Pendant. Okay. And the last one of them is guarding uh, one of the paths of the Cornian Capital. Ah, uh, okay, I was wondering about that. Alright, so we've got ruins down south. We've got a town up north. We're definitely going to want to split our forces a little bit and get a big hastened call going on. So, I'm heading out. Get you guys out here. Absolutely. You they guys out ours. here. We need. Just set. I make for battle. I am your and humble servant. We activate a Hallowed Cornash. Bring out two more squads. We'll get all beans units to charge down towards our friends. And. Maybe Octavia's unit to do the same. Or Alexandra's unit. Let's stay calm Either way. Alright, here we go. Hasten call. Beautiful. Let's Let's thank you enough, it took you long enough. Now, Feather Bows, what do you do? Cool looking. Accuracy, evasion, and initiative are their strengths. Boast excellent accuracy and magic defense. Oh yeah, fair, fair. Uh, grows stronger in daytime battles, can lower enemy accuracy, ineffective versus anti-flying. Okay. 2x dodge rate versus ground to melee, 2x damage for bow attacks versus 37 flying. <laughs> hmm. Uh, can provide range assist for allied units, ignores terrain and trap effects when moving. Delaying shot. Ooh. Physical potency 25, but hit count of 4. Attack a single enemy, inflicts initiative minus 20. Saints shot. 80 physical potency, attack a single enemy, inflict passive points minus one, additional passive points minus one to ground-based targets. Gross. That is gross. Can we teleport to the green units? Uh, I don't believe so, no. I think we've tried to do that before. They aren't similar, though. It just looks like male and female. No, they are. They're both cavalry units with swords and shields. They're both high uh, anti-magic defense units. One that just has a single target heal and shield. And the other has row, heal, and shields. And that's that's the main difference between the two. Hello, how's everyone doing? We're doing good, Izzy. We're doing good. Photon arrow. Attack two enemies, inflicts physical defense minus 50%, and inflicts passive seal during the day. Ugh. Aerial Pursuit activates after a flying ally attacks. Follow up, attack a single enemy. Oh, so they're... Yeah, okay. They're gonna, like, do the sellsword thing, basically, if they all have... If it's all flying people. Tailwind activates after using an active skill. Grants a row of allies plus 10 initiative. Shh, yep. And Shining Light activates before an enemy uses an attack skill. Inflicts blindness on a row of enemies. Ah! That's why people were saying I was going to want anti-blind stuff. Hmm... <laughs> Similar would be like Cellsword or male and female are just the same. No, that would be identical. It's just a different sprite, but they have the exact same kit. Paladins and Radiant Knights have similar kits, but different. Like, they do differ from each other. Delay. Increase the wait time of an enemy unit by five seconds. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> that's very rude. All right. Interesting. Where should I start? Um, a bunch of breakers and stuff here. I am your humble here. servant. I make you guys haste. go down here. Where should I go? You guys Advancing. go over here. Took with you long the enough. Unit. Got it. Uh -huh. Everyone else is going to push. I guess I'm going through here. The time is at hand. To me. All right, Elaine, mess them up. Your villainy ends here. Yeah, why not? First Trinity reign of the day. Let's go. Tis trouble. So the range assist is nasty, but we survived, barely. Our training has led us here. It's up to you. Goodbye. Hey. 
<laughs> First mission in Angel Land? Yes, sir. Wow, okay, the luck on this one. Allow me to mend your wounds. The huge heal, love it. Alright, sit down, ma'am. Guys, come on, you gotta land these hits. Guys! There we go. Alright, now certainly you're not going to miss 274s, Elaine. There we go. Got a roll of bad luck there. We march on. Crazy that Sainted Knights are great and Paladins suck, though. I don't necessarily think the Paladins suck. They just definitely fall into a much more defensive role. Like, Sainted Knights don't really want to be on the front line, from my experience, but Paladins are quite good on the front line. Also, Crow is subscribed. Welcome, Crow. <laughs> All right, Elaine, can you mow Onward. these two down really quick? Or these three, I should say. Not a problem. Backup's not so bad. Brace yourself. Let's keep going. God. Not a problem. All I want is to reach these guys so that I can get rid of the range assists. There we go. Come then. Ooh, interesting. Oh, it's because they're blinding her, I bet. Yeah, okay, so hold on here. Uh, we don't need the Magia Soul here. So let's get Blind Resist, which... Oh god, what even gives you Blind Resist? I know we have something, it's just been ages since I looked at it. I mean, there's there's just the signet ring, of course, but there was a specific anti-blind something. Was it the... it was one of the lanterns. Yeah, where's the... There we go. Yep, there we go. That does it. <laughs> Darkness immunity, baby. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds. Tis trouble. A little late. Hi, Tom. Hi, Grim. Albion is where you skip battle and wonder why you got wiped out. <laughs> yeah, I definitely intend to keep an eye on how a lot of these units perform since they're so new to us. I do love the uh, Feather Bow's animations already. Very cool. So all these guaranteed criticals mean nothing. Bolster your defenses. I love the battle music here as well. Ten divide shards away from getting Trinity Rain. Oh, noodles. Once you do, man. Once you do, it's a good time. Alright, so now they should be able to handle the rest up here. Everyone, please move. Come on. Charge. Gladly. Time to prove myself. To forge a brighter dawn for Fevrith. Hope you're paying me more for this. There's the act of steel. Again, I don't really want that. We gotta take that off of him. Uh do -do 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 -do. and then passive steel. I wanna move down. Okay. Well, the main thing is I really want a passive steal to guarantee that I can first aid. So let's do this. Yeah, there we go. That's how I had it before. Um, now you guys you rest. You I guys start? go fight. Jesus. Um, and so first of all, Oclise is going to be in danger here because of the feather bows. That is absolutely going to be a problem for her. Perhaps. I'm your humble servant. 
We do this instead. I make haste. Took you long enough. Got it. And we can bring them over as well. If I have to. And then let these fine. guys push south. Uh, we can get more units out as well, so let's do that. Nils' unit somehow doesn't have a another character. How the hell did we manage that? Okay. Uh, well. Who would we like to have in here? Um, another archer would not be bad. Just the ranged assists would not be terrible. Um, we could grab someone like Virginia as a frontliner. We could get Joseph as a frontliner, bring Scarlet in here. She's underleveled, but obviously we can fix that with time. Um, let's put Joseph in here for now, just so we can make these guys quick, because we can make him the leader then. I'm not as worried about having the ranged assists right now. And then we can bring in him out. Of the Lord, what would you ask? Because the archers will be useful up as here as wish. well. And then Octavia's unit will bring out. Where's my prey? What are we doing? To continue pushing, they can actually go for the ruins here. Okay. Your villainy ends here. We're just gonna run down everyone who's trying to get away from us and try to the shit out of them. Auroraville seems kind of meaningless if there are no enemy the magic units. It's literally just there out of laziness, Momo. Yeah. Because everything usually dies before she even activates it. Why Lane has a witch in his squad at all times for me to play on the edge of Jeff's kiss. Yeah, that's not a bad idea to switch to. I have to see, maybe I can swap that around on our backup witch for Lane. We march on. A fine bout. So let's see here. First of all, for Aurora Vale, let's set the condition here for Caster. And then, does she have anything else she can use? It's a single target? Yeah, may as well do that. And if there's no reason to Aurora Vale, just night vision? Hell yeah. Uh, now, over here. Yeah, see, so we need our passive points for the hastened action. That's the thing. Now, that said, if we're not using the Magia Soul here, Valerie can actually use it. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Okay, cool. Uh, Elaine, push for the tower. What is it? You guys sure. run them down. Good. I'm here. You face me. <laughs> Change leader doesn't cost valor. Uh, only if you have them deployed. I'm gonna try now. Do you get the Trinity Rain in the demo? No, I don't think so, Underworld Gaming. Like, it's technically there, but you wouldn't have the points to use it. And also, I don't think you could farm up the Divine Shard in the five hour time limit that you would need. Don't go dying on me. Yeah, I'm really happy with where we've got Elaine's squad at this point. They are so nasty. I'm just bullying these poor priests. The lifesaver. Interesting. First time I think we've ever seen that activate. It is wild to me, like, that I'm actually getting comments from people, which is fine if they disagree, but, like, the, the power level of Vestral units that people are confused by that is insane. Just a bit stronger. Good. Yeah, like, a lot of people saying they think Vestral units are bad, or, like, not as good as elves, which is like, no, well absolutely not. Like, elves are still really good, but special units are insanely strong. Especially if you can build around them. Oh my god. 
to me. Let's get this over with. Easy there. <laughs> I love her swamp. Where Fox and Shaman is insanely busted. Oh yeah. Nice. Big damage. Both have their strength and weaknesses. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, that's the thing, is like, there's really no bad classes in Unicorn Overlord. Um, it's just the way that you play and how you lean into the strength and weaknesses of different classes. That said, that's why I think best rule units are so strong. Because any one of them can easily stand on their own and slot into any squad that isn't just trying to combo off. And like, yeah, you can just try and have every squad built to combo off, but you certainly don't need to in any way. And that's what makes Bestial Units so good. Hold on. Stealing this Dark Knight squad? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, I love this squad. Yeah, I have to put together another Steal the Squad video. Um, but probably go back to three squads per video. Make debuffs 1.5x more effective for rogue enemies. Interesting. Huh. I'm glad that's over with. Um, yeah, people seem to resonate more with the video that showed three squads. People really like the Super Tax Bros and the Bruno video as well. But I think a wider range of information per video is what people are looking for. So, I mean, we certainly have plenty of examples between our most recent round of squads and the previous iteration as well for like mid game versus late game stuff. Definitely. Uh huh. I guess I'm going. Your orders, sir. All right. Let's not have As you guys blow yourselves up here. Awaiting your command. Very well. Where Where squad can soften them. This should be easy. Those are the allies Rainus mentioned. Indeed, let us rid the area of any onrushing Zenoiran soldiers. Literally about to say there's no bad class, it just depends on how you use them. Exactly, exactly. But I truly do think that, like, the Bestral units are close to power creep. Like, Vanilla was smart about how they did it, so things like where Fox don't just completely outclass rogues, they still have their niches and everything. But, like, where Owl? Where Owl is pretty nasty. Where Bear compared to Legionnaire also pretty nasty. They both have their uses. They're both good, but like Bestial units are insane. I did it. Ask, and it shall be done. I don't have a choice. Fix my Gladiator and Shaman problem with three Great Knights and Rosalinda. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Definitely. You've made your attacks unguardable, but have you made them unblindable, you fools? Onward. I love that you can blind them so their blind doesn't Easy hit. There. That's hysterical. <laughs> Keep trying, ladies. Bonk. Take a hit. <laughs> nice refresh, thank you, ma'am. The quick barrier is huge. Very nice. Sacred heal going. <laughs> Clerics are so strong, dude. Clerics are so good. How much level difference between normal and expert? Uh, I don't know. I've never played on normal. Smart of their smartness, fought blindness with blindness. Sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire, man. Oh. 
have to respond to a comment quick. Almost done, but I'm thinking about that. doing a Vanguard and Viking only run. Ooh, that would be interesting. That's our side down. Just have to deal with the enemies over there, and we're in the clear. I kind of want to do a, like, Holy War run, where I only use, like, Holy units and Armored units and stuff like that. <laughs> like, Priests, Knights, um, Paladins, different stuff like that. Like, Angel units once we can get them. I think that would be a ton of fun. I think that would be a lot of fun, just thematically. I like to do themed stuff. I'm a big like now, tribal player in magic and stuff like that. How may I assist? Forward. Awaiting your command. Took you long enough. Okay. I fear death approaches. That's fine. We're gonna take a beating here, but we'll soften them up significantly. So. Knights Templar run basically. Bolster your defenses. Fine, you boys bulk up as much as you want. I love that my elven fencer is just completely negating everything that their archers are trying to do. Woo! Oh, thank God he couldn't see. Ow! All right, yeah, grand smash, nasty. Yeah, these berserkers, man, Jesus. Keep going. Swing, swing away. To forge a brighter dawn for Fabric. Ice Skull Arrow attacks two enemies and inflicts freeze. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't know that Elven Archers got freeze. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is curious. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want her to have a Carnelian. Because that is pretty damn nice. Um, I've got pretty particular setups on a lot of these guys now. So that, this should be fine. This way she can Ice Skull Arrow and then either Mystic Conferral or Wind Arrow. That should be good. Now, also that Grand Slam, or Grand Smash, never seen that before. Attacks all enemies, plus 50 potency if the user is at 100% HP. Yeah. Fair enough. That hurt, man. That hurt a lot. I cannot wait for Bruno to have that. A Crusader army sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Item limitation on the experts stop you from just item spamming your way to victory. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. And I, I do like that about Expert. It makes using some defensive items like mines and mantlets and stuff a little less fun. But it does make it rewarding when you know that you've I'll used your items very you effectively. Are. Where should I start? Gladly. Man, getting through these guys is tough with our current setups, but I mean, we're getting there. I'm not loving my odds. I mean it works. It works. We finish off a few more of them, and then Joseph Squad should be able to bring them down. Oh, oh Cleese looks so cool. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. With a single strike! Onward! I've had enough of you! Yeah, the line is rough. You okay? Can you match me? So much initiative right now. Good guard. Watch and learn. 
Assign no anguish to an empty purse. Yeah, the blinds are so nasty. So... Things with refresh? Obviously going to be very important here. Really, you left it with one. Um, any sort of anti-blind is going to be really good. Debuff resist is going to be very important. Oh, because Berserk, right, lets him survive with one. That's right. Accessories that deal with blind are going to be very, very what nice. We have options here, though. Know. We have options. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Jesus, Izzy! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Izzy with the one hundo. The 100 super chat. Yo, Tom, I forgot about this. Now shut up and take my money. <laughs> I will not shut up. You're too kind. You don't have to do these things. Although, I, of course, I do endlessly appreciate it, Izzy. But, like, Jesus Christ, man. Thank you so much. That is incredibly generous of you. Like, oh my god. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. And Justin Nixon, thank you for subscribing as well. Um, chat, I just want to call out. YouTube's telling me to celebrate Izzy's third super on a live stream. All three of those, if I remember correctly, have been $100 super chats. What the fuck? Uh, where have all of you incredibly generous people come from? My word. My god. <laughs> we'll hit eventually, team. There we go. The battle is won. Nice. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. This should help the cause. Woof. Look at that level. Holy smokes. I've not chosen my grave yet. Awaiting your all right. very well. Grab that. I have taken Boom. it as our own. Harbor acquired. Thank the Father you've come. Please, accept this tincture in return. I have little use of it now myself. Fair enough, thank you. I should warn you, my vision has been clouded by an enemy featherbow. If only I had a cleric in my unit capable of curing it. I suggest you employ one yourself if you hope to proceed further into enemy territory. I'll not Way ahead of you on that, brother. Way ahead of you on that. Uh, let's go Onward. back these guys up. Got plenty of valor, so that's good. Attack call. I mean, okay. Wasn't planning on fighting there anytime soon, but whatever you say, bud. Oh yeah. All right, here they come. The time is at hand. Yeah, like all the way back there. Okay, whatever. To me. Get them, lads. Your villainy ends here. Wonder what class would count as demonic for a demon run? Yeah. That Doom Knight, Dark Marquess, and Druid. Uh, uh, you could say Berserker because they have a demon inside of them, you know, that type of idea. <laughs> Good Lord, Izzy, are you an oil baron or something? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> My legs grow heavy. I mean, I'll be friends with an oil baron. <laughs> Listen. To. If it helps me achieve Fine. my goal of earning enough through YouTube on a consistent basis so that my girlfriend Jane can quit the job that she doesn't enjoy and pursue what she actually wants, I'm that I'm not gonna complain and I'm not gonna argue. That is the goal. Come then. I've need of a rest. Keep it up, Elaine. You face me. My legs All right. grow heavy. We prevented everything that was charging at the base. Looks like that about does it. Tis an honor you've come to our aid, good sirs. You've done well indeed, Rainus. Still, I can't imagine Bradley will accept such a failure without protest. Urgent news, my prince. Enemy ships approach from the north. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Interesting. And that was a battering ram? If I may, sir, our most urgent priority is marching upon the enemy's commander. Interesting. Should you but escort me to that gate, I shall see it shattered into a thousand pieces. You're going to put an escort quest in Unicorn Overlord now? Guys, you can't do this to me now. Okay, let us continue the advance. All right. Um, we march. Well, you better take what it damn it? slow, girl. Uh, cause we gotta get caught up. Jesus. Uh, what are these gonna like? Oh, they're going to spawn feather bows. Oh, yikes! Can I like go attack the ships? Or no, they're manned by feather bows. Oh, Where my lord! What? Understood. Okay, Your go, go, go. If you would. Go, go, go. Um, I shall fight until my final breath. You post I up. I won't you go down this easy. withdraw. This should be easy. What in the good goddamn? And we don't have a staging point. Is this? I don't think I can deploy from there. Can I take this? I don't know if I can. What would you ask? If I can, that'd be huge. Go, By Joseph. Your word. All right, let me catch up with chat quick. Aw, oh, you cheese ball. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. Jane and I have supported each other ever since we first met back in college during her freshman year, my sophomore year. We've been with each other ever since. First as friends, then as you know, romantically inclined. Been through thick and thin. And there's been times where she's supported me, where I've supported her. And it's my goal to make it so that she can do what she loves to do. Because I'm doing what I love to do right now. And she helped get me to this point. So it's only right that I return the favor. So keep that in mind. Any support that you give me and the channel, you're supporting an extremely hardworking and much deserving woman as well. I'm getting out of here. Success. Oh my god, the catapult is moving. Uh the time is Okay, the hold up. Hold up. We're just gonna put this down. It won't slow them down, but it'll slow them down at least. Uh I can also instantly end wait timers if I have to, but like Okay, they're going out after the ships as well. That's good. Oh, they're just gonna keep spamming the attack call. I see. Interesting. All right. Made it. Okay, do a parrying. That's cool. Okay. Time is at hand. Uh. I mean, just go. Onward. Just if fucking go. How far can I wild rush? Not quite far enough at the moment, but... Sure. What is actually, it? while we're here, we've got plenty of valor. Let's swap this so we've what got more I move do? speed. As you command, I have arrived. Oh, we can take it! <gasps> That's huge! Okay. Okay. That well, changes everything. Anymore. I knew we could obviously take enemy Very ones, well. but I wasn't sure how allied garrisons would work. Okay. Everyone march. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I know, Joseph. I don't want you. I want. There we go. Let me at him. What would you ask? Not you. Heading out. Awaiting your command. I'm heading out. Whenever you need me. And then we go with a feather here to boost everyone's speed. And we charge because we got to catch up to that battering ram and now. I do like that this is forcing a uh, change in my strategy that I was planning, As though. Wish. Very, very interesting. You for me? I'm going. Okay. Found something fancy. Miracle fruit, nice. Found something fancy. I love that voice line. It is a deficient plan. Oh. Because of the ranged assists. Yeah, let's fix that, shall we? 
my last Wind Fairy's Charm. I can never have enough of these. This is like by far my most used consumable. Very noble of you, mad respect. Well, thank you, Grim. Thank you. Elaine's uniform changed the red. That looks sick. I actually changed that. That was my change. You can change the way your uniques look with the idealist hand mirror consumable that you can find. Thundercloud on the ships? I probably can, yeah. Should have given you way more shield shooters. Shield shooters would have been great. Yeah, we have one, but only one, and she can only be in so many different places at once, and right now she's up north. What I can do is I can provoke them out of the towers, though, which will help a lot. What does the fairy charm do? It prevents all assist attacks from hitting you for one round of combat. Didn't know you could change combat or outfits. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I actually have a uh, a whole video talking about it, Barry. If you want to check it out, um, it t like talks about where you can find the different mirrors, what they like to do, all that type of stuff. Prove your loyalty. Sadly, I made a feather bow for you in Patreon since we're entering Albion. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I do definitely want to get the feather unit. And I think at this point we've got everything but a feather staff. We've got a feather shield. I think two feather swords and a feather bow lined up, if I remember correctly. Could go back to swords and check around for more fairy charm things. We can, yeah. I just I know I've been buying them, but I'm sure there's ones I haven't gotten thus far. Uh, okay. We're going to mess up the witches next, so that we don't have to worry about them. We have to pull them out of the tower, though. we got plenty of item uses left, so let's go with a beckoning bell. Pull them. So reduce their range. Notably, the battering ram took a severe hit before we could uh, get pushed up. So, is it... Come then. Is it a lost condition if the battering ram goes down? It I didn't actually ever see. No, it's not. Okay, it's just a convenience thing. Got it. Cool. So that's fine then. Your villainy ends here. Well fought. Good. The time is at hand. To me. Go, Elaine, go. Not a problem. Alright, kill this ship. That's good. Don't mind if I do. Venom Thrust. Attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike, inflicts poison, and debuffs target HP recovery by 50%, and gets plus 50 potency versus poison targets. Ooh. Ooh, I would not mind putting the poison team not together again for that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Where... Need okay. something? The issue is the thundercloud isn't going to reach them before a reinforcement wave comes out, but we can at least <sighs> let's move closer so the thundercloud Easy. can hopefully get there. We'll have to deal with one wave of reinforcements that shouldn't be too bad, and then we can send out the thundercloud to put them in a recovery state. Hopefully, where should I go? We'll see if it actually works that way. Heading there now. Whenever they already lose me. their speed. Okay, go. Wherever you'd like me. I wonder if the campfire right away will heal these guys. That would be pretty nice if it did. This will come in handy. Come then. Alright, the there rest. goes the tower. Very nice. We march. I mean we can just wait here for the archers to come to us. I'm not too worried about that. Awaiting your command. Very well. Conversely, we can just get Joseph's squad in there. <laughs> your villainy come. Just for the XP. I'm actually getting better at this. Nice. Okay. Good. Everyone gather around the fire. Gladly. Three feather bows and two Vikings. And same thing over here. That is rude. I've reached my destination. War funds 20k. Nice. Yeah. All right. Now thundercloud.
Use Valor to heal the battering ram. Oh, can you? Well, the issue is that they've got three units down. Um, however, we can life aid them. Gotta make it count. Good. And what then Joseph like? here can go for the heal. Appreciate nice. All right, everyone gather around. Understood. What sucks? I await your next Need orders. something? Sure, sure. Closing on the ship. Time to prove myself. We'll take damage, but we'll damage them. Hopefully, put them in a recovery state again. I'm not sure how this works. I've burned squad to stack. I was wondering if I can hit them with both. Uh, yeah, you can't stack poison, but um, I don't think you can have both on either. I think it's one or the other. Maybe I'm incorrect on that. Nice. Not bad. You can inflict with both. Ah, interesting. I don't know how you can be burning and frozen at the same time, but it's a thing. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Sometimes it's all about that rule of cool, you know? Have to gather my strength. It's mine to lose. Very nice. Very, very nice. These are beaten, <laughs> broken. So souls. many people and in my comments right now with them. are just dumping all over Bestrals, man. Wow. Wow. People do not know how to appreciate really good classes in this game. That's wild. Like, I... I have to read this. Bestials are better enemies than they are allies. Elves sat on my team for their magic damage to crush through late game armor and high physical defense. Bestials got benched because they would die and not do enough damage while dying. So, what I'm hearing is someone had a setup that supported elves and didn't want to put, make a setup that supported Bestials, so Bestials are bad. That's what I'm hearing. That is what I'm hearing from that. Which is wildly ridiculous to say. <laughs> Special good versus players, not as good versus AI. Completely untrue. Completely untrue. Your orders, if as you evidenced by the fact that we've been advancing. using them to great effect. What are we doing? Here. Not a problem. I think the biggest problem with Bestial is that you can easily clear the game with only in the so first three so areas. Good. People don't want to reconfigure teams that late in the game. I mean, Whenever see, that's the me. thing, right? You're trying to go for a base, you sneaky, cheeky Heading bastards. There now. The thing is, you could literally clear the entire game with just units from Cornea. Not even human units from Drakenhold. Just units from Cornea. You could clear the game. No problem. So then people are going to look at that and be like, oh, well, these units are bad because I can use these other units. No. That is just an incorrect way of looking at the game. Just straight up, and I will tell right. everyone that to their face. I've arrived. Not untrue, the owl, for example, dies to archer assist and requires item use or valor to survive. Not if you have a fighter. Boom, easy, done. Also, my owl literally doesn't die to archer assist. She survives. Completely untrue. We literally saw it Where happen here. I go? Advancing. It happened in this fight. She took a bunch of damage, but she did not die. Awaiting your command. By your will, I'll not fail you. As you, I have arrived. Having fun in Albion. How are the angels? Uh, we haven't had a chance to use any ourselves yet, other than Oclise, because for some reason, word. they didn't let the angel archer join us, which I thought was weird. Onward. Um, oh, are you going for the battering ram? I bet you are, you sneaky, cheeky bastard. Um... But fighting them has been very interesting because of the blinds. 
I'm enjoying the challenge, for sure. Fighter leader is too slow. Fighter leader is the same speed as any infantry. You don't need to be moving at max speed with cavalry at all. Completely unnecessary. Playing true Zenoiran. I mean, that's fair. These that's fair. Beaten, broken but true Zenoiran is not the only bar for difficulty. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Time to prove myself. Witches and wizards also die to archer assists, and they aren't even flyers. Exactly. Like, just because there's something that counters a unit doesn't mean it's bad in any way. That is a complete fallacy. Let's do the vital absorb here. Monkeys, thank you. All right, and that is the ships cleared. Not a problem. It was a counter to everything. The fun part is finding it. Exactly. But people get so sure of themselves when they get a certain point in the game. They're like, oh, I know everything there is to know. So clearly anything that comes in after that is unnecessary because I can clear the game with it, without it. And then use that as a mark of a particular class or unit's quality when you could literally say the same thing about just Cornean units. Again, it's a fallacy. Not a second too soon. Come on, we've got an army to beat. Let's keep going. Wizard and Witch takes at least two archer assist shots. If you're taking two, it's worth an item. Use your valor. The owl dies to one. Where On the one I hand, go? sure. On the other hand, if you're judging an entire class that's incredibly powerful based off of one counter that they have in a game where everything is about counters, then you're not looking at everything equally. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Same reason people dunk on Lex early on. They just don't know how to use the units properly. Exactly. Exactly. What would you ask? Now, we do have to watch the ranged assists here. So let's fall back with Joseph's unit for now. Very well. Let everyone else catch up. Expected. And push past the ballista. Or not the ballista, the catapult. We march. Come on. The time is at hand. The path is set. Okay, good. You got ready? in front of it, but just barely. Owl is just a PvP class. It's a very good PvP class. Owl is not just a PvP class in any way. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. It is a good PvP class, absolutely, but like... It's not a PvP class exclusively at all. Holy arrows, Batman. <laughs> How do your soldiers and fighters do? I've been struggling to fit them in my units. Do you have any examples of good team comps? Think of fighter, soldier, crit booster, griff knight, radiant knight. That would definitely work. The one thing you might have an issue with would be damage early on, although your soldier will help with that. Um, that soldiers are great all-rounder units, for sure. We only have one. Uh, where is she? Right here. But I have her in a lane squad to give extra crit to our Trinity Rain unit. Uh, but she's got good utility on her own. She's able to give a lane crit. We're able to get some like true strike and stuff going on from other units as well to help with that. Um, just very, very good all-around units. Like a, sar a soldier, a sergeant is never going to do poorly. Fighters need a bit more help when it comes to, like, their gear. Where the hell is Lex? All right, me here. We can look at Calvain. Calvain's a little bit of a weird case because it was specifically requested that we make him a magic fighter. But even then, he's still able to do work. Uh, a more traditional fighter, though. Here we go. Our Lex here. Uh, we changed his growths to Hardy Guardian using a mirror. But it's just an example of how you can make a fighter good. He's got the Meteorite Sword to give himself some extra HP and Guard Rate, and for a traditional fighter, that's what you're going to want to lean into. The White Rider Shield gives him some Guard Seal immunity, some Stun immunity, which is nice. The Citadel Guard Sabatons gives him extra AP because of Guarding Impetus. This is the type of gear you want. Defensive stuff that leans into the ability to get extra effects going on for your Guarding. 
So now, not only are you guarding your vulnerable units like your Wyvern Master and your Werewolf and stuff, but you're getting extra damage or active points for it that you can then use to go in and deal more damage and boost your own defense with things like Defender. It's a very strong setup. Uh, Vanguards are a growth class. You need to get good gear and they need to get some of their later game abilities, but once they do, they become very, very strong. Going to eat and lurk, still here watching. Absolutely, absolutely. Enjoy, Izzy. About time. Enjoy the robust discussion about like units and stuff as well. So we've got this Featherbow squad coming up behind what us. I do? Fortunately, Sir, our cabs are going to your handle it. Nice. Your word. You face me. Victory grows ever closer. Okay, so are these guys? They're not in range of this garrison up here. Huge. To me. Go, Elaine. Go. I have arrived. I have this one. Easy there. She kept dying in Cornea because she was my first flying unit crossing rivers. There were a lot of archers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you de definitely need to make sure that your fighter can actually survive all the arrow attacks. So making sure that you have good defensive and guardian growth rates or stat sets on them is very important. Um, having gear that's going to boost their defense and maybe give them some extra healing is also good as well. Early on, fighters really like the Sanguine Blade, the Lifesteal Attack Blade, so that they can jump in, hit something, and get a bunch of their HP back after they block a bunch of attacks. That'll increase their survivability significantly. Later on, once you can get some good healing, like you're saying a Radiant Knight or a Cleric or something like that, that can heal your fighter and keep them going. Much like, you know, an MMO where you've got one dedicated tank or a traditional RPG like uh, like a D&D &D where you've got a frontline unit that requires a lot of healing. Same type of deal. We'll hit her eventually, team. There we go. 60%? No, 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 no. 47%. That's what the RNG wanted to give us today. <laughs> yes. On to the next. Awesome. All right, everyone. Let's close in. Advancing. Battering Ram is going to hit the gate, and then immediately we're going to pour through. So, we're going to want to make sure that we can do something about that. I think we're going to have this done before this feather unit can even get to us. Your orders, I wonder sir. if we charge them. Dicey. Let them come to us. Splendid. Hey, another 10k in war funds. What's nice. Next? Come then. All right, take these guys out. We get a bunch of Valor. We grab the garrison point. We get more Valor. And then we can start AoEing them down with Thunderclouds and stuff. I implore you, exercise caution when approaching that gate. The enemy commander is more dangerous than you might realize. All right, I will keep that in mind. The man is a paladin, same as Joseph, meaning his allies will be shielded by his protective magics. Perhaps we should focus on Bradley first, then dispatch his men once their leader is no more. We could do that, but consider, what if we just bomb them yeah. all with magic simultaneously? Hmm? Between Thundercloud and Trinity Rain, it should be pretty easy to do. These are beaten, As broken you wish, souls, you like me. and yet our fortunes ride with them. There we go, gate is open. I am yours to command, Your Highness. Easy. Flood them. Go, 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 go. You face me. Blood. Want some of this? Yeah, get him, Bruno Squad.
The burn on these guys is definitely nice. Because you can hit them with it before they're able to, like, stop you. These are broken Because now any action that they take, they're going to start and yet burning. Our fortunes ride with them. Plus, it doesn't trigger the blinding impetus. Leave us alone. Interesting that curses are blocked by blind, though. No more hurting. Cruzador and his five items to bring in Al and the team is going to require one of those are Valor skills from Virginia. You just don't. Just don't get them attacked by a assist. Better. Pretty easy. Can't get up. <laughs> it's a good idea, but hear me out. Double Trinity Rain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The thing about something being quote unquote optimal in a video game, Joel, is it falls under a very narrow definition that everyone has to actually agree on and to be optimal. Something is only optimal if you agree that clearing something as fast as possible is optimal. But if your goal is to use less items or to lose less characters or to be efficient in some other way other than just speed, that definition of being optimal completely falls to the wayside. A little stronger every day. Barrage stab. Attack a row of enemies grants the user the ability to evade one attack. Cool. I do like that fencers you do grow that? into evade tanks. They don't start you as evade something? tanks, but they get there over sure, time. Sure. That is interesting. Show me what you got. For all of Bastorius. Glacial rain. Attack all enemies. Inflicts freeze. Oh, interesting, Yunifi. Okay, ranged charge, huh? I'm actually getting better at this. These are beaten, that broken is souls, and yet our fortunes ride with hmm. them. Very curious indeed. All right, Elaine, where are you at? We march. See how they're not dealing any damage to us. Onward. We're not dealing a ton of damage to them either. I've reached but. My destination. The Trinity Rain is going to start carving through Your them. Villainy ends here. <laughs> the winds of rebellion blow all too predictably. Physical board nukes are better than Trinity Rain because of Feather Shields. Feather, shield, feather Shields also only exist in 15% of the game. So it kind of negates that argument a bit. Now, let us see if they offer force as well. Together! Shall not come to naught. It's up to you. Up Speaking of physical board nukes, yeah, that's uh. nice. Ha. I assume the fast way of doing something with the meta and optimal just builds strong units. Uh. The thing about assuming that there's a meta assumes that there's any sort of competitiveness to it. And except for like community built speed runs or like low turn count runs or things like that, there's no meta in a single player game. This is beside the fact that I fucking despise the concept of metas with all my beings. I think they've ruined a lot of online gaming, but um, yeah, a meta only matters in a PvP sense. And while Unicorn Overlord has PvP, it's just like a side post game thing. And anyone, to me, that judges any character or class in Unicorn Overlord based off of their meta worthiness is completely misunderstanding the point of it. Like, while I'm going to do online PvP stuff, just to check it out once I clear at least one run for the sake of spoilers, I truly, and I mean this with 100% sincerity, do not give a single flying fuck about PvP meta and how it relates okay? to like the single player campaign. I just, it has no bearing on it. The single player campaign is the point of the game. That's the point, that's what I care about. And so long as you're able to beat the game and you're not like dragging your, 
<laughs> wound-ridden carcass across the finish line, unless you're specifically doing a challenge run that makes that happen, then there's no meta. There's, like, it's not a concern. Where the hell? I can't find a lanes unit in the morass here. The time is at hand. So many shields. All right. Your orders, if you would. Advancing. Your orders, please. Let's keep beating on him. Sir. Not done yet. Well, you maybe need to go be rest, easy. but we march to me. How about cutting me a break? Do I have anyone over here that can actually? What would you ask? Do some assists. By your yes. hoist the banners. Now then. Got some assists going here. I'm ready to fight. Oh yeah, let's go. Easy there. <laughs> Just finished Cornea. What gear do you think Lex would like close to getting from those? We had fans. Um, whatever your best guard rate and guard efficiency shield is, he definitely wants. You probably still want the Sanguine Blade on him for now, unless you have it on someone else for a particular reason. And then you probably want something that's going to boost his passive points so he can get more guards, especially once he gets quick guard. Hold on. Got me good. Runic Sword is also a good choice if you want to deal damage, absolutely. Closest thing to meta and UO is what Ice Coffee says will let you beat maps faster. No. Absolutely not. There's no reason to care about beating maps the fastest. As long as you're able to clear the map, it doesn't matter. Safe with me. It just doesn't. There's no meta to it because there's no competitiveness to it. Period. Here, here, Tom. <laughs> I can take a Templar hit. Sword is also a very good choice for Lex, yes. Bane knows what's up, man. Recast on again since you don't have to worry about blinding. Oh, that's a fair point, Jacob. Yeah, I forgot we switched that. Very good point. That's why meta is redundant. Exactly. Like, there's no... Like, you don't need to clear maps quickly at all. The whole idea... Okay, this goes into a whole other topic. All right, you guys ready for a rant? Let's have a fucking rant! Okay. This has nothing to do with any of you in chat. This is just a thing that I hate. There's this mindset in gaming recently where people are like, you have to clear games as fast as possible. Any game that spends any unnecessary amount of time with anything to do with it is bad, and it's wasting my precious time. Which, like, yeah, our time is the most important thing that we have, obviously. But are you enjoying yourself? That's what matters. Spending your time in a way that is enjoyable is the single most important These thing you can do with your life. All right? Period. You want life advice from Tom, the cancer survivor? Them. Here you go. If you are playing a game that quote-unquote doesn't respect your time, but that you're enjoying being immersed in the world of, or the mechanics of, or the music of, or the graphics of, then you're doing it right. And anyone who... And I'm going to be vitriolic about this. Anyone who bitches about the way that a game uses your time as if the only thing that matters is clearing the game as fast as possible and consuming all of its content like a swarm of locusts before you move on to the next thing is actually doing it wrong. They are having a skill issue about life and they actually need to do some introspection to figure out what they do that makes them happy. <laughs> Because <laughs> it does not sound like they're enjoying playing video games if all they care about is clearing it as fast as possible. Boom! There's my rant. And I'm going to stand by that. <laughs> also, we've gotten a ton of subscribers. Holy crap. Um, Matthew Hockett, William86, Matthew Busby, almost said Matthew Busty, Makoto Yuki, Andrew Tabudilo, or T Tabudlo? Probably Tabudlo, and Gregory, Gregory, Gregory Leininger have all subscribed. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Very good to have you with us all on the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're enjoying Unicorn Overlord. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. <laughs> preach, brother, preach! <laughs>
That's the truth, my brother. That's the truth. I'm glad you guys resonate, man. The time is at hand. I'm glad you understand. All right, let's get our Magia Soul back on here. Now, how does that change things? Not by much, but I mean, Onward. hey, damage is damage. You face me. What if clearing things as efficiently as possible makes you happy? And I mean, that's fine. If that's what makes you happy, that's okay. The thing that bugs me is when people get this very weird vitriol about a game that is not as like efficiently clearable as possible, or that has any room to breathe or let you just exist in it. That could be otherwise spent, like, I guess, min-maxing time spent. And it's like, if that bothers you, fine. But that just means the game isn't for you. And, like, if you enjoy clearing things as possible, that's fine. And there's going to be things that don't resonate with you. You know, not every game is made for everybody. But I don't think that clearing things as fast as possible is the driving motivation for a lot of people to make these games. Tied to win usually doesn't matter in games like FE, but in EO you can fail maps if you can go to so. Absolutely. I totally hear you, ICG. And also welcome. Good to see you. I totally hear that. The difference is there's a huge span of time in there where victory can be achieved. It's not a binary, right? So being able to clear something as fast as possible is not necessary so long as you're clearing the map. And yes, there is something to be said for the fact that you get bonus rewards if you clear things more quickly. Sure, that's fine. But there is not a single resource in Unicorn Overlord that is not attainable by other means. So, while yes, you can earn more of something by clearing things quickly, the difference in what you're earning by clearing a map at maximum capacity versus, like, 50% capacity, or even just barely crawling across the finish line, is fairly negligible. Catching up on chat really quick during my rant, I missed a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'd put evade tanks in the front and knights in the back, then the knights can situationally cover for archers slash sword masters. That's true. No, that's very true, Rob. I'm new to the stream, I know what difficulty this is. We are on expert currently, Ezzy. We're finishing up our first expert run. Well, we're not like at the end, we're getting pretty close. And then we're gonna run true Zenoira. A truly thrilling battle of wills. Sit down, Bradley. Being a six-minute map in 40 seconds feels nice, quote-unquote. Sure, it can. And again, if like you enjoy going for that speed run, that's fine. That is totally okay. Like I actively encourage people to do what it is that they enjoy in a game. However, the issue that I take is when people look at a game that doesn't cater to the specific niche thing that they like and call it a bad game as a result. That is incorrect. That is period incorrect. And that's where I start to get into my rants about how terrible human beings are as well. <laughs> it's pretty easy, so you don't have to win fast. You can move off a bit and easily win. Absolutely, absolutely. You can try different builds. You can try different comps, experiment with different stuff. And that's something I enjoy about it. Like, it's nice to have something like Engage that is much more focused when it comes to, like, max difficulty stuff like Maddening. Just to be able to really test your mechanical know-how and be able to apply the things that you've learned from repeated runs and your overall game sense and seeing it executed on. Absolutely. Totally on board with that. But I like having a tactical game where you can play around with different stuff and really enjoy the mechanics as they've been crafted. So there's an art form to that. And appreciating it as an art form is very enjoyable to me. Hey, Aiden, what's up? Is Bradley a tank? Kind of. Uh, Paladins are the tankier version of Sainted Knights. Sainted Knights have a little bit more outgoing support, whereas Paladins are a bit more inward-facing defense. About to bring him down, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, who's going to do the deed? Fine. <clears throat> to me. I mean, it can be Elaine. It would be poetic to have Joseph's I team have do it, to. but they're a tad beat up. That said, actually, hold on. 
Now, I kind of want to have Joseph's team do this. Let's see. Uh huh. If we get the team up here... This is one of these numerous camping sets that we have. I have to. That lets sure, us clear. Cool. It? Nice. Okay. Hit the liquid fortune. Mess him up, team. I know Bradley's already I down, but like. To. Oh no, you owe discourse of getting three houses flashbacks. Oh, dude, no. Listen. <laughs> I don't think there's any discourse to be had about Unicorn Overlord's story other than just, like, how much did you enjoy it. The discourse about three houses, that's a whole different beast. Where would you rate this game with other strategy RPGs? I mean, other strategy RPGs in general, that is a broad category. Um... Let me put it this way. I'm exhausted. Unicorn Overlord is in my top five strategy RPGs of all time. Alongside Tactics Ogre Reborn, Final Fantasy Tactics, and Fire Emblem... God. <sighs> FE8 and Conquest. Those are probably my personal favorite strategy RPGs of all time. If that tells you anything. I'm actually getting better at this. Wisdom befitting of all my years. I remember more of the discourse for engage. Well, I contributed to the discourse for engage, so. Okay, pay me more for this. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. Number one for me, Unicorn Overlord IMO is a masterpiece like BG3 Go Game of the Year levels. Oh, I agree, Rob. Absolutely. 100%. Thus far, this is my game of the year, easily. What a spirited discussion we just had. Why, that was nice, guys. Bradley. See, this is why I wanted Joseph's squad to finish it, because I felt, I could feel the connection here. They're both paladins. Joseph had something to say about it. Oh, this is good. This is good. Also, Gregory Leininger. I don't think I welcomed you before. Welcome. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Why would a man lauded as a holy knight forsake his oath and crawl off into Zenoira's putrid arms? I'm not the saint you think I am. Merely a butcher with an insatiable thirst for blood and violence. That does look like a good build, Smile. You might not need the leaf brooches. It's worth it to experiment with it and see if you do. But you might have enough healing just off of the Sanguine Blade. But mess with it and see. And while the world is at peace, as it was before. People like me can never know true happiness. Oh! Is... Is Bradley's voice actor Zhang Li? From Genshin? That's why he sounds familiar to me. He's such a cool helmet, he does. Hope this game wins something in the Game Awards. It should, but it won't. Pitiful beast you are. Yet I must say, this yeah, that's a fine bout. Perhaps the finest I can remember. And now I leave this world truly sated. Though, if I've one lingering regret, it's doing so before I could see Valmore's dreams realized at last. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh. So he's a blood knight then. Like the trope. How fair your wounds? Entirely healed, thanks to your magic. And what of your allies? Still sheltered in the abbey to the south? Uh, how did you. We heard from one of the Zenoirans we took captive. It seems they dispatched a squadron to the abbey's location. We have to hurry. Indeed. And this time, my arrows shall support your march. Let us be off. Fair enough. Fair enough.
Was Bradley one of the generals at the start of the game? Yes. Valmore A. Hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting, right? I did. That was a very particular choice of names. Hmm. I'm curious about that. These are beaten, Very good broken intro mission, souls. And yet Niccolo our Eck has subscribed. With Welcome, them. Niccolo. Very good to have you. Very good to have you. You can talk to Bradley, Raymond, and a few other bosses. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, phone. Jesus. Yeah, Valmore, not Galerius. Exactly, yeah. My head cannon, I figure he's a paladin just for Valmore rather than Elenia. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, that... That makes sense. Hey, a grilled steak. Nice. Those are very useful. Our abbey lies to the southwest of this point. I shall make for its walls at once and inform my allies of what's to come. Come on, Elaine. We can't let her go alone. Shield to the sacred. All right. Well, let's uh, talk to some people here. Look at this guy. The noble houses of Albion follow the Orthodoxy's word, at least by all appearances. But Zenora suspected them of smuggling arms to the resistance, hence the assault on our land. I mean, yeah, fair. Oh, to live in a world free of strife. I mean, we're working to make it happen, Captain. Here you go, Sharon. The last batch of cemeteries. Let's see what we get for this. Some of these folks are just in it for reasons, uh, like for various reasons to be on the evil side. Yeah, I do like that because they do make it seem like it was going to be super mind control heavy, but then that's only part of it, which is cool. And then, of course, there's the whole twist about like what it actually is, not just necessarily mind control, but... Archive has a little bit more info on Bradley. I don't think it's brought up anywhere else. Okay, cool. I do want to check that out. Whoa, hello, town girl who looks like a noble woman. Jesus. How you doing, ma'am? Wow, we are <laughs> nearly out of guards. Do let me know if you require assistance. Helix spear, penetrate. We've seen that before. Luminous shield. Ooh. Poison and blindness immunity, you say. You. Interesting. Okay. I hope Welcome to my humble store. Look around as much as you please. I was hoping for a female angel. Rip. Oh well. Uh, we don't really need any of this. I'll handle it. I love the music here, man. Like, I'm going to probably wind up using some of this music for background music in uh, my D&D campaign, or campaign that I'm in. Because I tend to be the, the music master. Not that I play Bard, but, like, literally, we play over Discord. So, like, we have a bot that'll play music. So I'm often tasked with introducing appropriate music for whatever's happening in the moment. Soldier are the ones who brought the materials for our repairs. Maybe now we can finally put this dark period behind us. Well, we shall see, sir. And that is literally our last guard. Holy smokes. All right. Do let me know if you require assistance. Another cleric's medallion. Eh. Banishing hammer, though. Banishing smite. Attack a row of enemies and remove all of target's buffs. That could actually be good for fighting... Feather swords. But we're gonna pick that up. We don't have any. May the Father bless you. Ooh, spell steel stuff. Interesting. Um.
Don't know that we have anyone who really needs the spell steal stuff. Mainly just looking for our elves, but. Well, Balder, though. Yeah, I think Balder wants one. May the Father bless cool. you. I hope. Welcome to my humble store. Actually, no running out of guards by hiring so many. I know it's crazy. It's actually wild. How many units do I have? A lot. Time to hire for other people. Go we on. do I have some uh, some patron characters and some YouTube members lined up for feather units. We do. Uh, how many units do we have? That is a great question. So there's four per row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24... Uh, so, what, 24 times 4? I get not counting a lane, but, um, Christ, that's 96? No, wait, what? That can't be right. So... 96 plus the three on the bottom minus one for a lane so 98 99 if you count a lane yeah but we can't use a lane to like guard a spot all right let's see where the boat takes us here It is a lot of extra gold. Yeah, no, you definitely want to have guards at every city, no doubt. Oh, there's definitely like a treasure map that's gonna have its item over here or something. For sure. What's well, the best way you know of to apply poison to the enemy? I keep expecting to find a poison in Feral Tome, but I don't think it exists. Um, I really like having thieves in the back line that just poison toss and everything and have the tactic set up to target non-poisoned enemies. So that way, over two rounds of combat, two thieves can poison the majority of an enemy force. To say nothing else of like any other poison attacks that you might have, which you can definitely do. A lot of ruins around here, which is interesting. Hey, you finally caught up. Nice, Louise. Welcome. Well, I mean, we may as well just beat up this individual quick. Buddy, you really think you stand a chance? You could have lived for at least a little bit longer until I liberated the area. This area is so pretty, though, man. Oh, hey! What's up? No kidding! Wow, we found him really early. Quartz Rod Gravity. Attack all enemies, deals damage equal to 50% of each target's HP. Oh, that's cool. It's literally Final Fantasy Gravity Magic. That's so sick. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. Very cool. Then we got the Zenora Knight stuff. Enduring Guard. Actually, it's for me. By physical attack, buff enemy attack, heavy guard. Grants the user a buff to endure one lethal blow. Interesting. That's not bad. And then the Zenora Knight's Great Shield, which is the cover and ally version. Cool. I mean, you know we have to buy the ruby pendant for sure. D 
Demon Shackles. Minus 20 initiative, take 15% less damage, though. Now, that's a fun tank item. That's damage, period, as well. So that's going to reduce magic damage on, like, your Legionnaires and your Fighters as well. Do I consider Bestral units to be better than all Elf units? No. First of all, all Elf units includes the Elf Sisters, which immediately outclasses any generic unit because they have unique classes, which are better pretty much across the board than anything else in the game. So, just based off of that, no. If we consider just the two generic Elf classes, they are better... In the scenario that they can be slotted into any unit and be more effective. However, because of the way the Unicorn Overlord is set up, Elves, when you put them in the right unit combinations, have a very high ceiling. And they're able to do a lot simultaneously, whereas the Bestrals are more narrow. The Bestrals are really good upgrades to a lot of the human units, whereas Elves are doing things in one package that you often need two or even three other types of class to do. So I think Bestrals are more narrow, but focused, whereas Elves have a wider range of versatility. Can the gravity stat be crit boosted? Possibly. Because it deals damage equal to half of the enemy's health, but it doesn't say that, like, that's the only damage that it does. So, possibly. It will always do 50%? Oh, okay, fair enough. True damage weapon, so it won't crit. Okay, gotcha. Time to sell golden eggs. Not a bad idea, Momo. Not a bad idea. Shackles are so good on the bears. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of units that the shackles would be good on. Be honest about their power level, I'd argue bestials are just not good at all and lack a lot. Slow, low hit, uh, no good damage, poor support, outclassed by most mounts, etc. The fast ones are low damage, for example. Werewolves have really good damage, and werefoxes have really good utility. So, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Also, where owls are not slow. They're at the same speed of all other flying units. And at night get faster. So, they actually outspeed all flying units in the game. And, like, the thing is, like, if you're looking at just best rules on their own, sure, they don't have great support. Where owls are really good. But that's not the way Unicorn Overlord works. Like, we're never in a situation where we need to only compare one race of units or one race of classes to any other. So it doesn't really matter that they don't have good support. Nice. We do have another Idealist Hand Mirror. We can get more Dream Blossoms, more Feverite. At this point, I don't even know if I need to buy this. I'm probably going to hold off on the hand mirror until I have a unit I actually care to use it on. Let's pick up a ruby pendant. Ruby pendants are just so good. All right, let's do our sigil here. Yeah, I was say, there's really only a couple left, right? I wonder what we get at the end of it. If there is any final reward. There might not be. Expert one. All right. Let's see what this entails. There's feather bows, so we already know things are going to be interesting. So... Our target is down here, so other than holding the line... Oh, wow, look at the evade tank team over here. Jeez. Other than holding the line here, we don't even need to worry about the north. Interestingly, there's an unmanned catapult there. Okay, cool. Um, and it's nighttime, so... 
can actually move pretty quick here if we so choose. And we will do just that. I make for battle. I am your humble servant. I Grab make haste. catapult. Then joining the battle. Wherever Here's you can rush down the ballista. Right and keep a level head every whenever you need me. Heading there now. Your orders, please, sir. Wherever you'd like me, right away. All right, there goes the ballista. Allow me. Enemy unit defeated. What should I do? We will As then you come grab out, this ballista. Not a problem. Your orders, if you would. I've arrived. Success. Well, may as well just pop these guys. Brace yourself. Super tax bros are just gonna hold the line down here all on their lonesome. Time to prove myself. To forge a brighter dawn for Great Shield battles. grants the user plus 50 physical defense and plus two passive Let's points. Keep going. Nice. Cool. And now we can get a unit out here. Grab Charlotte's out. unit to Took go you bully long these enough. guys. Gladly. Whenever you need me. I'll drop Understood. the Lista. <sighs> I'm actually getting better at this. I'm up. Boxes and werewolves, you only get one of each if you don't recruit generics. So those two get better, the more foxes slash werewolves are in the team. I mean, that's really not a negative, though. Like, you have the ability to recruit as many generics as you want. Now it's good to move over river slash mountains to get to a boss. Yeah. Pounce is good. Woohoo! I do love the row smash, man. Oh, these are feather staves. I didn't realize. Okay. We've not had the chance to really look at these guys. Nice heals. So they're giving the ability to withstand an attack. Cool. All right, so hold up. Gabriel the Feather Staff. Wow. All right, that's a little on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Very interesting. Okay. So, Holy Cradle, front row. Grants a row of allies the ability to withstand one lethal blow. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Honed healing. Own AP two or more. Grants a row of allies a buff that doubles HP restored when healing. Interesting. And then overheal. Restore minor HP to a row of allies above their limits. Can heal up to 150% above maximum HP. That's a fun little synergy, yeah. So you honed healing. Gives them the buff when you heal. And then you overheal them, which gets doubled. That's fun. Okay, cool. That is cool. Then holy breath. Activates before an ally attacks. Restores minor HP to an ally. If target's afflicted, remove the affliction. And grant the user a plus one passive point. Hmm... Okay. Afflicted, not debuffed. I can never remember. Afflictions count as debuffs or debuffs count? I think it's afflictions count as debuffs. But not the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Preemptive heal. Activates for an ally's attack. Restore moderate HP to an ally. Easy enough. Uh, activates at the start of a battle. Restore minor HP to all allies and grants HP regen during the day. Ooh. I guess the generic names here are going to be a lot of re uh, religious references. Oh, for sure. All afflictions are debuffs. Not all debuffs are afflictions. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay, so these guys are interesting. Very, very interesting. Excels at healing, grows stronger in daytime battles, can use healing magic just before an attack lands, ineffective versus foes with anti-flying skills. Does get 2x dodge rate versus grounded, of course. Can provide healing assist for allied units, of course. Yeah. Pretty much what you would expect. 
Very cool. All set. This should be easy. Your orders, please. Sir. Your orders, sir. Forward. I'll handle this. I won't stop now. To forge a brighter dawn for Fevereth. Very nice. Where should I start? Gladly. I mean, we're pretty much gonna have what I the fight on lockdown here, right so away. may as well push up north and see what little Get bit we can grab here. XP wise. You can gravity us all you want. It's really not gonna help you. Like you miss the team in the woods that are about to go mess up your ballista, Brace so. Yourself. Elven fencers can tone control, board nuke, slash row, slash column attacks. Elven archers can 1 AP to control big attacks while well, making them Right. But, like, so can wizards and sorceresses. Elven archers can 1 AP to control big attacks while well, making them excellent. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Definitely. No doubt about that. But at that point, we're comparing support units to more offense focused units. So, like, apples to oranges, you know? Yep. Like, yeah, put an Elven Fencer in a squad with a Werebear and then have them Tome Confirl the Werebear's AoE attack. Boom, done. Is any one of those better than the other? Not really. They have different things that they're doing. Simple enough. So far, so good. Avoid tanks with better bulk than mages typically, but mages can target the back line. And to do that with... If I'm remembering correctly, hold on, let me double check my elven fencer. Okay, well, ra Nature's Wrath is ranged. That's true. That's true. But it's going to be less damage overall than the attack of something like, say, a warlock. At least in terms of its potency. So, like... Hmm... Yeah, there can be evade tanks, but your sorceresses and your warlocks Where are going to be I more go? adept at clearing Getting the back line right off the bat than your uh, fences are necessarily going to be. Your orders, please. Especially because ideally command. you want your fences to be hitting a full column, not just the back line. I'm ready to fight. My drop, which is slash wizard, can be easy to range for killing them often. Thing about that is like. Just don't run your Witcher Wizard into <laughs> range assist, right? Like, either use Provoke or a Shield Shooter to negate the range assist. Or just don't run them into the range assist. Love this generic game is massive, so I want to know why. Why do they all have it? What's the point of it? Uh, it might be a see no evil type of thing. Well, Viper, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> You're right, though. It has nothing to do with it because I have literally only had one woman in my life in my entire life, and that's Jane. So. Thirty-nine percent battery power on my phone, so I'm slipping out the back door. See you later, Tom and Chad. See you later, Daniel. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, brother. Thanks for hanging out. Hold on. for Elven Fencers, though, Familiar's Collar apparently counts as a debuff for them that they can dispel. That is interesting. That is interesting.
This should help the cause. Hope you're paying me more for this. A little stronger every day. Very nice. Enemy unit defeated. Sigil battle, Dunzo. Very nice. Phantom Knight's Great Shield. Do pairing in Master Military Treaties. The Phantom Knight stuff I've really not found a use for, man. Not with the units and compositions I've had. Alright. Oh, hoo -hoo, there's a Feather Shield. Okay. Those are going to be spooky. So... There's shield to the sacred. We should do that before we push too much further, I would say. I can't believe we slipped past her. Wow. Oh, yeah, and here we are. Okay. I'm assuming that this is where shield of the sacred starts. Oh, really? You're going to slow me? Well, time to die, then. Nobody slows me in a video game. What are you doing? Oh, hello. I may should be able to clear these, no problem. Or at least scare them off for now. I don't feel like switching to a blind immunity thing. Okay, there's a serpent carving. Interesting choice of iconography in the Land of Holiness as well. Interesting, very interesting. Whoa, check out her color scheme, very cool. None can enter this town without permission. Now be gone, or you'll come to regret testing my patience. Very different color scheme to the normal Zenoiran troops. That is very interesting. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Hmm. Curious. Just came to say that Unicorn Overlord is amazing, and thank you for your content, sir. Absolutely, Matt. Absolutely. I'm glad that you're enjoying, dude. And it is amazing. You are 100% correct. This fortress is ours. We need to keep it that way. Okay, fair enough. A uh, fuck are you, too. That's the abbey up ahead, yes? It is. They've offered far beyond their means in treatment and lodging for our wounded soldiers. And now it's only a matter of time before Zenoira's squadron arrives. Then we'll just have to prepare the warmest of welcomes for them. Okay. <laughs> Simple and to the point. I like it. Our blessings, Lady Rainus. You've delivered us from a great danger. It is a relief to see you safe, yet the threat to this abbey lurks even still. To that end, Prince Elaine, I would request your assistance in repelling Zenoira's advance. And of course, I shall join the battle myself in defense of my people. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Shield to the sacred, all right. Rainus's fellow resistance fighters have sought shelter in a nearby abbey, one which Zenoira now marches on. Deliberation takes the battle in order to rescue their cornered allies. All right. Horohoro69 has subscribed. Welcome, Horohoro. Guys, I'm going to take a extremely short break. Just got to use the bathroom, refill my drinks, and then we will continue on here. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, and then we'll continue the battle.
These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior.
Okay, took me a little bit longer to get back because I had to answer a couple texts. My bad. Uh, but I'm here. Let's do this. Oh, and Brunt has become a member. Hello, Brunt. I'm sorry I wasn't here to acknowledge it right when it happened, but thank you for joining us. Very kind of you. Very good to have you. Holy oh, crap, people have been chatting. Armor is just a weakness, maybe they should do like 2x damage cavalry or something too. Armor is a downside to offset their massive physical defense and all their good defensive abilities. What? Yeah, like... Armor is an accompaniment to their sky-high physical defenses. Just got this game. Don't know if I should do Tactician or Expert. I have played Fire Emblem. Never was that good with it. Um, I would start on Tactical. See how it feels. Because you can always increase the difficulty part way through a campaign. That'd be my recommendation. Zenoira occupies five command posts in the region, Your Majesty. We can expect this battle to be a difficult one, so be sure to proceed as carefully as possible. And as mentioned before, my bow is yours, should you so desire it. Featherbow. Featherbows are archers capable of debuffing foes and supporting allies. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, man, we are under attack from all sides. Nice. Very interesting. Start with tactical and start, uh, started over on expert. Item restrictions were whipping the ass, but it was for the better. Yes, I agree. Okay, Trixie, it's Agent Meow Meow. <laughs> it's not been good to you, getting enough treats. How's the Operation Bed Taker going? She's very good at all of them. Trixie is extremely adept at shoving me off the bed in the middle of the night, despite the fact that she's a 20th of my size. Okay. Um, first of all, Rainus, you only have three units in your squad. What the fuck are you doing? We are so far past that. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's gonna be the cyclone My user shall take me. for sure. Departing at once. Departing at once. All right. So the lesser quantity of enemy forces is to the south. So we want to take this to clear them out, and then we can focus all of our efforts to the north. Shouldn't receive a penalty for having a high physical defense. Well, yeah, it's not a penalty, though. It just gives you specific weaknesses to balance the fact that you have gigantic defense. How do I want to go about handling our flying friends here? I mean, we could just fly in with Luana's unit, honestly. Make Valerie immune to blinds again. Probably not a bad play. As soon as I can find my lantern again. There we are. So, you go out this way. How may I assist? Nuke them. As you wish. Then we can hit the watchtower and the catapult. They are just really opening up on us. That's wild. All right, Octavia, go down do here. Do Deal with this ballista. And then just set. Make for I am your humble servant. Go and deal with Forward. this tower. Okay. That leaves us one valor. Your orders, Let's sir. use that on hasten call for now. Get these three going. 
Gekalia is not an option. And then if I need to, I can pop a Hallowed Cornish. But I don't think we will. Is quite the predicament. Then wait All right. We shall prevail as well. See you, Ballista. Randy's squad sucks. Yeah, it does. Treat her and give her a new squad. I don't think we're able to, are we? Because she has generics and we don't recruit, I'm pretty sure we've messed with that before. And we're not able to give her new units. Also, werewolves have bad damage. Yep. <laughs> That was not any buffs or anything, but he just took a good chunk off of those guys. I'm glad you and I are on the same page with all this stuff, Momo. <laughs> As I always say, I never get tired of Bastard's Cross. Never, ever. That for good. Nice, Gerald. Nice as well. Very good. Over. I love this squad with Lex, man. These guys have been consistently so strong. I'm going. I'll not show mercy. Hmm. Really, what I should have done is I should have provoked those guys out of the tower before I pushed over here. Better. I stand triumphant. Okay. I shall fight until my Go final here. breath. Go here. Go here. I've Actually. no fear of death. Go here. And As then we go wish. south, yeah. Shall I? I shall rain arrows upon them. Don't really need the range assist here. Worlds are the only generic sword unit with a row attack. That's also true. That's also true. I really think it's a severe misunderstanding of game mechanics to say the best row units are bad. I really do. And like, I don't mean that as an insult to anyone, but like, I truly don't think that you're evaluating these units properly. They have a lot of things going for them. Ow. Why did I? Hold on. Did I take arrow cover off at some point? What happened there? Hold on a second. Why did you not cover her? Oh, what the fuck? Why do I have own passive points two or less on arrow cover? What in the world? I don't know what I was doing there. That's completely my mistake. Be over in a sec. Let's bully these guys and then go for round two of bullying and pick up an item along the way. Steal Pop resolve. these fine lads. I won't stop now. How may I assist? Now you grab the haste. ballista. You'll grab the cyclone. We'll lucky. mess up these great knights. No holding back. Coming. The condition, yeah. I don't know why that was on there. I don't remember setting that in any way. <laughs> but that's totally my mistake. Clearly, I messed something up somewhere along the way. Alright, let's so have you guys fall back to get some stamina back. Although, realistically, we don't even need to do that. You can just heal. Or just rest. We'll grab the ballista here. That'll fend them off. We will grab... Two shamans and three doom knights. That's gonna be rude. What if we just counter them with doom knights of our own? Joining the battle. What should I do? Yeah, that'll work. Sir. Take them out. We've already pretty much got Awaiting this battle unlocked. Unless something weird happens. We've established enough of a defensive foothold. That there's not anything else that they can do to us at this point. Merely ask, and it shall be done. 
Steal your resolve. The war rages on. Your orders, sir. I make haste. Allow me. The Goodbye. end of this war draws ever nearer. Shall I? Another step forward. I can move Easy. No further. E Z clap. I shall fight until my final breath. We've got plenty of items, so let's pop a hot cross bun. I've no fear of death. Move here and then here. As you wish. I am your humble servant. May as well move these guys as up towards the fire as well. We can keep spamming cyclones from here. And then we'll get Josephine's actually wait now. Let's make sure that Joseph is the unit here. Or the leader here. It's Joseph's unit the out. Royal family. And then we'll go Charlotte's unit here. I'm heading out. And you guys can march on this. this. Be easy. Okay. I have and boom goes the dynamite. Easy there. Just wanted to share something I realized I'm pushing the final battle on the last few quests. Yeah, like Momo says, as long as it's no spoilers, because we are obviously in Albion right now, but go for it otherwise. Hold on. We'll pack gauntlets, fix any possible damage issues for Vestrals. And even then, Vestrals really don't have damage issues. Werewolves and Werefoxes both deal good damage, if not direct damage, either through piercing armor or through applying status effects like poison. And damage is still damage, doesn't matter where the damage comes from. This really shows how having versatility of units right here, like this particular fight, is so important. Because, like, they've got two Doom Knights. We've, or no, they've got three Doom Knights. We have two. But us having a Great Knight who can charge through and stun backliners is huge. God, I love Doom Knights so much. They're the exact type of like al like player aligned darkness type character that I adore so much. I don't care how edgy it is. Like I'm a Riku fan from Kingdom Hearts, dude. Whenever I can play as Riku, I'm happy. Having like Dark Fyraga and all those dark abilities and everything. Terra also in Kingdom Hearts. Chaos units in Yu-Gi-Oh! I love this shit, man. I adore it. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. On to the next. Did the difficulty you unlock after first clear change something? Well, Egal, it does have an sort of equivalent Your to permadeath, orders, please. which is obviously a big deal. We've uh, it also increases enemy stats and cuts the number of item uses you have in half from ten to five. Wherever you'd like me, sir. <laughs> Being edgy in real life is cringe. Being edgy in video games, that's the shit. Let's go, baby. <laughs> exactly. Holy range assists, though, Batman. I mean, when we come out on top here, we clear this squad, then we have Joseph's unit fall back. Yeah, that works. Now. 
careless. Permadeath just means you can't rely on Kamikaze. Yeah, which I like. And not something I've been too prone to anyway. Like, it's very rare that we've ever had any units fall. Period. Which I'm proud of, honestly. Got it. Have you need of my skill? Actually, let's blow these guys out of this tower so we don't have to worry about them. All set. Gladly. I only ask and it shall be done. Okay, so now the squad here is all healed up. We can push north. Right away. We'll probably have assist? these guys grab the Forward. catapult. Sir. You got orders and for me? Y'all can push up here to pick Be up people that get knocked you know out of it. towers. We've got two towers, so we'll get Calvain and Alexandra. Let's stay calm whenever you need me. Understood. Where should I start? Got it. They seek my head. Uh. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that that's how delay worked. I read this. Since it increased the wait time of an enemy unit by five seconds, I assumed this meant that you could hit someone who was waiting and increase that timer by five seconds. I didn't think it let you target someone who wasn't waiting and put them in a five second wait time. That is interesting. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Well, perilous. I mean... Fortunately, I have an item for that. Come. Good whiffs there, bud. Yield to me! Like how even though it looks like we're about to get insanely bullied, we're clearing this. I am with you. Hold fast. I'd make room for Rainus. Uh, we don't have to. We have a supporter character who's a feather bow that we're gonna be getting. You might be thinking, how are we possibly going to clear this? Well, as soon as Arrow Rain lands. <laughs> All right. This comment thread is driving me insane. So I, I read before, we're going back to the Bestrals thing, right? Someone was saying that, you know, Bestrals are better enemies than they are allies. And people were agreeing with that, whatever. So my response was, there's no reason that Bestrals can't perform just as well for you as they can for him, right? The response. And again, like, Trevor, if you're here right now, I'm not trying to, like, shit on you or anything. I just don't understand your response. It doesn't make any sense. Just annoying to fight against, but they didn't perform well for the AI. They got smoke slash dog walk for what I already had going into Pistoria. So you mean the entire game, if you know what you're doing, right? Like, that's not exclusive to the best rules. You just, if you know what you're doing, you can, you can smoke the enemy. Like, that's just how the game works. But also very true for the best rules. Only good with the AI because the AI is always on the defensive against the player plowing through them. There's one defensive best rule.
It was cool when at nighttime they actually became a threat and did some scary damage to your units, but that isn't useful for us as the players since we're fighting against the clock and aren't going to always be getting in nocturnal battles. But Bestrals have the equivalent stats to other units even during the day and just get stronger at night. So at base level they're just as competent as other units and at night they get a boost. Which is different from other units. So then Trevor goes on to say, <laughs> You can use anything in this game, use many things in different ways slash combos, the permutations are nearly endless, and I like to see what other people come up with, but I agree with the first two replies and stand by my comment. But like, there's no reason that the AI is better at using best rules than anyone else like you can use the best rules at night the ai can use the best rules at night you can manipulate what time it is when you go into certain maps like that's not an ai exclusive thing you spend a dream bloom to make it night and they're from the story black market exactly exactly anyone know how much stronger they actually get i believe it's a plus five to all stats at nighttime bartito if i'm remembering correctly and you can buy infinite items for cycling day to night. No, exactly, Renee. Exactly. I didn't say that different, Momo. Uh, I was talking about these are Trevor. If I said Momo, it was completely by mistake. 5%, 10%. Oh, is that what it was? It's a percentage, not a flat piece. Okay, but still. Like, there's no reason that the AI can use best rules better than the player. Like, literally zero. That's a completely fallacious statement. I have skills that mostly only work on the player since the AI doesn't buff itself much or quick impetus. But everything that best rules have, you can still use against the enemy. Trivial like, look at this. Look at this, alright? Where the hell are my best rules units? A werewolf skills. Finishing stab. Just good. Doesn't require anything specific. Decimate. Just good when enemies are weakened. Doesn't require anything specific. Wild Fang. Just good. Doesn't require anything specific. Nocturnal Strike. Better at night. Just good. Bestral Howl. Just good because it gives an attack boost. Like, Killing Pursuit. Just good at defeating units. Like, none of that requires anything specific. If we look at other characters here, let's see. Uh, our werebear. Oh, why can't I look at them? It's so annoying. There he is. Inflicts stun, deals damage. Deals more damage the more HP you have. Deals more damage the less HP you have. Block an enemy with a heavy guard. Recover extra HP at night. Attack single enemy that deals like, more damage based off of how much HP you have. Ignores defense versus cavalry. Like, you can use this. The <laughs> It doesn't matter what your the AI is using. Piercing Lance inflicts guard seal, blocks guards. Inflicts passive steel, blocks passive skills. Poison. Inflicts blindness. Like, none of this requires the AI to do anything in particular. That is such a nonsense statement. Bestrals have a decent amount of buffs that buff Bestrals, and they will use those particular buffs. Now, considering a lot of those units are going to be Bestral heavy. I'm sorry. Did you see anything in what we were just looking at that required anything to be a Bestral? No? There's two equipment items that buff Bestrals. Nothing to do with any of their skills. Everything that Bestral units do buffs anyone, not Bestrals. There are two things in this game that we have seen that buff specifically Bestrals, and those are two pieces of gear that are completely optional. There's nothing about Bestrals that make the AI better at using them or more effective than there is for people.
Talking the general enemy team comps like rows of three and two, like three werefoxes or three werewolves. So. Sorry, I misremembered. No, no, no problem. Forward. It's just there's this weird view of Vestral units that, like, I'm getting a lot of pushback for my video. A lot of people, like, in chat or in the comments being like, oh, well, Vestral units aren't that good because they require specific conditions. They're better in the use of the AI. No. As you wish. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm up. There's nothing that indicates that. Triumph is at hand. Foxes can weakness hunt off each other. They can also weakness hunt off of anything else that inflicts the appropriate debuffs and inflictions, which are a lot of different units. They don't need to have multiple boxes. I've had entire debuff and affliction squad before I ever got to the story. Versus three werewolves and werefoxes just tricking pursuit for one another. We've seen that uh, feather bows do that. We've I've had entire sword fighter squad to do that. Oh shit, James calling. Why is James calling? Right, one second, chat. Hold on. Place. I don't know what she was calling about. I guess she'll call me back. I'm going to leave my phone on my desk, so if you hear it buzzing, chat, my apologies, but I just want to see what's up if uh, she happens to try to call me back. Also, yeah, Rilk, I'm with you. Where are you getting this most people don't use generics thing? What? Do you have a source for that, bud? Because, like, if people are just ignoring generics completely to be able to use the uniques, that's fine. That doesn't make combinations that use more generics than less bad. That's just a difference in how people play. And in fact, someone completely ignoring a mechanic of the game. Don't mind if I do. Which is a weakness on I'll their gameplay. The <laughs> Enemy teams aren't class varied, so. Where should I start? Tisn't my finest out by your word. All set. Hmm. These feather bows here are a problem. Don't have enough All blind set. immunity there. Um, About time. I'm going. <sighs> How effective is it to just ignore that garrison for now? <laughs> Where should I start? The issue is that they're gonna path right through it if All I'm not set. careful. Got it. Okay. Other than Tom here, nobody else has been using them. Joel, I don't think that's an assertion you can just make. Like... <laughs> There's probably already got something working by the time they reach Pistorius. So people have to figure out how to fit them in. Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. But that's the thing. People orders, take their experience would. of, well, I don't need these units, so they're bad I'm mechanically, and try to make that assertion forward. when that doesn't make any sense. What should I do? Like, just because you're not orders, using sir. it doesn't mean that it's bad. I'm ready to fight. Easy there. Come unstoppable. It's all on you. Just a fact, an Eric won't be the popular actual name characters compilation, not the only thing that the the players won't. That's an assertion with no backing. We have 
Exactly, Golden Sun. Like, not using generics, you're depriving yourself of such a huge range of tactics. Can Elaine give the Ring of the Maid to a generic? Not that I know of, no. We did it! Enemy unit defeated! How far can this ballista fire? Ooh, pretty Your far, actually. I make haste. Let's pop off a shot quick. Soften up the enemy. Looking right at us. This delay is so rude. Like, it's only five seconds. It's not a huge difference maker, but also, like, come on. Success. How dare you? A true nightmare, if one ever deserved Ooh. the title. Yeah, the dual breakers here are causing a problem for this front line. So, what we're going to do... Yeah, there we go. Much better. Nice evasion. Very good. Quick heal there, very nice. The Icicle Arrow to freeze some dudes. They're gonna get unfrozen pretty quick, but still. Yeah, late game breakers are scary, man. Once they get in rage, pretty nasty. However, good luck with these wide counters, lads. <laughs> Yeah, people are like, oh, werebears are never going to hit their attacks without, like, help. Uh, no. How do I know? Because I've seen it multiple times. It's a thing in every single game that has generic and unique units. I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm going to name myself as one of the biggest fans of Final Fantasy Tactics on Earth. And I am confident about that assertion. I have talked to a lot of different people about FFT. And the vast majority of them have a few specific unique characters that they like, but they love their generics. FFT alone proves the fact that people like generic units. Like, I completely respect the fact that you are debating in a very respectful manner. Absolutely. But Whenever you need me. You're making assertions that you just don't have any information to back up other than your own hearsay. Understood. I have no fear of death. Forward. Your orders, please. Sir. I'll not show I don't think FFT is a good example. Why? Why is that? Werebears specifically have low accuracy. Lower than other units, sure. Does it actually cause problems for hitting anything that isn't an evade tank? No. Hello, Darlin. I tried to call you back. I didn't get through to you, though. What are you calling about? What's that? Oh. According to this, in a history. 
right away. You got orders for me? Be there before you know it. Okay, back chat. Pass down your mandate. Uh, I don't even know if we need this other cyclone, but I mean, we may as well throw it out here just because. Hi, Jane. It's a cyber wolf. <laughs> I mean, we pretty much have this on lock. We've got Octavia's unit going over here to shut down, well, this group of support clerics, and then presumably blow these guys up. They've got cyclones all over them. We've got catapult support coming in to take out these squads. We can handle these two Where squads that are moving up on us now. now. Yeah, I think we're done here. We're pretty much done. Brace yourself. Well, I'll be playing through a second game using generics once I've played through this. Or we'll be playing through a second game, I should say, using generics once I've played through the story, like most of the games. The helms, the ability to customize them. Absolutely. I think you're going to have a fun time with that robot. told me that in BG3, 80% of players didn't use mercenaries, I believe you. You almost never have an issue filling your party or just respecting the party members to do what you want. BG3 is also a story-driven game. Like, BG3 is a story-based RPG with a bunch of party members that have their own built-in storylines. Very, very different from something like UO or FFT. Oh, I definitely wish you could just rename generics as well, Absolutely. Barbarians should have problems hitting all flying units just by the default 2x dodge rate against ground units. Uh, Halo, that's all ground units. What the fuck? <laughs> that's not a weakest or weakness of werebears. That's a weakness of anything ground-based trying to hit flyers. What? <laughs> Main character-wise, which do you like the most wolf. personally, personality and story? Uh, for for Unicorn Overlord, Mega Man. What what game do you mean? Werebears have F accuracy. It doesn't matter though. Like between accessories and abilities, you can make any class excel at something. Like. There are so many different ways to guarantee a hit on an attack that you can use on a werebear to make all of their big AOE high damage attacks deal a shit ton of damage. That is not a weakness of the unit. That just means you have to build around, which is any unit in the game. The FMB is like, the difference between FMB is like 20, 40 accuracy. Again, if you're looking at every class in a vacuum, sure. But that's not the way UO works. That's the whole point of a squad-based system. Sir. Allow me. Fixing accuracy is an opportunity cost. On the one hand, sure. But if you want to bring in the opportunity cost discussion, that's literally everything in the game, which means it's not a discussion. <laughs> When you have, like, 60 different classes or whatever the fuck UO has, as well as all the different builds that you can put on anything, literally everything is an opportunity cost. That is a complete non-statement. Yeah, I know, we're doing the opportunity cost thing again. <laughs> Hold on. By that definition, no class has a weakness. Yes. Halo, you figured it out. Congrats. <laughs> you got there, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, this every single class has a weakness in How's a vacuum. That but that's the whole point of having a squad-based RPG. <laughs> it's squad-based for a reason. <laughs> every member of the squad can cover for the weaknesses of the other members of the squad. Holy shit, you got there, dude. 
can't just say Werebear's accuracy doesn't matter. It doesn't! <laughs> It literally doesn't. If the reason that you're worried about werebears as a unit, if the number one reason that you are concerned about them as a class is their poor accuracy, you legitimately have like five different ways to address that. One of which is just putting an accessory on them that boosts their accuracy by like 30. And let's, you know, let's just look. Let's just look. Where's my werebear here? Here's Antonio. Okay. His accuracy is 110. 110 without any accuracy boosting stats on his own, okay? Let's look at other people in his group here. 149, 132, 125, 130. Would you say Elven Archers, Elven Fencers, Griffin Masters, or Vanguards have major issues with accuracy? If you do, great. You know what we can do for Antonio? Let's just look at this here. Let's look at these accessories that I've got going on here. Where are my goggles? Where are my glasses? Mirrored spectacles. Give accuracy plus 30. We put that on. Wow, look at that. Antonio now has the same accuracy, if not better, than everyone else in his squad who don't have accuracy issues. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm so over this discussion. <laughs> if you want to talk theoreticals, fine. If you want to take a particular class and say they don't get any gear, they don't get any other allied units in their squad, let's look at their stats in a vacuum, sure, fine. The good thing is, is that's not the game. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm, listen, bro. <laughs> I don't even remember what I had on Antonio, or Anto Antonio there. I got heated for a sec. Like, your argument does not work. <laughs> your, your argument just does not work. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. I'm ready to fight. All classes do have weaknesses being uh, for via other squad members and any skills are coming. Exactly. Well, yeah, exactly, Dictionary. And that is exactly how it works. And that's the strength of Unicorn Overlord system. You know, you're not in a situation where you have, like, axe fighters in Fire Emblem that just kind of, across the board, typically tend Witness to have pretty poor accuracy, power. either because of axes themselves or because of axe fighters just having a poor skill stat or whatever. You have so many different ways to address that in UO because of the squad-based system and because of the unit builds that you can do with different items and accessories. That's not something you can do in Fire. Hell, it's something that is harder to do in FFT. And that's still sort of a squad-based game, specifically because of the way its combat works. And you just used up an equipment slot, so that's what they're there for. <laughs> oh no, I used one of my two equipment slots, of which nearly every class in the game has. Oh well. That's enough out of them. Tom, are you okay? I just popped in on that. I'm fine. <laughs> it's just the fact that we are having this discussion when all of the facts of the game clearly Advancing. I am your humble servant. set up a counter argument to what's haste. being said. That's Where like, okay, let's just be bold faced about Heading the facts here. <laughs> Allow me. Hydra your classes sort of don't have significant weaknesses, like you're now stomping griffins with cavalry. The thing about cavalry is they just immediately get folded by status effects. Like, you can do all sorts of stuff with cavalry. They get blinded once and they're done. And again, yeah, okay, so you have a, ca a counter to that in clerics, which is how I have my squad set up. That's, again, the whole point of the game. Like, you can set up your units in so many different ways to have counters online for whatever it is that the enemy is going to try to do to take advantage of the weaknesses of whatever your primary quote-unquote unit in the squad is. So like for this cavalry unit we here, advance. we're doing an all-cav squad that does some damage, sure. If we get blinded, then we can't do anything. I have a cleric here to be able to remove that blind. He's done. That's the whole point of the game. This whole discussion of like, well, if this unit is better because whatever, doesn't matter. And again, I say unit because that's 
the vocabulary that I have for a particular kind of class. The actual verbiage would be, this class is bad because they have this weakness, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because of the fact that you have up to a five-man unit in a squad. So you can have whatever accommodations you need to make up for whatever weaknesses you have for a particular class that is the primary focus of a given unit. Ah, I had a thunderclap ring on Antonio. Thank you, Cyberwolf. I appreciate that. I don't think we actually need to worry about him being stunned at this point, though. Like, doesn't seem like a huge issue here in Albion, so I might just leave the mirrored spectacles on him, honestly. That's probably the way to go. As expected. Don't know what the discussion is about. Basically, the discussion, Heartland, is around what makes... Well, it started with best rules. What makes best rules strong? And I maintain the idea that best are rules are really good. But there's this kind of ongoing thing, like, well, they don't have these things that elven units can do or they're for some reason better in the hands of the ai compared to the player which doesn't make any sense because you can literally do Should anything be with bestrals that the ai can do and like people are trying to use the example of well different team comps whatever but like you can also make whatever, whatever you team need. comp you want that the Advancing. ai can make so like that still doesn't make any sense Your orders, so if you will. i'm arguing against some of the really weird stuff that people are saying it doesn't make any sense Time to prove myself. Better heal up. We got these guys shut down. No problem. So far, so good. So now at this point, the only things left to handle are this squad here, which with three Sainted Knights and three Sword Masters should not be a problem with the team comps. That Wherever you'd like me. In fact, yeah, we'll be able to nuke pretty much the entirety of the Sainted Knights and then a portion of the Sword Masters with these guys. Why does the one Sword Master have more health? Wait, what? Oh, weird. Look at this guy. Look at him with a different team setup than the others. Lapis Pendant, Carnelian Pendant, Pursuance Blade, Hunter's Claymore. And he has different growths as well. Oh, because he, okay, because he's the leader. Right, 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 right. I was going to say, why is he different? But still, yeah, do? we can absolutely nuke these guys. Right and Your then here, we can drop them, no problem. Have you need of my skill? Rainus, I don't know if I have need of your skill, actually. <laughs> the fact that you only have three units in your squad is rough. I'm going. Or three classes in your unit, but you know what I mean. Where should I go? Heading there now. A minor blessing. Assign no anguish to an empty purse. Well, they just pointed that uh, Mirage Wearline class is just a berserker that goes faster at night. Not really, no. Um, it helps that I, I am not using most uniques. So it really didn't have too much of an impact on me one way or the other. Your there has been sort of an idea brewing in my head oh, that... Yeah. There are certain things that I think show where Vanillaware ran out of money. Because that is the thing that we know now. They said that they ran out of money while they were making the game. And I think the fact that there's only two generic Elven classes and then, like, a unique class or, well, a unique character in Marard who is visually distinct because of a best role. But then otherwise is just a gladiator even though he has his own unique class name. And even has, like, his own call-outs in the tutorial, but then How is otherwise. 
<laughs> He's otherwise literally just a berserker that gets the bonus from being a bestial, which is interesting. So I'm not necessarily disappointed by it, because like it's fine. I think that's okay. We have a bunch of unique characters that are just a completely normal generic class, even though they have like some story significance, like um Ethelian has like a whole side quest associated with him. He's just a generic elven fencer, basically. Um so I'm not disappointed by it, but I do think it t is potentially showing where some of the money issues for vanilla or vanilla came in. Not even worth bragging over. How many angels have you recruited thus far? Uh, we haven't actually gotten any of the generics in yet. We have uh, what's her bucket over here? Rainus. We have Rainus. She is a feather bow. We're not probably going to wind up using her. And then of course we have Ocleese, who we've had for a long time, but. I think after we clear this battle, we're probably going to have access to a bunch of forts that let us recruit a bunch what of angels, doing? which I'm excited about. Because we do have a lot of backer units that are going to be angels. You got orders for me? You move on for this conversation. is going nowhere. We can absolutely move on from it, Navi. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be there before you know it. I have this one. Vanilla, we're running out of money like the sun yes, rising in the morning. <laughs> against the rising tide. It shall make your drowning all the quicker. So, Karius, I don't think you have a leg to stand on here, bro. Also, technically, Marauder was a human before, so probably Easy was even gladiator before turning. I think it's more related. That is a fair point, Xavier. You know, honestly, I hadn't thought about that. But that would be a pretty interesting angle. If the reason that Marard is so similar to a normal Berserker is because it's... Assign no anguish to an empty oh, That's a cool idea. I do like that. It would then raise questions about what class Unifee would have been. Then. Was it specifically... Yeah, she was a lion, right? That's what it was stated as in... The lore, I believe, in the discussion from what we saw last night. So yeah, I think I she was in a lion, God. but then probably a unique lion class. But what's cool is we don't actually know what the lions really would be capable of. Because if Mirard, like, you know, he's a human who was turned into a lion, so if his skill set came from being a human originally, we don't actually know what the lions would normally be capable of. So that's a pretty interesting thought, actually. They scrapped bards, also had a variety of instrument sprites, which makes me sad we didn't get them. Really, Ethan? Where do we see that? That is interesting. Hmm. That is very interesting. I thought maybe feel like that how kind of Pistorius was separated from the rest of the plot. Pistorius is interesting, seeing as how they do talk about how like no one really knows that much about it, and that's fair. Like it's not necessarily it's not necessarily a reason of, like, outside problems, like, fiscal monetary issues for the studio. You can just have sort of an isolationist nation that other people don't know much about in terms of the story. But, on the other hand, it could be an indication that they wanted to keep it slightly disconnected because they were worried about being able to afford to fully flesh out the story. But, on the flip side, then there's also way more generic Vestral classes than there are generic Elven classes. So yeah, it's hard to say. I just, I find it weird, personally, that there are only two generic Elven classes. And they're really cool. Like, they're definitely fun classes with very well-designed art and everything. But compared to the generics from, say, Albion, or from Astorius, or just the dearth of human classes, it does make one wonder. Absolutely. I make haste. Your orders, please. No, I appreciate that, Momo. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I'm I'm certainly enjoying the game. My wings shall take me. It's more I an argument haste. born of. A lot of frustrations that I have with strategy RPG players as a community, with the way they approach a lot of games. And that's something I felt long before I ever became a YouTuber. <laughs> I've always had a lot of disagreements personally with the way people approach these games. 
Yeah, but Surrey's definitely seems to be an isolationist country, I agree. Go! From the art book. Oh, really? Hmm. Don't know that she was a lion. Felt like she only suggested she might be to make Mirard feel less alone. And to give hope that he might change back. The archive confirmed otherwise. We'll have to take a look. I wanted to take a look for, um... The boss of the previous stage, whose name I can no longer remember. Because people were saying that there was a little bit of story detail about him. That we don't otherwise get if we don't look for So I do want to check that out. As well. But I, it definitely seemed to be implied via the story that she was a lion, because she was like the princess. And the ruling tribe did seem to be the lions. So that was my assumption. However, classes are hard to balance. No, that's true. That's absolutely true. Definitely. in the Watsonian explanations. <laughs> I mean, that's all any of us can do is speculate, right? And the different angles of speculation that we take are pretty much the only difference we can make in terms of the discussion. <laughs> Balance of classes in terms of weapon types is also kind of weird. So many swords and bows take so long to get many classes. I think that's fair, though, because there's a wide variety of different types of combat styles that use swords. And we see that throughout history, right? Like, yeah, there's a ton of different combat styles for lances, spears, which are two different things, technically, axes, flails, glaives, swords, knives, etc., etc. Um, but in the way that video game balancing is done, up good. sword classes are Where I very start? versatile. You can have tanks, you can have damage Took dealers, you, you can have kind of a mix of both, different stuff like that. So it does make sense to a degree, I would say, that there's a Glad wide me. variety of sword classes and less bow classes, especially because a lot of the bow classes are kind of very non-traditional things like frontline great shield tank arbalists <laughs> with like gigantic shield walls. Not the most common thing. Certainly something that did exist in actual life. history, but less standard than a dude in armor with a shield and a sword of various kinds, you know? Your orders, sir. Forward. So I can definitely see why there would be servant. more sword classes early Forward. compared to bow classes. Perhaps a bit of caution. Keep a level head, everyone. It isn't my finest hour. Let me at him. Got our last two units out here. No holding back. The assists. You know he doesn't remember anything. Morard said he remembers everything, but pretended otherwise. See, Chloe. I can do right. Stuff. But the whole idea is that she she's the. Chance. She's the princess that was being saved. Like, I feel like I remember that being directly stated. Is that in the archive here? Let's see. A member of Pistorius Space Resistance Group, right? right. She more found a battle for Black Mona. Yep. You just began to question what hid behind her own lost memory. Liberation was stopped by Unifi. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the archive doesn't talk about that, but I feel like I remember them very specifically talking about the idea that Unifi was the princess that Mirard originally died to attack. Hmm. Not just that, she came back to help the lady. Oh, Alcina, sure, 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 yes. I have things to do. Oh, no worry, Enzo. Thanks for dropping in while you did. Nowhere that says Alcina is any way, shape, or form Elaine's grandma. 
the implication could be there because of her love for Gerard and the love that Gerard clearly had for her, but it's not directly stated from what we've seen, no. Here's even more Antonio lore. Oh, nice, Cyberwolf. Very nice. Whenever anyone in the army is tired, Antonio will hoist them over his shoulder, give them a piggyback ride so they can rest their legs without slowing everyone down. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm definitely curious about this um, Unify thing. You sure about this? That is definitely interesting. On it. I'm scratched up good. Your orders, if you would. Understood. Don't even think of taking Been that. Waiting for this. Get out of here. Gonna need That's my base, baby. What are we doing? Well, you guys specifically are out of stamina, but. All set. What is causing such problems for us here? Ah, yeah, we're gonna be getting ice coffined. Yeah, and then broken. <laughs> Where should I start? Hmm. Interesting. We could put on freeze immunity stuff, but I don't know that we enough. necessarily need to. We want to put a ring on Alcina in a future that Vanilla releases, releases a DLC. Oh, I mean, yeah, same. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Heavy swing doesn't really deal enough damage. This should be easy. Let's have these guys chill for, for a second. Advancing. They're healing. How may I assist? This. As you wish. Your orders, sir. As you wish. If nothing Someone else, we should probably just have Elaine boost over here with a feather. Servant. And Antonio's proof that the right to arm bears is found in many places. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. Yeah, the ice coffin squad is pretty Heading scary now. What's my next? unit has captured this land. Pains me to simply watch while our homeland suffers such abuses. Allow me to offer this meager aid, if nothing else. Hey, very nice. What's next? I'm standing by. Where should by. I start? Where should I start? My wings shall take me. Departing at once. I'm Scary up. stuff here from this squad. Heading over. There we go. We can start punching Your orders, through. if you would. Advancing. Where should I go? Don't need to worry about any of those. Heading guys. there now. It's not safe. I mean, you can delay them. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just moving them over there to get ready. It's really not a huge deal. <laughs> Delay is so funny because it's like I respect the hustle, but at the same time, like, is this Have really helping you? I make haste. Also, holy five sorcerer squad, Where man! Start? Yikes! All set. Um. Took let's you just long bully enough. them, actually. Yeah, that did that that did a number on him. <laughs> that was pretty good. This should be easy. Steal your resolve. I'm waiting. Together. Prove your loyalty. Not 35. I think that's our highest leveled squad. And actually, yeah, now that I think about it, we're at the point where we have everyone's skills unlocked. I completely... That completely passed me by. But yeah, pretty much everyone gets like their final skill at 30. I don't think I've ever seen anything past that. Wow. Very cool. I Man, these guys have been slaughtering so much stuff, I did not even consider the fact that they were... 
at the point where they had all their skills unlocked. That's super cool. Where should I go? Understood. Departing at once. What should I do? Sir. I did it. Junior Rain is a base half name. Oh, yeah. Oh. This will be rough. Man. Shall I assist you? <laughs> this is where ranged assist becomes really useful. What is the initiative on these guys? 16, 16. Oh, but they all have quick cast. Right. That's why they were just going to chain freeze us into the ground. Thank you, ranged assist. <laughs> Yeah, no, as soon as we're at the point where people are just being like, well, this thing happens in the post game that you clearly haven't gotten to, but it's non-canon, so it's fine. No, get, get out of here. <laughs> I don't care if it's non-canon. I want to find out what the game has in store for myself, you ass. <laughs> so now, we have a bunch of casts here. Took you long enough. Yeah, and that's where these issues are coming in. So, where is Lex's squad? Here. About time. Yep. Be there See, we need the anti-magic here. Uh, so, in magic. that vein, you I'm guys go grab this. You Your guys orders, grab if this. Understood. And you Your guys orders, grab this. As you and then we're going to be in good shape. Here. I've captured it. We need a second. I have five mods. <laughs> it just it happens ours. to be that no one's here at the moment, Momo. <laughs> I await further orders. No holding back. I'm assuming because it said to capture all the bases. I'm I don't, not loving. Shall I? Not loving my own. Over in a I like how everyone either completely clears Allow me to or dies. We shall prevail as one. I don't want to clear this just this in case. Been waiting for this. Um. I don't want to clear this in case it actually finishes the map and we don't get the bonuses for capturing everything. This will be rough. Can we keep these guys alive? Ah, we can. Perfect. All right, everyone. Let's back off of the boss real I'm quick. Going. Sure, we capture sure. everything, which we will. Did it. What shall I do next? Now. Perfect. Do of strength. Very nice. What do you awesome. want now? Now. God. You got orders for me? We can move Lex's squad Be there in before and you know it. Beautiful. All done. Be over in a sec. It just comes down to the fact that people used units differently, man. The only problem is when folks refuse to see other angles for why things can be good. Which does make it fun. Auto capture the last base. The one thing I wanted to make sure was that we were actually able to get the ruins, because I wanted to see what we got from that, which wasn't much. Usually we get like 20k warp on or something from which is wild. But we didn't get that here, unfortunately. How's the latest video doing you wise? Oh, uh, good question. It was doing pretty well when I was a little while ago. Yeah, it's doing alright. It's starting to fall off a bit now, unfortunately. It's, this is one of the fastest fall-off periods for a game See, that, that I've seen in a while, that I've covered in a while. Like, both Fire Emblem Engage and Tactics Over Reborn lasted, video-wise, far longer than Unicorn Overlord is. But it seems like across the board, 
there's been a lot more fall off in interest, far more quickly than either of those, which is interesting. A word, Lady Scarlet? My people are safe once more, due almost wholly to the benevolence of the Liberation Army. The proper thanks eludes me. Um, Rhaenys? In what felt like a mere moment, you've become a fine young woman. Do you remember the day I left Albion? Back then, I didn't understand the point of it all. I cried and cried, begging to stay until my voice went hoarse. Might also have to do with recent releases, FF7 Rebirth and Dragon's Dog, but that's very true. That is very, very true. People are just devouring those games right now. So that makes sense. Absolutely. And I remember you cried with me that day. I've spent many an idle evening since, lamenting my decision to remain behind. With only my thoughts to keep me company, I could but imagine how frightened you must have been. How alone. I was both, at times. But my years on the island made me tougher than I could have ever expected. Indeed they did. The woman before me now is nothing like the sobbing girl I remember. <laughs> you miss some of my finest These hours, are beaten, have, you know. broken souls. Yes, I'm. And yet our aware. fortunes ride with them. But I refuse to miss another. My place is at your side and nowhere else. I only hope Prince Elaine sees it the same way. I suppose I'll know soon enough when I ask to join the Liberation in true. Don't they need you here? Perhaps, but we're all of the same mind. We do whatever is necessary to aid the Liberation. Then come. I'm sure Elaine will be thrilled to hear the news. Very nice. Very, very nice. That was a fun fight. It was not particularly hard, other than those couple of sorceresses that came out at the end that were going to threatening to just chain freeze us into oblivion forever. Um, that wasn't too bad. I liked having the multiple different angles of attack that we were under, though. That was cool. Is there any in-game lore on the lifespan of Bestral Featherwings and Elves? Ooh, good question. Haven't seen anything about it really yet. Shall do whatever I must make the choice. Well, thank you, Rainus. And welcome. Good to have you. Elves mention nebulously long lives, seemingly very long. It, which makes sense for elves. It's pretty standard for this type of fantasy. You know, someone who's watching Free Ren right now definitely strikes home. <laughs> so, 39 Divine Shards. We are one away from picking up the Grand Barris, which I really, really want. <laughs> That'll be so, so nice. But unfortunately, can't quite hit it yet. Well, that unlocked a pretty big area of Albion for us, which is nice. Who can we hire? Who can we hire? Feather swords and feather bows. Okay. Delicious. Here we go. Okay. Let me find in my dock where we've got our feathers. Feather staff for game lore, but we don't have that yet. I know feather shield is another, so we won't be able to get that just yet. Here we go. For Ethan. 
feather sword named Quinn. I hope that's actually a name that we have. Let's see. Should be. Ooh, not quite. Unless I missed it. Uh, let's scroll through again really quick. Say so Quinn is typically. Oh no, there it is. I missed it. Beautiful. Okay, got it. Uh, all rounder and lucky. All right, we're already halfway there. So that puts us. Ooh, damn. Plus seven evasion. Nice. And plus two accuracy. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Um, oh, I didn't actually manage to capture all of the customization descriptions. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Base color crimson, hair color brown. Okay. Crimson. Also bonus points for putting everything in order. That's very nice. Brown. Got it. Brass armor, two. And red for accents. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty nice, actually. And voice noble, too. I make for battle. I depart. Your orders, sir. Ooh, I like it. Very, very cool. Oh, wait, no, this says Feather Bow. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Ethan edited it. Uh huh. Okay, I'm glad I caught that. Ethan edited it to say Feather Bow rather than Feather Sword. Good catch, myself. <laughs> okay. So, let me pull this back up then. It says, still Quinn. Lucky Go-Getter, once again. This is cool, too. I do like that each stat set actually has different impacts on the way different classes get their stats depending on what their primary stats are. Like, very different stat spread here. Still the same two accuracy and evasion, but also extra crit rate and initiative. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, so, base color was crimson, right? I'm really glad I caught that. <laughs> Hair color is brown. Brass armor, two. Red... Very nice. And then double two. I make for battle. Cool. Welcome, Quinn. Very good to have a feather bow with us, because we've seen how powerful they can be. Strength blows through me. Very nice. Kind of casual too. Like I like the sort of hand in the pocket vibe going on. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, so that is our first angel, feather bow. We have another feather bow through Karen. Yeah, and I guess we won't have any feather swords at the moment, unless anything's been updated. Let me double check here. Feather staff, feather bow. Double check Patreon. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm pretty sure there's no actual Feather Swords, which is interesting. Leaves a little bit of a niche for Oclise, if we can <laughs> manage to keep her around, which is going to be a whole different question. Yep, Heartland wants an Elven Archer as well. Good, we'll grab that next. Yeah, lots of Feather Bows, which is actually pretty cool. If we manage to get all three of them in, in this campaign, we could get some pretty good pursuit stuff going on. We could actually basically have a Feather Bow army of our own, which is pretty great. <laughs> all right, Heartland's has been in for a while, so we'll get that next. Name of Saga. 
Oh, I don't know if that's... I think that's an elf-only name, actually. Let's double-check. There's Sarah. Yeah, no saga here. No saga. Heartland, I don't know if you're still with us. I know you were here. Imagine being the Swordmaster Mercenary looking for work in the first port with feather wings. <laughs> oh, I could change mine to Feather Sword. Yeah, if you want to. Absolutely. Absolutely. If Yeah, if that's what you want to do, Bane, that works for me. 100%. I'm Karen Bain. Karen Gray. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can do that if you're okay with that. I can just convert literally everything over to Feather Sword instead of Feather Bow. Um, until we hear from Heartland, I will hold off on this Feather Bow for now. Hey, Heartland was in chat not too long ago. How long are you planning on streaming today? For a while, Heartland. For a while. Uh, definitely catch up with us. See if there's a different name that you would like, since Saga does not seem to be available here. Uh, and in the meantime, we will get a Feather Sword set up. That looks pretty good on its own, except for the green hair. The green hair kind of clashes. <laughs> so, Feather Sword named Vivian. Okay. There we are. All around and lucky. Accuracy and evasion. I like it. Black and purples in order that you think looks better. Ooh, okay. I do like getting control. Black as a base seems good. We we'll probably have to go black armor then as well. And then maybe purple hair and purple accent if it lets us. Ooh, I do like that. That's pretty cool. That's some big goth angel vibes right there. And then composed one. Nice. Let's stay calm out there. It's wise to withdraw. Where should I go? I like it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Welcome. Welcome, Vivian. Very good to have you. I feel stronger than ever. Sorry, what's up? I heard my name. I was bio. Oh, uh, so the name that you had chosen a couple weeks back for your character, Saga, is not available here in Albion. So I was hoping you could help us pick out a new name. Um, oh god, we need 40 honors. Okay, wait, hold on. We're gonna recruit you in just a sec, but let me just donate something to get the honors that we need. There we go. We'll check these towns in a second as well once we finish our recruiting process. Wait, Saga's my elven archer? Wait, what? Did I completely misread that? Ha! <laughs> I did! <laughs> Alright, cool. We're good then. Disregard, Heartland. I thought we had someone else <laughs> asking for an angel archer. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. We're good then. 100%. Um, so then, the only other feather units that we need at this point... It actually works out. So we've got a feather shield that will be joining us once we have the ability to do so, courtesy of Dre. And then we have, where was our Feather Staff? Here, uh, courtesy of Game Lover. We're looking for Angelica the Feather Staff. We'll have to see if that's feasible. I don't know if there's female Feather Staves. We'll see, we'll see. But cool, we're partway there. Very nice. Now the question is, where are we gonna slot these guys in? Um, or these gals in, in this particular case. Feather Archers are really nice. They're good with blind. So what unit do we have that would appreciate blinds the most? Potentially this unit with Joseph, actually. Actually, what we could do, we could drop Joseph here entirely, and then we could move Dimitri to another squad. <laughs> we could move Dimitri to another squad. And we could have both of our feather units here. 
the other thing is we could keep Dimitri here, put him front line, drop Ocleese, put our new Feather Sword here, and then put our Feather Bow here for the ranged assists. That's also an option. So there's really no reason to have both Feather units in one squad. No, Heartland, I was missing something. I was missing something. My apologies. So, hmm, how do I want to go about this? We don't need a Dimitri in this squad. Also, I never did... <laughs> I never did switch the first aid kit off here, so let's do that. Get him some extra dodge. Whoop, there we go. Feather staves are femboy only. No female staves. So Angelica's not possible. Understood. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out once we get to it then. Tip from an angel enjoyer. Put three feather swords in the front line and make the back line. Buff them with tailwind and something else. They eat their buffs to deal damage. Right. Yeah, I have seen that on Ocleese when I leveled her, which is definitely interesting. We won't quite have three feather swords, but it is something to consider for sure. Because when we've got two evade tanks up front here, having the blinds would be nice. So we we could just put Dimitri here, switch him off of Toxic Throw. Probably drop that entirely, honestly. And then bring Shadow Bite in. Okay, now see, we're getting somewhere here. Hold on. Hold on. He would want more AP because he would want to passive steal and shadow blade. We can make that happen. We can absolutely make that happen. So we can do this. And set it to... This is a row, yeah. So set it to combatant status not blinded. Okay. Then, hmm. We can also give him a better sword for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think the Zidoran's Knight Sword is a decent one. Or the Icefall Blade, actually, for extra passive points. Because he doesn't need to guard. He's not guarding anyway. He's evading everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, then we put our Feather Bow, Quinn, in the back here. And we give her... Hmm. What would she want? Thank you for your service, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> also condition discharge to go off on your last move to keep the buffs until the last attack. Ooh, that's also true. Huh. That's a fun idea. So... Hmm. We could go for a Trapper's Warbow here. Do we want to, though? Because, like, the support abilities from Saint's Shot and Delaying Shot are both really nice. So I don't know that we necessarily want to put all of our damage into that. Especially when we have another Arrow Rain going on over here already. So maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll just put the Frost Bloom on. Extra crit. Some extra evade. Good damage for now. That seems reasonable. Oh, Chow to Clam Cereal. I don't know if I caught you before. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Very good to have you. Block's passive, so charge is kind of not the best here. What, Saint's Shot? Right, that's what I'm thinking. If that's what you're talking about. Because then, yeah, we can 
hit them with the like anti-passive points and then prevent them from using their, their passive skills, which seems pretty good. How long is the stream today? Kind of however long I feel like it's any. I want to make some decent progress, but... The arrow rain blocks passive? Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, 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 right. While you're charging, you can't use your passive skills. Correct. Absolutely. That makes sense. That makes sense. Very good call, Ethan. Very good call. Also good to have you, <laughs> since we're getting your character set up. So, yeah, I think Frostbloom is going to be fine for now. Also, before I forget, let's just do this quick. I mean, we could give him the ruby. <laughs> I don't know if that's really needed, but it would let him drain a bunch of passive points off of things. So, until we have a better use for it, why not? Okay, now, Silver Bangle. Don't know that that's going to be necessary at all. Um, what would you want? Even? Extra passive points would definitely be good. You know, we're about to drop Ocleese. Most likely, so we can steal this Lapis Pendant from her. Uh, as far as other stuff... Could just get damage, but they're more support than damage, really. Maybe more initiative? Shining Light just triggers when they attack. Although with the Aerial Pursuit, maybe damage is the way to go here. Because Tailwind isn't going to be super useful in this squad, because our frontliners who need to be fast are already fast. And we don't really need it on our backliners either, so... Yeah, maybe we just put damage on for now. Especially make our pursuits better. And then, actually, hold on. We have the pursuit earring somewhere. Where is it? I love that pursuit is a, just a thing that archers do. Hell yeah. So now we can do that. Now we can do that. Cool. Will delaying shot ever be used in this setup? Uh, we're working on that. We're working on that. So, as far as Saint's shot versus delaying shot. Delaying shot deals more damage. But Saint's shot reduces passive points. Potentially by two if they're a ground-based target, which is going to be most targets. Hmm. I mean, I'm not that worried about using delaying shot, really. Because this team is already pretty fast, and we're not pumping a bunch of initiative on Quinn. So anything that's going to be lightning fast that we might want to delay anyway, she's probably not going to go before. And she'll just blind instead. So we might just stick with Saint's shot for the passive point reduction. Kind of have that synergy going on with our rogue. And then this, we can target the unit with the... No, not on PP. Uh, here we go. Most PP. Okay. Shining Light will blind things. Tailwind. Not really worried about. We can drop that. Aerial Pursuit. Wants a flying ally. So... We could... Hmm. We could potentially swap out Geiger for a flying unit. And we could put our new Feather Sword here and then move Geiger. Maybe that is the play, actually. Because there's really nothing in this squad that requires having Geiger here.
That might not be bad. Hmm. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Let's see. Because then that would put Geiger over here. And having that fast damage in this squad would not necessarily be bad at all. Plus, then Amalia could cover for him. Let's actually consider this. Toss Vivian in here. She can use her smites and her spiral sword to get her boosts. Um, being on the front line, I feel like she generally wants to be spiral sorting more. So we're going to put shield smite on combatant status, or no, uh, combatant type armored. And then if there's no armor, just use spiral sword on the lowest HP enemy, probably. Discharge we can set to last action, like y'all were saying, which is not a bad idea. Oh god, where is that? I've never used that before. <laughs> uh, is it here somewhere? Ah, here we go. So, that would, oh, well, it's before attacking with an active skill. Maybe, here's what we do. Make it so that we only use it when we have one or less AP. Yeah, one or less AP would make a proc on the last attack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Diurnal Guard is good. Accelerate is also okay. I don't know These if These are beaten, it broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Did PP instead of AP? Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, because, like, that would give us the opportunity to use all of our other buffs. Because I'm going to give her some AP and PP boosting stuff, for sure, like uh, Oakley said. So then that would give us the opportunity to use Diurnal Guard, Accelerate, things like that. And we can set these, that we only use them if we have two passive points or more. And then we can go in for the big swing, use Discharge, get our buff. Meteorite be sword or sword be good for feather sword? Uh, maybe it depends on how you have them set up. Really, like as a frontliner, the guard rate and max HP is not bad, but it's certainly not what you would typically be building on feather sword. From what I'm seeing of them, they're more evade tanks than anything. So like something like Notos's sword would actually be way better on her. But I don't know that I necessarily want to pull that off of Geiger. Claymore. That is an interesting one, for sure. We could go with the Zenoira Knight Sword just in case we happen to get hit. It is good damage. If we have no other options that we want to follow, that's not a bad choice. This runs the risk that you use Diurnal Guard and then immediately discharge. Is that necessarily a problem, though? Also, Stefan Varner, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Good to have you. Um, because, like, we Diurnal Guard when 
we're about to be hit by a physical attack. We block, we get a passive point. The main issue with that, if we get the passive point during the day, is then we now no longer would have the passive points one or less for discharge, so it might not activate. But it's not like Discharge would immediately activate because of us using the Iron Guard. It has to activate before we attack. On your first attack. Right, right now. But that's because we still have to add other conditions and pass points and stuff. Don't remember, I'm sure you did a video on this. I just need a reminder. Does Gold Egg and Bandit Blade stack for plunder? It does not, no. Uh, that I covered in the, I'm pretty sure it was titled something along the lines of, like, like plunder does not stack with <laughs> golden eggs or something along those lines. Uh, that is a video on the channel, yeah. And the caveat of buffed on discharge, I guess. Yeah, because we would definitely only want to discharge if we had buffs, but... but... Would it work even if we didn't have buffs? Probably not but I mean that would get the job done definitely and then this I would say this and this you definitely get a better shield here for sure Luminous shield could be good. That's really funny. <laughs> I don't think I ever realized that the Icefall shield has a base guard rate of 20% and then gives you minus 20% guard rate. That's weird. Like, why not just have it have 0% guard rate then? <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. We could also just go with a Vorpal Shield. We probably will. Now, grab the Ruby Pendant off of Recluse. And we grab the Lapis off of... Oh, wait. We already grabbed the Lapis off of Recluse. Right. Uh... I don't think we necessarily need this one over here on this cell sword. There we go. Okay, cool. That's feeling pretty okay. Now, these are beaten, broken souls. Here. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Because Bull Force only activates after we use an active skill, so that'll still give us plenty of time to get our vengeful, uh, our following slashes in, I should say. Vengeful Guard we don't really use. Cool. Yeah, that should actually be fine. Alright, I'm feeling good about this, man. I feel like we're in a pretty decent spot right now. Maybe we just take a leaf brooch for our own healing. Probably not a bad idea. I feel like if the goal is to make it proc in the last attack, you want it to proc in the last attack and not be subject to the uh, vigors of your other passives proccing. Put user is buffed. Uh, do we not have user is buffed? Maybe that's an old message. Ah, right. Own condition versus combatant status. I always get tripped up by that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Wants to proc on the last attack and not be subject to the vagaries of the other passes proccing. So what would you recommend then, Andrew? Just do like own AP is one or less? I mean, yeah, I guess we can. Cause then having this set up this way will still only diurnal guard if we have enough passive points. It'll let us chain together a bunch of stuff. The main question. The main question is, are we just going to use all these buffs to blow up something that barely has any HP left? But, I mean, really, the only way to find out is to test it, so. 
I R C. You're gonna marry Berengari. Probably do that sooner rather than later. Unlike Fire Emblem, uh, keep that until the last mission, at least if you'd like. You know that is an excellent point, and that is something that I was thinking about last night. Goats. We haven't seen that before, actually. That's new. Um, I was thinking about the fact that we could probably marry sooner rather than later, since I'm planning on going with Berengaria. So I should probably just do that, huh? What is the rapport between Elaine and Berengaria? And, oh god, how do I check? I guess... Here. Have we legitimately never looked at this menu before? Have we legitimately never looked at this menu before? Oh my god. Wow. That's wild. I know we looked at it during the demo, but yeah, I guess because of all of the generics and everything that we've been using, we've never needed to. That's hysterical. <laughs> Just goes to show the weirdness of the run, man. I love it. That's really cool. <laughs> Awesome. Yes, we do know how rapport works. Game. Thank you. So, we actually have a conversation with Morden. Interesting. Oh my god, we have no rapport with Baron Gary. That makes sense. They've never been in a unit together, so. Uh, okay, well, we need to boost that really fast, which we will do. This reminds me, did you ever rebuild the bridge in Pistorius near the first big city? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's the one that leads over to uh, these statues over here. Yes, we have done that. So. Heavens, you're chilled to the bone. A good meal will warm you up. Not quite what we're looking for here. Elaine doesn't know anyone in his army. He knows all the generics quite well. <laughs> That's about it, though. Actually, wait. Is this something I can check on the world map? Is it in facility info? It just shows us the shops. Wow, we've got 91.5% traversal suddenly. Wow, man. That's wild. Heavens, you're ah, to the bone. Exquisite Fraser cake. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, uh, Elaine and. Where is. Ah, there she is. Nope, wrong one. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes I lie like with them. Ticket. I think I have a Go ton on, of these. Eat up. Cake is so jiggly. <laughs> I do like we have this delicious dessert. And then alongside of it, fresh bread, potato and egg salad, and an aged cheese spread. <laughs> Not typically what I would consider alongside my delicious strawberry cake, but, you know, each their own. Also, Stefan Varner, Kazumix, and Ludovico Capuano have all subscribed. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Very good to have you. A veritable feast. Delightful. Simply inspiring. Hmm. Mind bringing me back sometime? <laughs> Ooh, Berengaria is interested. Very nice. All right, let's do it again. Just spam these until we get our rapport all the way up. Go on, eat up. Okay. <laughs> Ripe and sweet oranges and kiwi and melon platter definitely make more sense. The bread still, I mean, maybe as a, a palate cleanser between the different types of sweets, but... <laughs> Shall we? Not bad. Simply inspiring. Hmm. I could get used to that. <laughs> We're softening, softening her up, lads. Let's get her. Get her to guard someplace and give Go her gifts. On. We can Eat also up. do that, yes. But as long as we have free meal tickets, we may as well keep doing this. Fresh picked grapes, ripened sweet oranges, and then potato and egg salad. Again, we've got like a kind of starch to be a palate cleanser, I guess. 
And yeah, don't mind like the salt and oil and chili powder and <laughs> oregano and turmeric and everything. It's a fine. Veritable feast, delightful. Go on, eat. As though it were made by the royal chef. <laughs> Go on, eat up. Shall we? Delightful. Go on, eat. Mind bringing me back sometime? You got it. Okay, so where does that put us at? I don't actually know how to repeat or read the rapport gain. All right, we do have a conversation available. Very good. Oh. Oh, we're maxed. Ah, of course. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was remarkably easy. Easier than I expected. Cool. Hell's your deal, Elaine. Wow. Okay, Varangaria. I just treated you to, like, six cakes. <laughs> Let's chill a second here. Let's have a little bit of appreciation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love it. Hey, and Ethan cobbled together some Quinn lore. Quinn became a featherbow shortly after Albion capitulated to Zenora. She was conscripted into Zenora's forces alongside many of her fellows. Hey, nothing wrong with that. That's a start, brother. I like it. I like just having any sort of backstory for these generics. It's more fun that way. Absolutely. <laughs> she hitting you with that what's your game here <laughs> oh she really is I'm sorry I don't get it you're still just a kid but you're out here leading one of the biggest armies Feverith's ever seen and yeah you've got help I know but it's a tough job that was true even running the tiny little band I used to so it's almost scary seeing how easy you make it look not to mention, I was fresh off working for Zenora when you asked me to join you. Why weren't you afraid of me, damn it? I was. And I still am. Of a great many things. My lack of experience, chief among them. But I think, er, but then I think back to the day that Cornea fell. The look on my mother's face as she bade me flee. In that moment, all I could see was the concern she bore for me. Not even a hint of fear. And even though I know she was only trying not to worry me, I've long since decided to carry on that spirit. No matter what terror I might feel, my army shall never know a trace of it. Nice. Huh. <laughs> Makes sense to me. But keep yourself strung too taut and you're likely to just snap in half. So yeah, I'll be here if you ever need to talk. You have my thanks, Berengaria. Nice! Very cool! Very cool, I like that. As one leader to another. Awesome. Alright, next. Let's see what's up. I do love that you can just auto-fast travel to the area if you have it unlocked as well. So nice. In that case, I do have Morgan lore. Hell yeah, hit us with it, man. Morgan is used to the... Un er, it Morgan use is... Used to be... Morgana is, either way, the youngest daughter of the De La Cruz house. She actively competes against her older brothers constantly. She absolutely hates injustice, which is why she joined the rebellion. Nice! I love it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm seeing red flags in this relationship already. Why is that? She's willing to hear him out, let him talk, give someone to talk to. That seems reasonable. see what the next one is well if it isn't everyone's favorite little workhorse please Baron Garia you didn't patronize me I'm not just thought you could use a bit of friendly teasing is all if everyone keeps treating you like some kind of perfect commander you'll always feel like you're stuck acting the part that would be rather stifling yes but you and me we barely know each other which means we're free to just breathe be ourselves, without giving a damn what anyone else thinks. Hmm. I suppose it would feel rather odd letting my guard down amidst my royal retainers. Right? I wouldn't want to be caught dead talking to my men like this either. 
You know, Berengaria, I believe that's the first time I've ever seen you laugh like that. You got a problem with it? Not at all. It's almost stunning, in a way. Hey, there you go. Riz Lord Elaine, let's go. <laughs> huh. Make fun of me again, it'll be the last thing you do. That's not my intent, I assure you. Just a little friendly teasing, as you put it. But I promise I meant every word. Oh, and turning it back on her. Nice. Well played, Elaine. Well played. Ha <laughs> Me. Stunning, huh? Can't say I've ever thought of myself like that. And I don't think anyone's called me it either, but... It feels pretty good, knowing you think so. Ah, oh, cute. Ah, oh, cute. I like it. How many good guys do you see going around in ancient evil armor? I mean, she explicitly said, she did explicitly say that she stole that armor so that she could fight Zenoira properly from within. Having seen Elaine's reports, this man has Riz, nonstop Riz. I mean, I can see it. I can absolutely see it. <laughs> All right. Last one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I wasn't. I really wasn't thinking about the fact that we would probably, like, do the whole Ring of the Maiden thing tonight. Can Antonio be the best man? I can't think of a better best man. Absolutely. <laughs> Going for Eltalinda. Eltalinda's a good choice. Absolutely. No doubt about that. I don't get it. Why do you keep talking to me like this? Well, I mean, I know it was all of 45 seconds ago, Baron Gare, but you did say that he could talk to you if you ever needed to. Well, perhaps it's because I enjoy your company. And the chance to let my guard down, of course. But I'll be sure to keep my distance more often if it troubles you so. Listen to me, Elaine. You know how you said before it's a good thing we barely know each other? Well, there's a downside to that, too. Meaning what, precisely? There's no telling when one of us might turn on the other. But that's how it goes when you're practically strangers. There's not a damn thing keeping us together. It's a one wrong move and the whole thing falls apart. Not that I'm planning to put a knife in your back anytime soon. But if Cornea and Drakenhold ever went to war again, you know which side I'd pick. Nothing personal. Then you mean to say that all of this was for naught? Oh, Elaine's hurt. That you would betray my trust without the slightest hesitation. Or perhaps I've always been a simple pawn in your grand schemes. If that's what you want to believe, so be it. Just know I really have enjoyed our little chats. Especially when you get all defensive about me deserting you. Is this some manner of joke to you, Berengaria? Sorry, I guess I'm just surprised to see you care so much. Maybe that means we're not the strangers I thought we were. Let's just hope our countries don't get in the way of that. Yes. Let's. Ooh. A little bit of a rough end there. <laughs> a little bit rough. Hmm. Interesting. So, you need to have a rank rapport, right? And then you go over to the shrine, yeah? Time to confess, I guess so. I mean, let's do it, man. This is it. The same altar I saw in our texts. Poor Rosalinda is just <laughs> completely shut out here right now. <laughs> Looks like I was right. What do I do next? Come back here with the person you've chosen for the right. Offer them the Ring of the Maiden, and you're done. That is, if they accept. Doing oh so boy. should unleash the power stored deep within your own ring. But... Is there more? The covenant between Unicorn and Maiden 
requires both sides to be of one mind and one heart. If either betrayed the pact they swear at this altar, they would face terrible consequences. Oh, interesting. At least, according to the texts. Ha! Huh. What better way to lock down Berengaria's loyalty to her country than being like, well, if you agree to this, then you'll suffer terrible consequences. <laughs> if you wind up ever betraying it. Yikes, that's spooky. I'll have to keep that in mind. Considering the risk, I'd suggest you give the ring to the person you trust most. Rosalinda holding back tears when she sees Berengaria show up. Oh no! Oh, now I feel bad for her. Head back to the altar once you've made up your mind. Elaine can only perform the rite of the covenant with an ally he bears a deep and profound connection with. Well... Yep, <laughs> we've got one option for that. So here we go. Tempted to go to the deepest bromance of my life. I mean, hell yeah, dude, you can if you want. Absolutely. Time for our boy Bruno. No! <laughs> Listen, Bruno can always have the bromance, man. He doesn't need no filthy stinking ring to confirm his love in his heart that we have given unto him, all right? Bruno knows how important he is to this army. That is a love born of trust and mutual understanding. No physical object is required for that. No thanks. Uh, nope! <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see where this goes. But I haven't even said anything yet. That's excellent. That's awesome. Well, I mean, just gotta be straightforward. Sheer power will, baby. Let's go. I'd like you to have the ring of the maiden. I knew it. And, uh, yeah. Not interesting. <laughs> Why not? I've heard the stories from Rosalinda. Breaking this oath comes at a heavy cost. See? That is interesting. That is super interesting, actually. Because I, like, I, I mean, you guys heard, I just said, like, the way to lock down her loyalty, I guess, would be, be like, listen, you gotta be sure that you're okay with the consequences of this if you agree to it. And she says, no. I respect that. Very, very interesting. And there's no guarantee I won't turn on you. Or you on me. Oh. Oh, no. Uh. We haven't saved in a hot sack. <laughs> okay, what do we do? I would never do that. We'll never face those consequences. Or we'll face those consequences together. Um... No, man. I'm I'm tempted to be realistic about it. Be like we'll face those consequences together. Cuz it's easy to say I would never do that as if you know what the future holds, right? But acknowledging These the risk beaten, broken souls, and stepping up to it and yet our fortunes ride with them. That feels like what Baron Garia would respect. 
Also, Calman Twanton, I believe is the proper pronunciation there. Welcome. Very good to have you. Thank you for joining us. Think about the obvious one, Motor Baron Gary's values. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We'll face those consequences together. That's the one that feels right. That is the one that feels right. Because she'll just dismiss, I would never do that. But putting your values and your word on the line, being like, we'll deal with that together. Yeah, that feels right. I'm going, I'm going to go with that. Then we'll face those consequences together. We could live a hundred lives, and I would pick you every time. <laughs> That's some risk you're taking. <sighs> if what they say about your unicorn and its tradition is true, this covenant represents the strongest bond imaginable. The sacred kind. Or severing it might just cost your life. I'll bear any danger should it mean spending that life with you. Marry me, Berengaria. <laughs> Stunning as you are now, you'll look even more so in the pure white <laughs> of a wedding dress. Woo! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> You're really something, you know that? But I'm not complaining. The answer's yes, by the way. There we go. Nice! Hell yeah! I love you. Now and always. Nice. And I hope you're ready to put up with me for the rest of your life. Oh boy. <laughs> your laughter. Your tears. Your pain. I'm here for all of it. Hey! Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that was good. That was good. The Rite of the Covenant trophy. Got the Ring of the Unicorn and the Ring of the Maiden, which I imagine have very different powers now. Thus, the ring has been restored to its true power. I'm sure it will help us when the time comes to face Galerius. Definitely no bitterness there whatsoever. Okay. So now... Oh, yeah. Ring of the Unicorn, base AP plus one, and all stats plus five. Yep. And then Ring of the Maiden... Base passive points plus one and all stats plus five as well. That's pretty good for Berengaria as well. That is pretty damn good for Berengaria. Nice. Yes, I mean... Like... We get the extra passive point out of it. But strictly speaking... We don't need the hero's medallion anymore. We can put this on someone else. And then if we wanted to, we could put a normal Carnelian on him. Not that we necessarily need to have double spin, though. Like Cavalry Slayer and Lean Edge, I think are more than sufficient. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. All right. All right, Berengaria, here's your ring, ma'am. Goodbye, Green Beret. Oh, we can, yeah. We can drop the... Well, no. No, 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 no. With the Azure Crest Great Shield, we'll now have four. Right. Yeah, it can be equipped by Berengaria. It doesn't even show her sprite. It's just the text. Just brutalistic. <laughs> Also, when Rosalinda said to give the ring to the person you trust most, if you have A rank before, she says you should give it to the person you trust most or the elf. No way. Are you serious? Achievement unlocked. Goth GF. Yeah, seriously. Uh, can I tell you about Clive? Yeah, yeah, go for it, Heartland. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rings are unit locked. Yeah, absolutely, which makes sense. 
Rulane and Berengari in the same unit. Do they get more bonuses that way, Momo? That would be interesting if so. <sighs> Boy, if we do that, okay. Then the question becomes, who is the headliner? Oh, God. Who's the headliner for the Trinity Rain Squad? I mean, it can realistically be whoever. Elaine is really just here for cleanup most of the time. It's very thematic and lovely. I mean, I agree. It would be nice to have them together. Long story short, Elaine and Clive actually do just bromance it out, and Clive accepts the offer to become a member of Elaine's personal royal guard. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is nice. So, okay. If we were to do this, say we move Elaine over here. This unit is now very strong. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe make Elaine the leader just for movement speed. Who do we put here? That is the question. Could be Olaf. It could even be Antonio, actually. Because Antonio has the AoE spin. Much like Elaine had. That might not actually be bad. It'll make this squad slower. But not terribly so. And I don't generally need them to be super fast, so... And then just set the unit can have a Werefox over here. Dodgy, Poisony, Blindy. Which the blinds would be nice for this unit as well. Yeah, I think that works. I think that does work. Nice. Uh, so now, if I remember correctly, doing that is what allows us to start going to the shrines, right? I think. Can we go to one easily? What the hell is it? There. Okay. Because if I remember correctly, doing that is what allowed us to access the shrines and do whatever it is we're going to do here. We restored the ring to its true form as a sage request, yet the sanctuary remains quiet, absent even the slightest hint of activity. Uh-huh. By May Elaine, unicorns are regarded as sacred creatures within the Orthodoxy's teachings. Maybe a bisphane basilica can shed some light on things. Okay. So you do need to do this and go to Albion. Got it. Cool. I would rather not leave this task completely as proper Albion, or of course confront Galarian should we feel so inclined. No, we're I mean we're definitely going to Albion, absolutely. Wait, what? Have I never gone to this church? Oh, because it's not liberated technically. Okay. I was gonna say, hold on, how is that possible? Do you have anything I still need? No. No, definitely not. It's the same thing for this town over here, right? Yeah, because it's across the bridge. Cool. Now, no longer know if I want to go without the Linda. I'm conflicted on this all. Feels like a more important choice. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Make the choice that works for you. Also, let's repair this bridge while we're here, just for the sake of it. Honors, war funds, all good stuff. We're not doing that fight, though. <laughs> Could we actually, like, realistically pull it off at this point? Sure, I think so. We're not. <laughs> Absolutely not. She was Altalinda because she's a good girlfriend of my Berengar. I mean, Alexandra already had the best possible gear. I mean, that's fair. That is fair. 
especially if you're just looking at the min maxi perspective of it, sure. Hasn't been easy carrying all the marble. <laughs> Do let me know if you require assistance. Another sniper's amber lens, huh? That's good. That is good. Wyvern Claw, ground counter? Activates after an enemy attacks with an active skill. Counterattack a single enemy, 100 potency for his cavalry targets. Really? Huh. May the I haven't seen that bless before, you. so we'll pick it up. We'll hold off on this for the moment, I just until we have more money. I'll keep it safe, I promise. Now then. We can circle around on this side here. Let's look at what the feather shield has. I mean, definitely handleable. So. Those awesome looking units, man. Wow. Very cool. So... Resist magic assist and flight. Nice. That is really cool. Sword, great shield, flying, armor, angel. 2x dodge rate versus grounded melee. They just have everything, don't they? Impulse. Attack a single enemy. Inflicts magic defense minus 50% to ground-based targets. Okay, that's cool. I do like that. Row resistance. Grants allies and units row plus 50% magic defense. Extends to all allies during the day. Okay, okay. Mystic shield. Grants the user plus 50% magic defense and plus two passive points. Okay. <laughs> Not bad at all. Reflect magic. Activates before enemy uses a magic attack. Active, reflect a magic attack. Enemy's passive skills set to activate before or after an attack will not activate. Interesting. Huh. That is curious. Very top-heavy feather shields are. Yes, they are. Definitely. Sacrifice activates for an ally's attack. Risk one's life to cover an ally. Grants the user plus two passive points. Interesting. So notably, they don't auto-guard. Can they still guard if they use this, though? If they use Sacrifice, because they don't auto-guard with this. Very, 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 very notably. But do they still have the chance to go? Magical Legionnaire, yeah. Crazy Frontline, Hoplite, and Feather Shield. Oh, sure, absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about that. Don't think the guard sacrifice is a guard. Well, I only ask because it doesn't specify here that they use like a, a light, medium, or heavy guard, right? Like, this is a guard ability, but do they put their shield up and reduce the damage? That's what I'm curious about. Don't think so. Don't think they guard. Okay. Which makes sense. Because that's kind of like the, the drawback, right? Like, you jump in the way and just use your HP as a shield, and you get two passive points out of it. So, like Momo is saying in chat right now, it's infinite so long as you have HP, which is interesting. That is definitely very interesting. It's not guard that's getting in the way, and they can still guard. It's not guaranteed. Okay, that's what I was curious about, maybe. Because then you just push their guard over 100%, and this becomes insane. Not a guard that take full damage if they don't guard naturally. Right. Well, that's what I was curious about. I didn't know if they were allowed to guard naturally with this. It's that The fact that they can, that's super cool. I really like that. And then Mirror Weakness. Activates after the user is debuffed. Remove the user's debuffs. Inflicts all removed debuffs on a target. That is so rude. <laughs> that is just so rude, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
and then Mirror Ring grants an allied unit the same buffs as the user. So, okay. The idea here being like... You either have a bunch of Valor points or a bunch of item uses left. And you go on your feather shield and you pop like an empowering draft, a defensive draft, and like a feather, right? Um, or something like Hasten Call, Royal Order, something like that. And then you use this to give it to an ally. It has its uses. Probably not the most useful thing in the world, but it's not bad. It's not bad, either. Situational, I would say. Imagine Berengari just refused to walk away from the altar. What would I do? I mean, I would choose someone else, I guess. <laughs> the ritual has to be completed. <laughs> These Trinity rain on them and they reflect that you'll die. Oh, yeah, definitely. This is definitely a hard counter for that type of magic AoE build, but unless there's a Feather Shield in literally every squad, that's fine. We can still work around that. The like Mirror Ring is pretty met of a Valor skill, but uh, is in flavor. Mirroring they do. I definitely think it's, like, it's not the best. It's not bad either. But no, there's definitely better Valor skills. No doubt about that. Oh, hello. Well, goodbye. <laughs> you tried your best. And we are deep in enemy territory. The rebel army at our gates. Lord Jerome must know of this. Uh, Lord Jerome, huh? I expect this to be a liberation Lord fight, Jerome, though. Sir. <laughs> oh, God. Now look what you've made me do. This is far too much sugar. Oh my god. There's another guy that has to do with cooking. Let's go. Awesome. Apologies, my lord. I didn't mean to startle you. Might I ask what you are making? <sighs> Just a little something for the neighbors. Not that it matters anymore. Now, I These are you some reason broken this souls. Interference. And yet our fortunes fly it. with them. There's an armed battalion closing in on our city, my lord. It's thought to be the rebels. They dare come here? Apparently so. But is this not the perfect opportunity? If we join their ranks, we can finally start resisting Zenoira like we've always wanted. I fear that's not a choice we can make. Zenoira has men stationed at just about every corner in town. So you can imagine the consequences for our citizens should we aid this liberation and lose. I suppose so, yes. Remember, all that we do is for the sake of our people. We'll fight the rebels, and we'll win. Now, prepare for battle, and fetch my sharpest lance. I'll be welcoming them myself. It looks like Zenora stationed soldiers in Largian, too. Scarlet says, while a man with a knife sneaks up behind her. <laughs> Super casual, like, and this guy is just like, da 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 I'm gonna stab you in your back now. ba da 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 this knife is meant for you. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> it's proper knife protecting these people. He is, yeah. Makes cakes, doesn't hesitate against no one. Hell yeah. My kind of man right there. <laughs> this is the fourth named great knight. 
Yeah, that, I, that does... That is definitely a thing, huh? But I mean, it's a very easy sort of generic commander class in a fantasy setting, right? Like, generally, a knight is going to be someone of status. Typically, you don't have heavy armor and a horse and a title if you're not someone who's noteworthy. And so, of course, people who are noteworthy are going to be the characters that typically have, like, lines and a name and a unique design and all that. So it does make sense. with manners. <laughs> Thank you for Romance Berengaria too early. Jerome is a perfectly good candidate. I mean, maybe so. Maybe so. Aw, oh, I missed my chance. He just walks away. <laughs> Alright, the battle for Largian. Let's do it. Is the rogue named in Drax? He might be. Soldier Girl had a cute personality. Both of them had cute personalities. I like them both. With me, my X-Men, I mean my soldiers, will not see our city defiled any further. Well. About that. <laughs> One of the more funny supports are the ones with the mounted classes involved. Yeah, I definitely am very excited to see more of the reporters when we do um, our next run. So... Well, they're getting belled. Uh, whew, three vanguards and a couple feather bows. Interesting. What do you have, Jerome? Nothing particularly scary, actually. Lottie the soldier is with him, and she is only a soldier as well. Oh, that's a nice attention to detail. She's not even a sergeant. Very cute. I like that. Very nice. So, I'm thinking Pierre's unit Joining because we'll be able to blind the feather bows, keep their blind from landing, and then we'll have AoE magic to drop the vanguards right for sure. Wherever you'd like me. Uh, while we're at it, we can also give them a little bit of a beckoning bell to get them right out of that tower. X Men, exactly, Navi. There you go. Can we keep them? I hope so, man. I don't want to kill them at the very least. I like both of them. Also, Tomaz Borges has subscribed. Welcome, Tomaz. Good to have you. I wrote out a what-if scenario for giving Antonio the Ring of the Maiden here. Uh, is this... Or here. I'm not quite following what you're saying, but if you want to site or post it, go for it, Cyberwolf. Game needs a permadeath mode where any unit that dies is permanently removed from play. Well, that's what I'm tentatively thinking of doing, Navi. I'm doing, like... I'm thinking of doing an Iron Man permadeath mode in Truzanoiran where we can't use items to resurrect people. And I think that would make it really intense and really fun. So that is what I'm currently thinking of doing. I guess if I have to... Okay, maybe not the squad to use there, but... KB's unit, on the other hand. What are we doing? Yeah, handles it, it no problem. Cool. What is it? Here we go. Fine. I'm Fun. Ready to fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, not? I never said it wouldn't be masochistic, but. Since we had pseudo generics like Colm join up with new recruits, why aren't there more of those? I would love characters like Sven from the Rock Rats and Lottie. I agree, yeah. It would definitely be nice. I'm surprised that there wasn't more of that, but I guess seeing as how there were already so many recruits that they let you get, they didn't want to completely overwhelm you. And they do still want to give people more reasons to require, uh, require, recruit generics, so. Good night, Tom Chow. Gotta get my beauty sleep early for tomorrow. Well, have a good night, Izzy. Thank you for hanging out. It was very good having you. I really like this squad. 
the synergy of two Doom Knights, the Cleric, having the Druid to debuff enemies so they don't just tear through us, put blinds on things, the Great Knight to boost their attack. This is a very, very solid unit. We have four unique knights and one unique soldier. We didn't even get Gaily. <laughs> That's true. You are very tr uh, correct about that. What's up, girl? Hello. How goes your arting? <laughs> Just take your uh, your headphone off if you want to hear me. How goes your arting? Well done. Right. Movement? Mood. You want to ask chat? Well, okay, so chat, come on over. So you can see chat. Okay. Uh, so chat, last night we were talking about how Jane had posted her first completed art piece that she did under the tutelage of very, I think, very well uh, talented Twitter artist, um, Tori. And... Now her current assignment is to create three different expressions for an OC that she's been tasked to create. So that's her current assignment. She needs to finish it by tonight. So what are the two like moves or expressions you have this way? Hi everybody. Um <laughs> like a very like eye rolly like ah yeah. oh, why me type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the second one I have is definitely more of like a cutesy anime. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Like, oh, yeah. like the blush and like sparkly yeah. eyes and uh -huh. all that type of thing. With a fang, of course. Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. So then, did you have any ideas for your second like mood or um, expression or anything my, like that? My third one, you mean? Oh yeah, so, your third one. Sorry. Um. You got orders for me? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at... Be there before uh, you know it. Like, uh... Sure. What should I do? Like a dummy mommy As vibe? you command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Base! Base! <laughs> like, nothing looking down at you. Type of thing. <laughs> so, I don't know what the third one should be. Well, Trixie has joined us now as well. The whole family is here. It's because I'm over here, so she needs to come over. Chat being like, I heard Dommy Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Go on. <laughs> Base. No holding back. <laughs> I mean, I think you can certainly do that. Yeah. Um, have you considered drawing inspiration from like different characters and artwork and stuff like that? Yeah, I've been looking at this. Okay. Okay. I mean. You could draw inspiration from Berengaria since we're doing Unicorn Overlord stuff and we just married her. Oh, yeah, I was gonna look up Unicorn Overlord or like... Yeah, yeah, pull up Berengaria, see what you think of her, because she definitely has that type of vibe. Yeah. <laughs> we just married Berengaria, exactly. <laughs> Ayo, fact. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know you said you're not super satisfied with your first one, but I don't think you need to be, you know, it's your first assignment. Yeah. It's better to just get the practice in, it's not like. These are the immutable personalities that this character will have for all time, and you are going to be held at gunpoint to draw this character for the rest of your life. Like, we're just gonna get online. Yeah, exactly. It's just, oh, you don't like those uh, those personalities, those moods that you gave for your character? It's just the loading the shotgun. Shame. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, if you got a couple done, just rock with them, and then I would say get your third one out there, you know? Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. S death from a comic got killed, excellent example. I mean, that's true. Regardless of if you like the anime or not, it is the right character personality type, for sure. Yeah. I just realized... What, what did you just realize, Casey? <laughs> there's no follow-up there. There's representations of emotion, exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm uh, going to miss these early 10 a.m. streams. It's not going to be super common, Daniel. I just wanted to get an early stream in today because this is like my last day off before I have a stretch of work again. So I figured we would get an early stream in, 
get some good work done, then potentially, depending on what was Jane, Jane was up to, I could hang out with her in the evening or keep streaming, whatever. So most evenings are still going to be the primary stream time rather than during the day. Four knights, three clerics, two fighters, three sword masters, three warriors, one soldier. I know, the one soldier is so shad. Or shad? Sad. Satsuki? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad inspiration. Absolutely. Again, if you're going for Dami Mommy. Yeah, a little less angry, though, than Satsuki. Your orders, please. Later, Five. later show, Satsuki, where she's About got time. more of her, her caring, oh, my sister yeah. vibes going on. Uh, Satsuki going to catch good? Ryuko. At the end. Oh, yeah. That that type of vibe. There you go. It. <laughs> it has been so many years. Well, there you go. You're very welcome. Thank you for your input, chat. Very much appreciated. Of course, as payment for the services rendered, Jane will have to post the expressions in the Discord once she's done with them. <laughs> Listen, this it's not free, all right? If you're going to elicit inspiration from chat, they deserve their due reward. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not Ragio. That is a very different type of character. <laughs> you want food, honey? We can start to figure out dinner. And I've been watching you pop granola bars like they're candy. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. You have a uh, moose munch in the cabinet still, too. If you're looking for sweets. Fair. <laughs> I think this unit build works for my character, Tom, maybe during the Choosing Lord run. Quite possibly, yeah. It's definitely a strong build. There's certain stuff, like, obviously, flyers that Cavalry are not good against that they struggle with, but especially if we have a second Doom Knight, this would be a good setup. Um, that said, it's also not the only setup that the Doom Knight can be good in, but, yeah, definitely an option. We picked off the clerics and one of the wyverns, so that is definitely a very good start for this squad. We did it. Absolutely. Even if our Doom Knights got bodied as a result. Also, I know we were chatting the whole time, but I do like that these guys are like putting up defensive barricades and stuff like that. Very cool. Be there before you know it. Let's get this over with. What should I do? You guys should actually probably retreat, sure. if we're being completely honest here. Sure. Do I have Yeah, to? mess him up, Josephine team. Didn't expect to join the stream and hear Dommy Mommy. Hello, Soggy Capper. We were, we were helping Jane figure out art stuff. Soggy Capper joins the stream and goes, I wasn't expecting to hear Dommy Mommy when I joined the stream. <laughs> With Jane's words, not anyone else's. It's the, the expression she's going for for this character she's drawing. I really like our Feather Swords color scheme. Very cool. The black and purple is really awesome. Don't worry, guys. We'll chip through this great night eventually. <laughs> He's so tanky. There we go. There's some actual damage. <laughs> and then there's the discharge. Okay. Finally punched through. Jeez. Momo is very particular about this description. I <laughs> if I have to, I guess I'm I've going. reached my destination. Okay. Your orders, please. So you guys withdraw. You're done for the I'm fight. for now. Now, get the sets for unit, and we'll get a lane. They will be ours. Charge! Onward. This seems like a problem. The crater of gravity. <laughs> I want to take that ruin up there, though. 
I'm very curious as to what chances. it is that they're hiding. Also, holy feather units, Batman. Okay. Uh... Honestly, with all of the, like, negate a certain thing items and everything in this, I'm surprised that there's not, like, a prevent yourself from being debuffed item. Yeah, the blinds are definitely a problem. Uh, that's better. Might be the best we're gonna get. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, well, it's something. Yeah, the blind from the feather bows, man. How may I assist? That Forward. is exceedingly rude. Let's get this over with. Oh, wait. Ah, there you are. Okay, I was like, wait, I didn't see what you posted, Cyberwolf. I missed it. If you truly wish to give me this ring, I will gladly accept it. Means that this world will be saved, my family safe. I'll be your shield in your and the liberation's time of need. Very nice. Very, very nice, Cyberwolf. I like it. Well done. Yeah, the AoE blind is so ridiculous. Like, oh, sorry, you're gonna try and fire breath my squad? No, you're not. <laughs> Snipes, man. Nice. No quitting now. Well done, team. Well done. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. Team is a little unorthodox, but they are a very strong anti-flyer team. Do I have to? And they're pretty resilient in general, actually. I mean, listen. If you guys want to attack the I'd archers, really oh, not. come then. Okay. The blinds, man. Me. Well, fortunately, Elaine's unit is here. I'm curious about how this is gonna actually work out. What's, what's causing this? Okay, so they blind. We sneaking edge, which we miss, obviously. Burns the blind there. The toxic throw, which gets them to burn the blind again. Maybe we just get them to burn all their no? Burn all their blinds in the back line? Well, we're immune to the blind because of the sword, which is a good chunk of damage. Then maybe because of all the pursuits. Okay, good. Tis yours. Tis Let me get the dragoon dive, but the blind will prevent that from being useful. Toxic throw for poison, sanguine pursuit. Oh my god. For the crit, okay. And then some lucky hits from the lane, okay. Another lucky sanguine pursuit. Yeah, so it's RNG. Got it. Wow, yeah, RNG. Holy shit. Nice. Alright, cool. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Eventually, the gravity will run out, and we'll actually be able uh -huh. to do something. Sure. Time is with us. Should we only keep our focus? This poor Cavalier squad is really trying, man. They look tough. Hmm. The reinforcements, though, those are rude. Bouncing us up into these guys. Very rude. Don't appreciate that in the slightest.
There we go. That way we don't die Stay anyway. For now. Yeah, there's really no way to counter gravity now that I think about it. Which, man, if that isn't just a true statement. <laughs> that is a true AF statement. Huh. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're spaced far enough apart that we can't really provoke them either. Your orders, sir. And then they split. Ah, annoying. We can jump, though. Oh. Oh, wait, no, we can't, though, because... Wait. Oh, because we need jump, too. Okay, now, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. They look tough. Get away from me. You're gonna need a minute. Now... Boink. Steal your resolve. There we go. Put them on the back foot, huh? How about that? Nice. We march. Path is set. I don't have a choice. I'm so tired. <laughs> I have to. That is the whiniest I've ever heard that unit. That's hysterical. Your orders, sir. I'm so As tired. You I'll not show mercy. <laughs> what do you think that that's supposed to be you or something, Jane? <laughs> well, it's not, but I'm glad that you sympathize because it is. <laughs> All right. So now we just have to deal with these guys, which we can get Elaine up there to do that pretty quickly. Uh, while our griffin comes down here and deals with them. I really just want to see what's in these ruins. That's the main reason that I'm stalling here. Because Elaine could have gone and blown up the boss easily. Okay. Heading out. Get some help here. I'm heading out. Got it. Go, Elaine, go. Go, Elaine, go. Feet will soon be upon us. Bro, these feather units are so annoying. So, what is probably getting me here? Blind again? Blind and poor luck? Probably. Okay, so. What if instead of cloth gauntlets here for the extra guard? that. Okay. Also, since I meant to put it back on before, I forgot. Okay. That helps. Vexing indeed. God, but then that killed no, Elaine and our Wyvern. Jesus, the feather units are so annoying. We march. Are you serious? They're not even going to die? Path is set. Mind if I... I'll handle this. Thank you, Calvain. Clear them, the finally. Is to forge a brighter dawn for this is a very annoying little map. <laughs> Quit blind immunity stuff. I mean, we did. That's the scary thing. Didn't even matter. Gladly. <laughs> to me. Come then. Right, there goes all the sorceresses. You face There's me. the griffins. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. We'll indeed. Take the damn the point. Set. Finally. Twenty thousand more funds. Yeah, I mean that's pretty it's worth. Really a bit of pain. That is pretty worth. All right, team, get in there. Finish these Got guys it. off. Not loving my. Yeah. Why not? My every deed lies in the service of my people, and defending this city is no different. I'm glad you're so honorable about it. You just stop and listen for a split second. Not scared of you. Our training has led us here. 
Not bad damage. Not as good damage. Yeah, the vanguards are hard countering our sword masters here, but we're serving to weaken them up, which is the whole point. We ride as one. Let me see what you Pile thrust, man. Nice evades. <laughs> All these evades, man. Awesome. Alright, good. You softened him up. That's all I need you to do. Now we move in, and that's pretty much that. You ready? Backup's not so nice. bad. Another anecdote in Morgan's life he hates armor. Well that certainly makes sense given the fact that she's a sword master. I love the kick. I love that Amalia just comes in and kicks someone in the face with the force of a semi. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. So, my road ends here. It doesn't have to, Jerome. Come on, don't make me do, do this. Do with me what you will. Don't make me do this. But I beg you, see that my people live out their days in peace. I mean, man, it's actually been a while since we had an execute option, but no, we're going to recruit him, of course. Raise we need guards hands, for Jerome. towns, man. I'd like you to brandish your lance for the liberation. Pardon? You are not a general of Zenoira, but the local lord of a peaceful Albion city. By all accounts, you and I have no reason to fight, and much to stand together. You speak the truth, yes. But that doesn't change the fact that I swore fealty to Zenoira. One whose hands are as stained as mine could never deserve a place in your army. Perhaps, had you chosen to sully them of your own volition, but I've someone here who claims quite the opposite. It's you. No matter what he says, Lord Jerome only ceded to Zenoira's demands to see his people safe. I can still recall the day they first invaded as though it were yesterday. He rode out to receive them, commencing negotiations in earnest before they could spill even a single drop of blood. And that was the condition for his allegiance. We would supply provisions and soldiers only if they spared our citizens. Mm -hmm. We canvassed the city as well, yet failed to find any among its people who condemn you for defecting. They all spoke with one voice of their lord's undying devotion to their well-being. And every army could use a leader with such dogged dedication. So I ask you again, will you join us? As if I could refuse a request so boldly impassioned. Very well. It is with great pride and humility that I accept your offer. My lance rests with you, and with all those who have trusted me to guide them true. I'll see that it doesn't disappoint. I do really like 
that we get to Albion and like we do this random liberation mission. <laughs> it's just like, here's a free great night. <laughs> I think I know we were just talking about that, but it's like such a random thing to have happen. Also, Dennis Larson has subscribed. Welcome, Dennis. Very good to have you. Yeah, seriously, why don't you get Lottie? She's here. She's literally in the cutscene. It's weird. Weird choice. Done me a great honor, my prince. I'll not forget this debt for as long as I live. I guess she just hangs out here. I'll stay here in stand guard over the city. See, come on. Come on. We could have had Lottie. We've been denied something great. Thank you for the assistance, Knights of the Liberation. With your aid, we finally rebuilt the high-end tavern our Pontifex himself used to frequent. Oh. I like that she specifically calls it out as a high-end tavern. Not some low-level hole in the wall that you mongrels visit. <laughs> like, damn, lady, all right. For the bow, Viking sorcerers for black sniper shields. Damn it. I was hoping for, at the very least, feather staves and not a feather shield. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, let's see if we got armor wise. Do let me know if you require assistance. Oh. I wasn't expecting them to just have ruby and sapphire pendants for sale. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, what is a phosphorescent staff? Radiant heal, 3 AP. Initiative plus 5, magic attack 20. Oop. Uh, oh, come on. Restore major HP to all allies. This is a charge. Grants the ability to survive one lethal blow. Interesting. Hmm. That is very interesting. So... We already have a cleric that uses a charge heal. Maybe we give her this instead. This is wrong. We already have to station a guard ourselves. Why can't you just come with? <laughs> Seriously. Exactly. I concur. Yeah, phosphorescent staff. That's nice. We're definitely going to pick that up. May the father Citadel bless guard's you. great shield. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> Definitely Ruby Pendant. Ruby Pendant May is the so Father huge. bless you. Oh! Oh! Elite Beret and Sage's Hood. I was not expecting another tier of damage upgrade items as well. Interesting. And then Spirit's Necklace, which gives Quick Cure. Remove all debuffs from an ally. Grants the target immunity to one debuff. Oh, that's pretty good, too. That is pretty nice. Yeah, we'll pick that up and just be completely May the frog, drunk. I hope you. That is going to be a very nice utility piece, he thinks. Oh! I wasn't expecting that to be something to pass through. I figured we'd get, like. Hello. I was expecting that to be a, like, you get a hallowed corn ash. Ta-da! Type of thing. Cutscene Lottie was the most excited to work with Liberation, and then she just stays behind. Another dogged contender for the lack of endgame budget. True. Buy goat biscuits? I did not see them in the provisioners. We will check that out. Lamplight ring. Oh, ho, ho! Blindness immunity, you say. How interesting. Heal 10% HP when using an active skill and gives glowing light. Oh. Oh, chat, we found an item. Oh, chat, we found an item. Grants all allies 30 accuracy and immunity to blindness. All allies for one AP. Oh, well, isn't that just interesting? <laughs> okay. 
All right. Man. Well, who do we want to be the dedicated anti-featherwing squad? Hmm. Bruno's squad with Unifi might not be bad, honestly. This might not be bad. This buff cannot be removed. That is so silly. Ah, see, we probably want this on the highest initiative that we have, though, actually. Now that I think about it. So let's actually switch this back. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. an extra AP. So she can use it to drop the Necromancer's Lantern. Yeah. There we go. So now... We would have to ditch Cursed Swamp, though. No, screw it. Rather than the acrobat or Acrobat's Shoes, we can give her a Ruby Pendant, actually. Because then she can Glowing Light as her first action. Which I can never remember how to do. First action. Here we go. Then... Do Offensive Curse. Then Fire Curse. Yeah. Definitely. Gotta put it on someone fast. Yep, well, we're 35 initiative is not shabby. Buff can't be removed. That means Feather Sword has infinite discharge. I don't think that would help, though. Because it consumes the buff to give an increase to damage. So if it can't be removed, it would imply that it can't be consumed. So I don't think that would work, no. Fun as it would be. But I don't think that would work. Alright, what are you doing here, little friend? You look like a man who's got an eye for treasure. How about a little tip from me to you? Elheim's hidden treasure. There's only one nation in Feverth I haven't been to, and that's Elheim. Not the easiest, not too easiest place to get into, you know? <laughs> anyway, go take a look around down there if you're curious. Uh-huh. A cat bestral tells Elaine of a treasure hidden somewhere in Elheim. You should be able to find the treasure buried in a place where a wealth of magic gathers. What? Uh, interesting. A place where magic gathers. I mean, that sounds like the tree. I'm trying to remember where that is. Is that here? Yeah. I would assume that that's the tree. Also, let's beat you up for money. Toasted. Yeah, I would assume that that's the tree. Nope. Well, wait, no. If there ever was a focal point for Elheim's magic, it would surely be here. Oh, see, there we go. 
Is there something you're looking for, Elaine? Indeed there is. A treasure said to rest somewhere within Elheim's borders. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it can only mean one thing. Wait here just a moment. Oh, oh shit. Max HP plus 30 and max HP plus 10%. Hello, Antonio. I hear you have a skill that scales off of how much HP you have. This talisman, shrouded in Ervelda's everlasting grace, can only be held by the Supreme Guardian of Elheim itself. In light of everything you've done for us, Elaine, I think it only fitting that you take it as your own. Okay! Damn, 50 honors and 10k more funds, too. Nice. I mean, at this point, we're just gonna start promoting uniques that we like, because, like, we're maxed out on everything else. Bruno! Oh, wait, yeah. Antonio! <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hmm. The question is... What do we drop for? I think it's time that we give him a better shield. Something like the Drakenstone shield is good. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with Death them. The great shield is good. Yeah, probably Vorpal. Because he doesn't really need the extra passive point. And then... We can drop the cloth gauntlets for this. Jeez. <laughs> A whopping 180 HP. Jeez. Not bad. Don't need glasses. Antonio can see fine. I mean, true, but it does make his attacks land more reliably, and that's part of the reason we're giving him more HP, so I'm okay with this. Cool. I wonder, if, I wonder if our little friend there is going to have another quest for us, or if that was just a one-and-done thing. Kind of a weird one-and-done. So, yeah. Just take good care of it, and that's all the payment I could ever ask for. Interesting. Huh. Alright. I'll take it. Thank you, friend of the little cat, man. Even the lifeblood pendant as well. Oh, need to remember which one that is. We'll take a look after we beat up the shield shooter. Damn, 5k from beating these now. Uh, Antonio. Lifeblood. Which one was that? forgot about this item. <laughs> the blindness immunity on it is nice, but it's only for one person. Seems to be rag random lag spikes going on. Uh, it's not on my end. I'm not dropping any frames whatsoever. It must be on YouTube's end. Ah, there it is. I mean, we can get to 200 HP. That's pretty funny. Are we at the cap, though? That's the question. Damage increases the more HP the user has. We might have enough. That's the thing. Probably should give someone that hero's medallion. I thought we had the Heroes Medallion on.
Oh! When did that get removed? I don't know when that happened. Interesting. Well, we're gonna fix that really quick. Uh, who wants some extra AP and PP? Uh... There's certainly options. Oh, it used to be a lane. That's right. Damage doesn't increase based on HP number, just percentage. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Still good to be a huge tank, though. Definitely. So, as far as who wants this... We could give it to Geiger. We could also give it to Charlotte. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be Charlotte. <laughs> Even more huge damage, as well as active and passive points. Yes, please, Charlotte. Go to town, girl. Hell yeah. All right. It's poorly worded. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. For sure. Hmm. Clearly, we have a battle coming up here. Question is, how big of a battle? We should be getting close now. Is this somewhere you're familiar with, Scarlet? There's a beautiful garden not far from here, yes. I used to spend hours there admiring the flowers when I was young. It sounds as though it meant much to you. Perhaps we could pay it a visit, seeing as how you finally returned to Albion. That would be wonderful, Elaine. Oh, Faded Flower side quest. Okay. Interesting. All right. Hmm, locked, of course. Forgive me, Scarlet. It's all right. I should have known better than to get my hopes up. This was always my fear in leaving Albion, that I'd never again see the places I held dear. I understand what you mean. Scarlet, is that you? Hello? Who I goes know there? that voice anywhere. Uh, oh. It's really you. It's not Oclis. <laughs> not even gonna repair Jerome's town. I did repair it partially, but we're out of the mats that we need for it currently. We can give Charlotte the Banishing Hammer. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. Thank you for the reminder. I thought my eyes deceived me. It's been so long. A friend of yours? In days past, yes. We were inseparable as children. And you must be Prince Elaine, I presume. You know of him? Everyone has heard stories of the Liberation Army. I take it you stand with them as well, Scarlet? Proud rebel at your service. And I see you've become a knight, just as you always dreamed. It was the only thing I could think about as a child. Those were simpler times, happier ones. We would play in the garden until oh, the sun yeah. went down. It was Our on top company, of the, the thing, insects. so it fell down behind the fridge. So I had to pull it out and toss it in the sink. We have another quarter cup in the uh, drawer, though. I mean, we can. That's true. Um, you know, I was either that or I was gonna wrap up so I can make dinner. But I mean, we can definitely just order dinner if you want to do that. The question is, what would you want? Many things. <laughs> yeah, because it's either that or I mean, we've got a bunch of different like leftovers and stuff we can have, but. I don't know if you want any of it. Okay, take your time. We'll figure it out. Right, the garden. I was just talking about it. Is it still there? <laughs> Indeed. 
and it's recently welcomed <laughs> the most beautiful bloom you'll ever see. I really like Oclis, but I have to say this new feather sword is pretty humorous. <laughs> we could go back if you'd like. Relive our youth for just a moment. That would be wonderful. I'd love to show you too, Elaine. Let's all go together. Kind of weird that Scarlet doesn't have a British accent. She grew up around us, though, right? From Cornea. And Corneans don't have British accents, so I think it makes sense. Oh, the sanctuary is back here. Interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that. Seems only the angels have an accent. Why that is, I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe it's just an angel thing. There's no Britain here, so maybe it's just angels, right? Uh, but yeah, let me refill my water really quick, though, chat. I wasn't sure if we were going to keep going or not, but if we're just ordering food, then I may as well go for a while longer, so let me grab more water quick. Required. So I can try and keep my voice nice and crisp. We're gonna continue on. It's in the nation's name, Albion, old name for Britain. Oh, really? I did not know that, actually. Interesting. All right, let's see what this is all about. Oh, I'm excited to play more. I was like sad that we were about to be done, but yeah, if Jane and I are just gonna order food, then hell yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna like have to go make dinner now. I'm gonna be thinking about Albion, like wanting to make progress, but nope, let's go. I think it was sturdy timber that we needed. Hold on. I think it was sturdy timber that we needed. Assign no anguish to here. an empty purse. Let's see. Also, for those of you who have finished the game, how close are we to the end at this point? Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. It was goat milk. I was completely incorrect. Um, Because, like, we have half of Albion to go. So, like, it's Albion and then this mission. And, like, I don't want to know specifics, but, like, if we go for another hour or two, how long do you think the final stream would be? To, to finish things. I understand that there's post-game stuff that we'll check out as well, but... Pretty close, I'd say. Pretty close. We have a town of Astoria. Yes, that's true. I wonder if we actually have what I need here. We'll check that quick. Just to see. Could te technically skip a solid chunk of Albion since it's a side quest. Yeah, no, I mean, I understand that, but I want to do everything. Unsullied scrap metal. We need one more. All right, let's see what all this is about, eh? This is the place. So you probably only need a four to five hour stream next stream. Really? Okay. To finish the game or to do the post game it's stuff as well? It's just as beautiful as I remember it. And such an incredible smell too. It's stunning, yes. We never had blossoms like these back on Palavia. Yes, okay, gotcha. We used to sit right here, braiding little crowns and necklaces out of different colored flowers. Do you remember, Humorous? You'd press and dry them for us, then... Oh! Don't move. Uh-oh. <sighs> Explain yourself. I won't ask twice. Relinquish Scarlet to me, or else. Uh-oh. Humorous. I was not expecting this. 
Fuck her up, Elaine. Let's go. Come. It's not safe here. Interesting. I was actually taken aback by that. Why, humorous? Interesting. Okay, let's do this. Did two more hours with the pace you've been going? I'd guess it'll be three to five hours next stream. Okay, cool. That's good. That is good. Returned empty handed, have you? Hodel. Ooh. It would seem your heart's just not in this little agreement of ours. Well, I like this guy's voice. A shame. But it is what it is. Consider my promise revoked. Wait, I beg you. It's just as we thought. Scarlet stands with the rebel forces. Oh, <laughs> Renee! I missed that. Renee with the $10 super chat saying subsidizing Jane's food. <laughs> we also got a $100 super chat from Izzy earlier as well. And five gifted subs from Michael Poole. So <laughs> and I told them, like, just so that they know, because so there's a lot of new folks around, like, Anything that they are giving to me and the channel is going towards you as well. So, <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get food, um, otherwise we've got like leftover uh, corned beef and cabbage and potatoes. Um, there's a piece of sausage in there that can go with pasta. Uh, there's Brussels sprouts to make. Not that either of us really wants to like make make anything. Uh, there's couscous. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, let's do, well, I think Grubhub is what we've been using because we have the free trial thing going on, but yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, I would not say no to some, uh, some curry. So, some delicious butter chicken I think seems appropriate. Follow me across this beautiful garden that only I can get to past a completely open field in the hostile nation. Okay, so I hear you on that, Casey, but the way my thought process was going was like, okay, we know there's a resistance. The angels are fighting in the resistance. A childhood friend of Scarlet's probably knows the Pontifex. The church is rebelling against what's happening here on the sly, so she sees Scarlet, so like who's her friend, she works for the resistance. Perhaps this is resistance territory. They had the gate barred. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, well, the butter chicken that I normally get. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. No, not that I remember. Uh, I don't know that you've ever actually had the butter chicken. I mean, hell, get two things of butter chicken. Why not? Just a change of pace. Um, just remember to order naan, because it does not come with naan. We had that regret last time. And then, of course, our cauliflower. <laughs> of course. And I'll, uh, yes, I'll shoot you half of it. What? My chat literally, like, said that they were subsidizing part of it. Like, I will literally, like... <laughs> We're fine, honey. <laughs> Let me give you the money. Oh, uh, garlic, definitely. I like we were literally just talking about this chat. Like, <laughs> and she's like, no, you don't have to. Because Jane's just a good girl like that. <laughs> what a lovely couple. We do our best, Momo. <laughs> Am I hearing a thank you in the background? Yes, that was Jane screaming thank you from across the room. Technically, it's Canadian dollars, so my ten bucks is more like a buck fifty. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Gonna make butter chicken with beef now. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yeah. Be fair, I paid in euros. Listen, I don't. It the number is what matters, man. It's what affects my heart, and that's what matters. Fuck, that made me hungry. Sorry, Heartland. <laughs> but if we surround their limited ranks with both our armies, we should have little trouble in reclaiming her. I know, it gets crazy. That's why I'm like, let me pay half of it. To partake as well? Please, my lord. This final chance is all I request. Oh, yeah, because it's my card on it. That's, that's fine. How much is it? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> There's a reason we don't do delivery very much anymore, chap. Because getting 
an appetizer, two entrees, and a side of naan is seventy four dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> As you wish. The girl will be ours one way or another. We can settle our agreement once she is. Just know you'll get no further kindness if you fail us now. She won't elude our grasp again. With me, men. We make for our post at once. <laughs> awesome. Delicious. <laughs> I'm very concerned about Mr. Darkly Chuckles over here. I don't understand. Why is she doing this? There'll be time for questions later. Right now, they've got us surrounded. The enemy has two command posts behind us. One to the east and one to the west. Yet a battle waged on two fronts is twice as quickly lost. I propose we seize one of them first, then the other. Very well. And perhaps we can learn what compels Umaris in the process. That's too much. Dude, I know. Jane and I used to order out way more. And then everything shot through the roof price-wise. Now we don't. Granted, granted, keep in mind here, the amount of food that this place gives you is easily enough for two meals a piece for us. So, 74 bucks for essentially four meals worth of food, if you're counting it for one person, is not terrible, but still. Yeah, it's, it's rough. We live in an expensive area, so. And also, Pennsylvania has the highest rate of inflation in America, so hey, that's great. <laughs> Okay, so we are smack dab in the middle of a horizontal map. They have a battery map. Are these actually locked? In Why would those be locked? We've got a divine raid rain, not raid, divine rain shrine. Campfires. Yikes! Umaris's unit is very, very scary. Owned slash. Attack single enemy becomes a true strike if the user is buffed. <gasps> oh god! 70 physical potency times 3? 210? With true strike? Oh, no! Come Mickey Mouse on that one. Use a flyer to uh, go use the ram and break the gates. Well, so my question was, like, these are marked as red. Do I, like, <laughs> but I'm inside the gates, technically. Like, do I have to break my way out? That's weird. Thought it was expensive in the UK. 40 pounds is enough to get a massive meal for two or a decent meal for four. Yeah, again, we live in an expensive area, and PA is absolutely, like, getting destroyed with inflation. More than any other state, easily. Don't forget the discharge buff as well. Oh, true. That's very true. You're the Feather Sword Gambler Coin buff? Oh, God, yeah. Knights, another Battering Ram. More feathered blades. It's a catapult. Oh, man. Hodel's a Doom Knight. Dark Knight Cleaver. Oh, physical magical. Interesting, because Dark Flame is magical. Partially. Desperation. Attack a single enemy, deals damage based on the user's missing HP, and its hit rate true. Interesting. Well, I can't wait to put that on one of my Doom Knights. <laughs> Alright. So, we need to clear out the central area here first. Shouldn't be too bad to try and do. Does it matter which commander is defeated first? I don't know. That is an excellent question. We have four AP to work with, or Valor to work with, I should say, so that's something. 
We also have to navigate down and around this river. So yeah, like you guys are saying, flying units. Definitely the way to go here. I make for battle. Your orders, sir. I make haste. Good. Look how everyone's like, oh, well, rare owls aren't very good. Like, clerics are better. They take so much damage from ranged assists. Motherfucker, they give you flying. Oh, come on. <laughs> and they're also really good for their support skills. Please. I make for battle. I'm almost thinking we go. Range assist and flight. We have the same speed and the same stamina, so there's literally no reason not to make Quinn the leader. Quinn out here. I make for battle. I am your humble call. Servant. Clear out the center area as fast as possible. Behold. Strength flows through me. This map was a lot of fun. One of the more seriously challenging maps of my run at the level I got here before Vistorius I approached from the other side. Ah, I see, I see. If you want the answer in vague terms, please, Rilk. That's fine. That's fine. Your orders, sir. As you wish. I am your humble servant. Hmm. Forward. Your orders, sir. Oh. Well, that changes things for the worse, significantly. I'll not show mercy. Allow me to assist. You know, this, this isn't really worth it. Watch him learn. Yield to me. Okay, all right. We'll take it. Very nice. Took some hits, but we cleared them out of the tower, which is very big. How may I assist? As you wish. Drop these guys. We can actually deal good damage here, which is nice before we use the campfire. Got the Divine Rain Effigy here. We have plenty of ways to recover characters, so may as well go all out this just this once, Master. I fear death approaches. Kill order changes things mechanically and can open up dialogue options. Hmm. Give him the answer by stating it as such. Riddle me this, Legman. Followed by a riddle. I mean, I'd be down for that. Absolutely. <laughs> also, I see the RNG here has changed. Um. Better. Worse. Okay, we win this. That's fine. It does not change things outside the battle. Okay, that is good to know. That is very good to know. Yeah. 
Yeah, honed slash. Ow. Didn't help me whiff an 88 there. This is another thing that makes Elven Fencers rough to use. Their nature's wrath just doesn't care about any of the flying angel units. Or the flying angel units don't care about nature's wrath at all, I can say. Why not change the night times to the angel are gonna day and bachelors are gonna night? Uh we could. I don't think I have any of the item right now though. I'm trying to wrap my head right now around how it is that we deal with the big buffs. The thing about the Feather Swords is they get hard-bodied by anything with good physical defense. So, Werebears, Legionnaires, technically Fighters, though we did have an issue there, but a little bit of a de defense buff, they will be able to handle it. It could work. Hmm. What do you guys think? Something that can remove buffs as well, like a wear owl would be really good, but we only have one of those, so like... And she's, at the moment, in the role for our Trinity Rain build. Not that she needs to be, because the wet cat ear hood can go on anyone, which I didn't realize at first when I set that up. Yeah, where else quick to spell? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. High defense, quick to spell. Does anything else even have a dispel? Honestly, I'm not even sure if they do. I gotta work. Take care, everyone. See you later, Bane. See you later. It was good having you. Hope that work goes well for Your you. Your orders, sir. Let's retreat Forward. these guys from How now. may I assist? As you wish. Steal your resolve. So here, the main reason that we're doing okay is because we're blinding and dodging. We shall prevail as one. Got plenty of arrow fire, so we can deal good damage to. The yeah, we deal good damage to the angels that way. I am your humble servant. I make haste. Bodying them. Catch up to these mages. Crush them. Wow. All right, wait. What's happening here? I figured the sorceresses with their ice coffin were going to be more of a problem. Oh, but we're blinding them, probably. I'm gonna try now. Well, no, actually, this is our Trinity Green Squad, so... They won't take that much damage from Trinity Green, you know, they have decent magic defense. Never mind, not decent enough, damn. Alright, cool. Sounds good. Do 
Didn't we just get an item that got rid of enemy buffs? Uh, we got an item that prevented blind. To forge a brighter dawn for I can always train harder. I stand triumphant. I don't remember like any equipment that could do that though. Like gives immunity to blindness, gives extra HP. Quick cure removes all buffs from an ally, but I mean, maybe that's worth it. Yeah, if that's what you're talking about, that could be good. That could definitely order, be good. Sir. Forward. Shall I? Feather shield reflecting ice coffin reflects the entire row attack. That's what I'm hearing, yeah. Allow me to assist. Yeah, the reflect skill seems insane. How may I assist? Your oh, orders, sir. Are right, you, you chill there for the moment? Disclaimed for the liberation. Success. That's a good assist radius. Oh! Right. I keep forgetting that they can come through the gate. That is I rough. Am your humble servant. Fortunately, we do have the Trinity Rain squad here to clean up. No I'll problem. Show mercy. Together! Is on. Okay, good, good. We can deploy something else here. And this might be where Elaine's unit comes out. It could also be where our cavalry unit comes out, but I am your humble servant. I think Elaine is gonna be better here. The day will be ours. The time is at hand. To me. Talent level 30 also removes buff. Uh, Divine Cross does. Oh, does it? Interesting. Scarlet removes buffs with her AoE. Unfortunately, we're not Let using Scarlet, assist. but that is useful. As you wish. Steal your resolve. Steal your resolve. The rank six arena fight after you recruit Amalia was the hardest not. fight for me in TZ because those reflects had to make squads specifically for that fight. Hmm. I can imagine, yeah. I can definitely imagine. damage here. Shall I? Free ranged assists. Nice. Perhaps a rest, if I may. Our units are gonna be a little tired, but on the flip side, we are going to be able to secure a very large area. I am your humble servant. I am your humble servant. Once we have this whole middle area locked down, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Joining the battle. What should I do? Right away. Come then. <laughs> Such a problematic team, this whole feather sword and soldiers thing, and yet Elaine's squad is carving it through them.
finished yet. <sighs> Mystic controlled lane rather than are about to dragoon dive river, and that would be weird. Huh. Why did that happen? Victory grows ever closer. What is that about? Add magic damage to an ally's attacks. Prioritizing flying, so it should be going here. Why did that activate on a lane? Oh, the Dragoon was already Mystic Conferred. Oh, I missed that. I was looking at chat when that happened. Ah, thank you, Ethan. To me. You face me. <laughs> I can I always just train harder. It. Time is at hand. Onward. Okay. Well, we've got the center locked down. We have some feathers coming in, but not too worried about that. Your orders, sir. Forward. Wherever you'd like me. Sir. For the liberation. Good. Perhaps they flew over. It's yeah, I, I gathered that much. Thanks. Heading out. All set. Gladly. You should be able to cover the left-hand side without too much. I'm heading out. All set. Gladly. Get everyone set up to see right. I await further orders. Oh, hello. I saw that catapult shot coming out. <laughs> Onward. Got it. I'm ready Goodbye. to fight. Bye. The end of this brutal. How's that for good? Good. What should I do now? As you command. How may I, as you wish? These Doom Knights really like just spamming attack call in an area where we're not going to be fighting for a good long while. It's very interesting. Merely ask, and it Your shall orders, be done. Please. Huh? Right I've arrived. Please, sir, take the garrison and then go. What should I do? Please? Sir. Wherever you'd like me. As you command. I'm here. A true nightmare, if one ever deserved the title. Really? Okay. What is happening here? It was just our fighter taking a shit ton of damage, is what it was. Alright, cool. Assist. Sounds good. <laughs> Ooh, the aerial smite is nice. I do like that. So that is considered range, though. So a fighter set up properly can completely negate the damage, which is very cool. Uh, uh, uh. 
Interesting. Very interesting. I have this one. Serve them up on a silver platter for the lads. Very nice. I won't stop now. I am your humble servant. I make next. All right, now we've got all of them locked down. Very good. I do. Very nice. That's enough out of them. Sometimes it's really fun to just like watch the animations play out, you know? Very cozy. I enjoy it. So now if we hold the left hand side here. This really won't be too big of a Deal. Your orders, sir. You guys Forward. go back and heal up. What you should guys I do? Can start pushing through the gate. Since obviously the enemy doesn't care. Sir. I am your humble servant. You guys can start doing the same. As you wish. Do have to take the divine rain effigy Took down you here. Long we'll do that with y'all. This should be easy. And you guys start pulling the gate here. The path is set. Come then. You ready? You face. We shall prevail as one. <laughs> Wish some starter battle effects weren't limited. It feels so annoying when you have a squad where all units get like starter battle effects and you have to turn four and lock. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit of a shame. Comes the Dragoon Dive. Ah, look at Elaine covering his wife. How oh, nice. You okay? Go get him. Nice. The guard seal into the sanguine follow-up is actually pretty nice, though. It is yours. Not bad. You okay? Double row heal is so annoying, though. I wanted to mend your wounds. Nice. A fine job. Speaking of start of battle effects, the lanes of Baron Garrett is probably better than the Rogue one. Oh, true. True, 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 true. Didn't think about that when we swapped them around. Your villainy ends here. 
Jane, our food is here. Well fought. It is. <laughs> yeah, sneaking edge, not the most useful here. Um, I'm thinking I have the warrior princess. Less attack and initiative. That sounds pretty good. All right. Wyvern has four passive points at the end of the battle. Does he really need that much? Maybe I could be a better accessory on him. Oh. That's the issue. The Celestial Talisman should be triggering. But because it's a start of battle effect. Goddamn start of battle effects. Uh, okay. Okay. So now, we should trigger Dragoon Dive immediately. And then, that will use all of my passive points. That's why I had this set up that way. I just didn't realize that it was a start of battle effect. That was the issue. Cool. Good call out, chat. Okay, team is healing. Ow! Wow, I did not see that triggering. That was not there a split second ago. Fuck off, game. That was rude. Well, good thing we've got the Divine Rain effigy. Jesus. Uh, Alright, yeah, so they want us to fly over. Grab the battering ram. Yada, yada, yada. Rogue 2. Already took the Rogue 1 off. Unless there's something else that not thinking about. You know we're good. I did it. Boop. Just fix that. Now then. I am your humble servant. Hold up. Your flying units can bounce off of the gate? What is this? Where should I start? I've Glad. never seen such a ridiculous thing before. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Huh. Wherever you'd like me. As you command. Curious. Kind of bummer they don't let you customize a shield. Like if I could I would have put a black dragon on the Ajax's one. You can! You actually can. Yeah, you can choose different heraldry for everyone's How may shields. I it's super cool. I make haste. Start of battle effects really start stepping on each other's toes around Pistoria. Yeah, they really do. It's pretty All wild, set. actually. Like, I didn't realize just how many start of battle effects there actually were. Have them go over the sides. Right, right, right. I just, like, okay. You cannot blame me for this. Like, well, if we can fly over this, we can fly over this. <laughs> Apparently, they didn't think to accommodate the for that. The path is set. Steal your resolve. The bounce in case you want to break the gates with them. We'll I feel like that's such a niche thing, though. Like, if you want to just fly over, that's fine. If you want to hit them with the, or if you want to hit the gate with them, just target them. I mean, you'd have a unit where with one flyer and four walkers you manage to fly and attack a boat in the middle of the ocean. Wyverns are big creatures. They can hold a bunch of soldiers. It's fine. This is it. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the accelerate on these makes dodge tanks a problem. Forward. Something to keep in mind for the future, for sure. Your orders, sir. I All right, make roll. Haste. Took you long enough. Got it. Good. 
Good job hitting your own guys with the catapult, you dumbass. Maybe it's not all bad. Your orders, please. Right away. Shall I? There's food incoming, chat. Right there. I'll take the the <laughs> war rages on. Thank you, darling. That smells phenomenal. Food is here, chat. Adjust my mic a little bit here. So I can have you all on mic and eat at the same time. Very good. Finish the game just watching the credits roll. Nice, dude. Nice. Awesome. How may I, I hope you enjoyed. Alright, now that we've got that side on untethered. As you wish. Let's move out here. Should be easy. I am your humble servant. I make haste. I have this one. Easy there! Hit it with true hit or true hits can't dodge thing. True strike if they're buffed. Okay. Really just another argument in favor of legionnaires and werebears. So many sigils for these guys. It's really not helping your cause. Now then. Did it. I napped it. Further orders. Your orders, sir. They'll get there eventually, guys. Pick up the pace here. Tis quite the predicament. Merely ask and it shall. How may I assist? As you wish. Zoom. Tis quite the predicament. <laughs> servant hmm. wherever you'd like me we've plenty of item usage let's just pop a grilled steak in here your okay. orders please gates are open as you command your orders sir forward the fact that you're stuck deploying from this one everyone. spot like the whole time. Where's my prey? Pretty brutal. Let me at him. You got orders for me? On it. You run up over here. You guys also go heading over. over. Okay. Your orders, sir. Where should I start? Like you have this spot here, but like whoopty freaking do. Not much of a boon, if you ask me. I'll not show mercy. We fight as Catapults are scary? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna try no, now. Prove your loyalty.
Nice. Antonio fucking smash. Let's go. Just a bit stronger. is on. Gladly. All right. We finally punched through everything that was basically holding us down. I have this one. This is a side quest, by the way. Now with everything here dealt with, we're pretty much good to just push yeah. in. very, very yeah. curious about how can this change if you got to do night first. Because uh -huh. so that's currently what I'm pushing towards. Because we drop the Doom Knight. What happens then? Because Yumeris doesn't really have a reason to fight at that point. If she can... If the game allows us to like, let her know anyway that we... Good damage. Good damage. To forge a brighter dawn for Febrin. Enemy unit defeated. What should I do? This is what's so wild about Doom Knights. Like, they have AOE right magic away. attacks, man. How may I assist? Well, I was just I body armored unit. It's so As nice. I'm ready to fight. That's enough out of them. Doom Knight is just damage. Oh yeah. Wherever you'd like me. And in the best way. Sir. I await further orders. I'll not show mercy. I can move no further. You All can set. move no further, but I think that is okay. I make haste. I've arrived. We march. Onward. Lane, can you just body this tower really Allow quick? That'd me. be great. A little stronger every day. What should I do? As you command. Success. I'm not gonna use this just We're under yet. attack. I'm ready to fight. So a catapult shot coming out to the right. That's what that we're under attack. Enemy is unit for. defeated. Wherever you'd like me. Right away. You move towards the campfire. You guys oh pfft, they're going for a lane, the fools. He's already out of range. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Come then. Forge a brighter dawn for Fevrith. Nice Galero, very nice. We do like Three that around these parts. Closer. All set. This should be easy. How shall I proceed? The path is set. You face me. A fine battle. With half our unit dead, we have a lane and Berengaria to just pain. crush Onward. everyone Next. here. Your villainy ends here. Not even so. How's that for good? How shall I proceed? To me. Grab that, move back towards the your campfire, gather everyone forward. around. I await your next orders. 
fortune smiles upon us. I'm here. Where should I start? Gladly. Good. Here. All right, there's our big boost for everybody. Took you long enough. Took you long enough. Gladly. Let's have these guys intercept. Oh. I am your humble servant. Missed. Uh, okay. Well, easy enough to solve. Let's. As you wish. How may I assist? I make haste. Have Where you provoke? Come here. There you go. I'll handle. Come and meet your maker. Face and also really cool looking. Oh, yeah. definitely. You okay? Crush him good. Watch and learn. I wanted my character to be one. What, Doom Knight? Oh, dude, I know. Doom Knights are great. I adore Doom Knights. As you wish. They've got a divine effigy thunder shrine over here? Jeez, orders, that's sir. aggressive. Forward. I mean, I'll certainly take it. Don't get me wrong. The time is at hand. We'll grab the catapult, too. What? Why can't we fire it? Onward. Oh, it's out of ammo. Oh, clever, clever creature. That's, That's all right. About time. And where do you Be think there you're before going, you know it. You got orders for me? Come here. How may I assist? At this point, all we have to do is clear the Doom Knight, then clear Eumaris, and we're done. Be over in a sec. Easy. Not even worth bragging over. Beautiful. What are we doing? I'm going. All right, Elaine. Come then. Mess him up. It is some feat to have broken free of a blockade. It would seem I've misjudged you. I know you from Cornea. It was a different age, boy. <laughs> and unlike our mighty emperor, your mother lacked the strength to lead even a single nation. Though her corpse did well in barring the path for your escape. The only question now is, did you deserve such sacrifice? Okay. This man is talking some mad shit. Let's teach him what's what, shall we? Not finished yet. Witness my power. Coolest and edgiest shit talking though. Oh, it was. No doubt about that. That was great.
What do I have set up incorrectly here? Not bad. Why is no, our Wyvern still now. not using her start of battle ability? Good. Oh my god. Ah, fucking pure field. We march. We just unlocked that too. That was the issue. I'm pretty sure, right? Because that unlocks at level 30. No, it's a 25. That's been there this whole time. Ah! I wish there was some sort of alert at hand. that something is activating or something. Like that you've got an overlapping me. start of battle effect. Ah, so annoying. Okay, got it. Okay. The time is at hand. You On die, <laughs> asshole. Your Start battle is so hard to keep track of. Start of battle skills almost need a two-tone color scheme just to be easy to see. I agree. How pitiful it is to be laid low by rebel scum such as you. Answer me this. Why is Eumaris working for Zenoira? Simple. We had a deal. She brings me her priestess friend, and I agree not to butcher her brother. Monster! Huh. Judge me however you wish. Yet this never would have happened had the girl not mentioned your name. Well fought. Well, I mean, you're dead, so, like, whatever. <laughs> now, if I can just talk to Umaris for a second, maybe we can put this all behind us. Say, hey, there we go. Exactly. Okay, good. We march. Uh... Actually, the fastest way to do this is to, to me. take this. The path is set. You guys... All just chill. Advancing. We just drop a little bit of damage on her to stop reinforcements from spawning. I am your humble servant. There we go. Tis ours now. Now we withdraw. We march. Just a moment. And we march from over here. After switching leader. Let's stay calm out there. Where should I go? And whenever you need me. Vitalizing. I feel stronger than ever. Your orders, if you would. Charge. Scroll, it's not in the squad, you Where should dummy. I go? Of course that's not going to work. I'm standing by. Uh, Alright. I mean, that's an easy. Your easy orders, if you would. It's wise to withdraw. Let's stay calm out. Where should I go? There Understood. we go. Understood. Whenever you need me. He 
Talk. Umeris, wait! Come to turn yourself in, have you? I always knew you would cave eventually. That's not why I'm here! Hotel is gone! Slain by our hand. What did you say? I know you had your reasons for doing this, Umeris. But we shouldn't keep talking about it here. Let's meet in the garden. Just the two of us. If that's what you want, I'll be there in a moment. Bold. Nice. Very good. But the do do. Why have you asked to meet me here? I could raise my sword at any moment, you know. I am aware. But I understand why you did it. And I know you have no reason to attack me. Not anymore. It doesn't matter. I'll never deserve your trust again. Tell me, Humorous. Do you remember this? I can't believe you're still holding on to that. Why wouldn't I be? These flowers you pressed bring me straight back to the day I left Albion. You gave them to me as a symbol of our friendship. And asked me never to forget about you. It was all I could do to get you to stop crying. Yes. And it didn't work. Your shoulder was practically drenched with tears. And a bit of snot as well. That was a long time ago. Even still, whenever I felt lonely, I'd look at these flowers, and it was like you were right there next to me. I have been blessed with a great many companions since that day, but I have never once considered getting rid of them. No matter how far apart we may be, you'll always be a dear friend, Humorous. Scarlet, I... <sighs> Come with us, please. How can you say that after what I've done, I tried to betray you, to hand you off to Zenoira? Perhaps, but that's all in the past now. So come. We've shed enough tears in this garden to last us a lifetime. Very nice. Very, very nice. Cool. Looks like the final squad upgrade is here. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting choice of words. You can use the mirrors in the TZ run to do a green white color scheme to become a true green unit army. Oh, that'll be fun, Icy. But feel bad we're not using Scarlet when Albion is all about her story. True. True. But shame she's here, at least. Spellsteel Bow, Dream Blossom, and Mage Bane Knights. Nice. Is everything all right? It is now. Humorous has agreed to fight beside us. Words can never atone for what I've done, but maybe my actions can. The next time I draw my blade, it will be in service of the liberation. We finished our search of Hodel's fort, your highness. The boy was there, just as we expected. Oh, thank the father! Humorous! It's all right, Kairos. You're safe now. And I've you and your army to thank for it. I'll do everything in my power to repay that debt, Elaine. I swear it on my honor as a knight. Nice. Another town guard. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Blacksmith. Interesting. Is it time for the fabled item upgrades I've heard so much about? Hmm. 
Yeah, baby, the blacksmith. Let's go. Okay. Ain't that just interesting? Do let me know if you require Wing assistance. Wing line standard aerial line. Activates at the start of a battle. Oh boy. Okay. Where it's a row of allies buffs based on the number of flying targets. Uh huh. If there's one grants plus 20% critical rate, if there's two grants plus 20 accuracy, and if there's three grants plus 20% attack. So I'm assuming that this is not like if you have one, you get the first one. If you have two, you get both. If you have three, you get all three. It's one of the three. Interesting. You already got a blacksmith. His name is Antonio. That's true. Outlaw's bracelet. Wide pursuit. Nice. This one's wrong. Translation is bad. Wait. No, I'm wrong. This one's fine. You get all three. You get all three. Yeah, you get all three. So wait. Is Renee correct? I was thinking of Ariel Shift. So, if this is all three, that's gross. This one's correct. I was mistaken. Well, okay, so the reason that I'm confused, Renee, is because it doesn't read like what people are saying it is. I was thinking that that was probably the case. But to me, it's like, if you have one, you get this. If you have two, then you get this, as opposed to the first one. If you have three, then you get this one, as opposed to the first two. But Chad is saying that you do get all three, which is very, very interesting. It's all three, but it's row only, and all three must be flying. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. We got plenty of flyers. We're definitely going to get that. May the Father bless you. I think it's all three. I haven't actually tested, it seems like. Okay, cool. Um, Outlaw's bracelet we have, but we're not really using. Warple stuff. All right. I hope. Welcome to my humble store. Look around. Is may the. Okay, there we need. Station I shall guard okay. with my very life. I'm assuming we still can't get in here. Okay. Yeah. We haven't gone to the main city. Fair enough. So, Mr. Blacksmith, what do you have going on? Door is finally out of the picture, huh? It took him long enough. He's an elf, notably. Might not look the part, but I'm a blacksmith and a damned good one at that. Just bring me some fevrate, and I'll have your equipment looking better than ever. Visit the blacksmith to enhance your equipment in exchange for a valuable stone known as fevrate. Right, which we do have. So you can upgrade everything. All right, chat. First thing I want to know, I don't care if it's a spoiler, just there's so many different things to look through. Does upgrading just increase base stats? Or does it also change abilities? Enhances an item to the max for that item. Well, I mean, there's either unupgraded or upgraded, so yeah, like, of course it's maxed, but. Just the item stats, doesn't change anything else. Cool, thank you. Good. Can we use this on the King's Blade stuff? <laughs> oh my god, we can. Okay. Again, obviously this doesn't change the all stats thing, but just like, yeah, change the or change the King's Blade Cornix to its unnerfed version. Yeah, that's that seems good. Any weapon becomes attack twenty five. Oh. Okay. 
I see what you're saying now. Or magic weapons become 30, I guess? That, hold on, let's check that. Yeah, 30. So if it's a physical weapon, it becomes 25. It's a, if it's a mixed weapon, it becomes 30. Staves go to 25. Interesting. These are beaten, broken souls. Gift ever pretty easily. Well, yeah, I know we can and buy them fortunes ride with from them. Uh, the black market. So that's one thing. Alexander Knurpel, I'm assuming is the right pronunciation there. Welcome for subs er, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Good to have you with us. Sorry, I'm reeling with the possibilities of all these upgrades I can do. I have six February. It takes 50 honors a pop, so we can get four upgrades currently. All weapons are viable. Yeah. You can use lower attack weapons as good abilities as well. Yep. Yeah, I'm already thinking about how, like, flame bows and stuff are suddenly really good again. Oh, the unwavering spears from so long ago. Both the true strike against all these flying units? That's not bad, man. That's actually not bad. That's a pretty good utility piece. Leaking weapons are still good. Well, yeah, of course, of course. It just equalizes the playing field. Being able to max out the defenses on your shields. Notably... Notably... These are beaten, broken souls. The and Phantom yet our fortunes ride with them. Because I still have those shields. I absolutely still have those shields. Yeah, Phantom Knight's shield. So you can't upgrade this to have physical defense and guard rate. I was wondering, because I was going to say, that would make the Phantom stuff phenomenal. Hmm. Okay. That's fair. That is fair. So, man, who would want the raw stat boost the most? Oh, yeah, the sanguine stuff is pretty nasty with that. Sylph's Bane, Dancer's Delight, yeah. Searing Rapier. Man, there are options here, huh? Oh, there's the Phantom Knight Sword. Wait, it's, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Steel, Steel, Icefall, Iron, Spell, Steel, Chivalric, Beast, Steel, Nameless, Iron, Moonlight, Viper, Azure, Thorn, Luminous, Metalist, Searing, Squires, Blessed, Twin, Blue Rose, Dragonbone, Angel, White, White, Vorpal, Heaven, Blessed, Holy, Azure, Vorpal, Chivalric, Watchman's, Golden, Templar. Oh, so they just don't let you do the shields. Yeah. Fair enough, you wee sneaky bastards. They don't have stats to raise. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, 10 damage on the King's Blade Cornix is really good. Um, King's Axe goes up to 25. We're not even using King's Lance out hall. Bro has no parry shield. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what the parry shield even is. Plus 50 evasion shield does have stats, but for some reason can't be upgraded as well. Oh, man, I was thinking to do that. Oh, that's a shame. Man, the Crimson Sarissa, though. 
15 HP, 5% guard rate, 25 attack, and a sanguine attack. That's good. Cost upgrade is only one fev rate. Oh, I know. Definitely. Can we make Antonio's hammer more powerful? We certainly can, yeah. Juggernaut. The issue with that is he only gains one physical attack. Like, there would be better options right off the bat. It will get upgraded eventually, but... Big glow up on the Sarissa. Oh, yeah. Unwavering Spear. Yeah, no, Unwavering Spear is a very, very good pick. Definitely. Just getting True Thrust with a column of enemies. That is good. We're probably going to do this. If I upgrade the Crimson Sarissa, who's going to use it? That's the question. Because, like... Our Wyverns have their special gear. Which we could upgrade the Silver Trident. Absolutely. That is a diff the whole different discussion. But our Wyverns want their Silver Trident and their Dragoon Spear, respectively. Pierre? I mean, he's already got Zephyros' Spear. He might want the Unwavering, but, like... Don't know that he really needs it. The Helix Spear is really good as it is. We don't have that many Spear users. Yeah, there's the Thorn Spear. But we're mainly just using that for extra passive points. Like, we don't actually need Soul to be attacking, ever. Yeah, we're pretty light on the Spear users. King's Axe for Bruno. Definitely a good option. No, the, the King's weapons are definitely good options, for sure. Pairing Shield is in Pistorius. Huh. Parry Shield in one store in Pistorius and one in Albion. Buffs counterattack damage and gives the parry pass ability. Slap it on your Lance Connects. Huh. And we could have more of them in the front line then, yeah. Staves and swords. Swords would definitely be a good option. We have a lot of sword users. A lot of sword users. Sword masters get the most since they can equip two swords. They don't get a damage buff from the second sword, though. They only get the secondary stats from the second sword. So it's not a huge difference. But whatever their primary is, still a good option. Hmm. Just now, like now that I know that 25 is the max for a physical weapon, the fact that the Holy Unicorn Blade has 28 is fucking hysterical. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. Who do they have here in Scarlet Squad? Or in place of Scarlet? Uh... God, who was it? It would have been someone pretty high level. But who isn't already in a squad? I, God, I hate that. I hate that so much. It wasn't Ocleus.
Brick, there we go. Swordmasters can get max magical attack and physical attack. You could give them that, but why, uh... Parrying gets a full HP bar and damage and gives you an AP. It gets really good on high HP units. Wait, what? Dragoon War Spear upgrade? That's a good choice, yeah. Parry negates a full HP bar in damage? Aimed gives you an AP. What are you talking about? It just reduces an attack to zero. I'm not entirely following your logic here. Yeah, it just reduces the melee damage taken to zero. Right, exactly. Dragoon's War Spear gets five physical attack. That's not bad. Silver Trident gets four physical and two magic. Yeah, we're really using very few spears. Hey, X13, what is up? Good to see you. Also gives one AP. No, yeah, no, no doubt about that. I was just confused about the HP bar thing. Millennium Scepter will only get plus one. Telerik Staff would get plus six. That's not bad. Dustbound doesn't matter. Fire Curse doesn't matter. Limited Heal would make for a bigger heal, but... Eh. Eh. We do have to put the Phosphorescent Staff on as well. I forgot about that. We'll upgrade the King's Axe Dragon Ash, definitely. Oh, there's like no fancy animation or it's just done. Okay, fair enough. Dragon Bone Axe could be good. Could definitely be good. If you have a 100 HP unit and attack to the 120 HP, you'll take 20 damage on the parry. What? Crit damage blade is a good choice to upgrade. It is. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. King's Blade Cornix is definitely a good choice as well because it gives us plus 10 on it. I definitely agree with that. I have to go look at Perry. I'm very, very curious about this. It'd be wild if that's how that was set up. Negate melee damage for a single hit. Grants these are plus one AP. Really interesting. Self-healing weapons like Howl Blade? Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, it could be a bug with coding, though, guys. That is the thing to consider. So testing is definitely warranted. Testing is absolutely warranted. 100%. If we have one person who I would say is a very trustworthy person in terms of being able to keep track of stuff in the game is saying that it does happen that way, it is worth testing just to see. Just to see. Okay, so we got two more we can do. And our sword masters do like the damage. Dancer's Delight would be a good choice. And the Sanguine Blade, definitely a good choice. That would help with survivability a lot, I would imagine.
Might be wrong. We had a whole discussion on this in the Discord during the demo tested and everything. Oh, I completely missed that discussion. I did completely miss that discussion. Interesting. Sylph's Bane is definitely a good option. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the anti-flying is very solid. Uh, what was it we were looking to put on Charlotte? It was... The Banishing Hammer, yeah. Specifically because it removes debuffs. Morningstar is more raw damage. But the Banishing Hammer removing buffs is really nice. However, switching to that when we need it might be the better play, because it's not really about the damage there, whereas Morningstar is all about the damage. It's also a single target. Probably good to use on the Banishing Hammer. Alright, Uno Mas. Uno Mas. Trapper's Warbo would not be bad. Healing Hunter would not be bad with the Interrogator's Bow. I feel like Trapper's Warbow is a good choice, though. Because that's a big damage attack. Cool. Big, big upgrades. Very nice. Uh, now then, I'm seeing Feather Shields floating around. We're also out of honor, I just realized. <laughs> Shit. I was not thinking about that. Ah, damn it. Alright, so we're gonna have to get more honor built up. Not that that's that hard to do. Be able to get our last couple of Feather units online. We needed that on Sullied Scrap Metal for elsewhere. I mean, we also needed it here, so, like, not a huge deal. Why are you doing this for us? I mean, thank you. Well, you're quite welcome, weirdly suspicious little <laughs> angel girl. Do let me know if you require People assistance. are testing. It looks like it was fixed. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because that would have been weird. Gale Cutter. Double Blast. Attack two enemies plus 80 potency versus flying targets. Ooh. Okay. That is cool. I like that. Definitely scooping May the that Father up. Bless you. Archbishop's Miter. Plus five magic attack. Relic heal. Activates after an ally is hit by an attack. Restores moderate HP to an ally and grants HP regen. Not bad for a frontline tank. We'll scoop that up. May the Father bless you. Cool. I hope you found everything you sought and more. I'll keep them safe. There was actually no forts in that area. There's one over here. Although, yeah, we couldn't access this one before, could we? Feather shields are here. Okay, I need 40 honor. I need 40 honor. I want to get my feather shield, damn it. Uh, let's go to... Uh, to... to Cornea. Yes! Actually, we can turn in more here as well. Because we're going to need enough for a feather staff as well. Cool. Back we go. Finally going to get Dre's unit in here. Let's go. Okay. And Dre is an absolute god. So, took a screenshot of his exact customization settings for his own feather shield that he wanted me to bring in, so that's awesome. Okay, Uriel. Already excellent. We are already off to a very good start. Oh! They have units named Thomas here! It's me! I could be a feather shield! Very cool! <laughs> 
All right, there's Uriel, Lucky Defensive. Cool. Flax in for the base color. Okay. No hair color. Brass armor, too. Hello, God of Gold. Accent color, purple. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Compose three. Keep a level head, everyone. It's wise to withdraw. Your orders, if you... I'm in a bit of trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the party, Uriel. I feel stronger than ever. It is a pleasure to have you, sir. Nice. Get goat milk. I have to find goat milk. Wasted cornea. <laughs> Feather shield's got legs for days, though. They are very tall. They are very tall, but I'm also tall. Use brass armor, too, on every unit. Hell yeah. From the spreadsheet, it looks like Draken holds the name generator for Ajax. Just letting you know for the first campaign. Yes, definitely. And that makes sense, because that's the first place you can find Dark Knights anyway. Janie, you're meeting tonight? Oh. I thought it was. Oh, right, that whole thing. Right, 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 that whole thing. Okay. Gotcha. I'll be wrapping up soon here anyway. I'll be going for seven hours, so... <laughs> Just so you're not worried about me, like, talking over your meeting or anything like that. Because I do also have work in the morning as well, so... Jane is already hitting the hubris of being an artist. <laughs> the extreme entropy of having to finish an assignment. <laughs> These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes Not working fly out the way with you them. To, huh? Well, go take a, take a breather. <laughs> Derek Bailey and Matt Shen have both subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Like the red max with copper armor and red everything. Hell yeah, Sean. Nothing wrong with that. Goat milk is from goats after giving them goat biscuits. We've not had an opportunity to give goats goat biscuits, but we did see goats. Where the... F where did we see goats? Where did we see goats? That was... somewhere. I think it was over here, actually. If I remember correctly. It was definitely near the start of the area. Yeah, here. Goat appears to be hungry, but I don't have anything for it to eat. Uh huh. They were literally on screen. Wait, what? What do you mean they were literally on screen? What are you on about? Hold on. I don't believe you, chat. Going back. Okay, all the way down here. I wasn't looking down here, okay? I was like, my screen was like up here. I couldn't see the goats, chat. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. I have no idea what you're talking about, chat. There weren't any goats there. I don't know what you're talking about. Goats aren't real, chat. It's like ice. Ice is an invention of the future, chat. It's a myth. It's a conspiracy. It's not actually a real thing, chat. They're not actually real. There's no goats, chat. Welcome to my humble store. I can Look around as here, much chat. as you please. A flat biscuit blown by wild Albion goats while edible as appeals lost on the human palate. All right, I'll buy like twenty. We're gonna buy like. My thanks. We're gonna buy like twenty goat biscuits, chat, and then we're gonna go feed the goats, chat. I don't know if you guys know, but I really like to feed the goats, chat, because we really want their milk so we can upgrade these towns, chat. It's a really good thing for the economy, chat. I don't know if you do that. We're gonna offer the goat a biscuit, chat. We gave the goat a biscuit. Now is my chance to acquire the goat milk, chat. We have acquired goat milk. The goat finished its biscuit and promptly ran off. I don't know why this is a thing for us to do, but we're gonna keep offering these goats biscuits, chat. We're going to acquire all the goat milk. We're gonna be the most milkinest, m milkinest goat herders this side of Albion, chat. It's gonna be great. 
ASMR go feeding stream. <laughs> they hung you. <laughs> like we were looking for your phone and it's in your hand the whole time. Shut up, chat. You're wrong. I refuse. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I've been playing this game for seven hours. <laughs> Can't trust me to see every goat on the screen because all of the, the entire game is a goat. All I see is goats. The goats are everywhere, chat. <laughs> oh, God. Funny. <laughs> Now's my chance. <laughs> like, why did you have to say it like that, Elaine? <laughs> Don't be weird about it, dude. Goats are a federal myth created to control the masses. Goats aren't real, chat. They aren't real. <laughs> know what I enjoy? Your 1940s newscaster voice. Well, chat, it seems like there might be goats around here. If we go ahead and get these biscuits and we can feed these goats and get the milk so we can get our economy back in shape. Because if there's anything we need to do after the Great War, let's get our economy back in shape, chat. Tom is goat blind. Don't abuse the disability. Sometimes you goat, sometimes you goat not. <laughs> uh, well, I'm certainly glad that we were able to feed the goats here today, chat, because now we're going to be able to ensure that our families are well fed and well rested. And to be able to be well fed and well rested is to be able to perform well on the field of battle, chat. And that's the most important thing here, chat. We're going to give this goat milk to the people who are in need, chat. Because we are altruists like that. Losing it. I am absolutely losing it right now. Tom, this isn't Cult of the Lamb. It is now. It is now. One more hour and you have a full work day? That's true, but consider that I already put out a video today which took about two hours, so we've already surpassed a full work day. <laughs> And just think, whenever I have days where I work, I work, then I do a video, and then sometimes I stream. So that's like way more than a full work day. I figure out where Uriel is going to go as well. Uh, here's the cemetery. Very good. Thank. I legitimately, it's hard for me to see this stuff right now. I'm so tired. So thank you. Do an entire video on ghosts, you'll get a million views. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. Where goats are healers? They probably are, honestly. They look like they would be. We gotta clock in that OT. <laughs> Tom the milkman on his delivery run. Yep. Oh my word. Oh hello. There's definitely gonna be a treasure map that leads down there. No question. Uh, well. It's pretty much just all forward from here. Vicefane Basilica, the seat of Albion's government, lies just beyond this gate. You know, I could fly there if I wanted, but it still feels isolated somehow. Interesting. I'm assuming this is locked. Don't seem to open. Yep. We can get the Grand Barris. Oh, true! This is very true. We did get a Divine Shard. Good call. Nice. I feel like we just immediately slap that onto our shiny new Feather Shield, right? And also, where the hell does he go? Uh... I feel like it might be time to drop Unify. Put our Feather Shield in here. Probably not a bad play. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time for Unify to go. Goodbye, Unify. And welcome, Uriel. So. 
Attacks enemies and inflicts magic defense down, which will be good for our fencer. Magic defense up. Magic defense up and two passive points. Reflects magic attacks. Blocks hits. Mirror weakness. Removes the user's debuffs. Reflects all removed debuffs on a target. That's... That's good. And that would be anti-synergistic with the Grand Barris. However... Is that actually that big of a deal? Feather Shield and Snow Ranger are two different roles, though. On the one hand, yes. On the other hand, I literally just had Snow Ranger shoved in this squad just to use Yunifi while we were in Basoria. But, like, now, nah, whatever. Feather Shield and Lex use the same gear. They do, but they have different roles. Because the arrow block and everything. And Lex up here has been very vital in keeping our Wyvern alive. Like, he's a very integral part of this squad at this point. I don't want to change that up now if I can avoid it. Whereas here, having an actual defensive unit to help keep Bruno alive and trigger more attacks off of our Lance Connect and everything, I like the sound of that. So we're going to go with this. At least for now. You know, we have to actually play with the class and see how it feels. Um, is your hill a Gundam? <laughs> Close. Feather shields will also block the arrows. They will, but... We want to make sure that he actually blocks, because he is a flying unit. He is flying, so he'll take extra damage from uh, arrows. And unlike fighters, he's not guaranteed to reduce the damage. So Lex very much still has a role there, for sure. Put the Grand Barris on him for now. Damn, you can actually make these guys fairly quick. It's pretty cool. They don't have good magic attack. The runic sword would be a little bit of a waste. Dragonbone blade for extra passive points, though, is not terrible. Hallowed blade for some self healing isn't bad. Hmm. I have Rosalinda hooked up with King's Lance Elthal on the Ring of the Maiden. Not only means magic spear, but a plus 10 to all stats and a mass AoE attack. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. That sounds phenomenal. The Elf Sisters are going to be awesome. I can't wait to use them in the Truzen Oiren run. Unify is, like, one of the best units, and you're like, whatever. Not better than my patron and YouTube member units, though. It's just facts. If we gave him a Runic Blade, he could deal magic damage, but realistically... Impulse would be nice for the magic damage from our Fencer. So I think we're going to just chill with a sword that gives him good stats. Possibly some self-healing. Yeah, I think Vorpal Sword is solid here for now. Now. Hmm. I would really like him to have extra passive points. This whole haste and charge thing sucks. 
That's the conclusion that I've come to with that. I hate the haste and charge. So, we're going to go with something else here. Thank you very much. Uh, she gets counter, ground counter. We're going to put that on. She's going to get something other than the Celestial Talisman. Like, say... Wyvern Reigns. And she's going to lose this Sapphire Pendant in favor of probably something that increases her damage. A Green Beret. That sounds good. Now, we can get the good good over here. Nice. And then finally... Something else fancy, but what? Sapphire we haven't bought yet in one of the cities, yes. Feather Shield does not need passive point items, he has infinite passive points to sacrifice. He does, yeah. However, reflect magic. With a sapphire pendant, we can make sure that we have enough to reflect magic while still keeping a passive point for sacrifice. And obviously we don't need mirror weakness because we can't get debuffed, but. Hmm. With that in mind, we could give him another nice, like, buff ability or something. Counter, ground counter, wide pursuit. Yeah, we don't really want the pursuits here, though, is the thing. Silphic barrier, allow now to evade one attack, hit by a ranged physical attack. I mean, at that point, we just block it, though, with sacrifice, so. Maybe just something that increases our guard rate, honestly, so we can just jump in the way of things with uh, sacrifice and then block. Some good gloves on, you know? When in doubt, 90% guard rate is pretty good. Reflect Magic and Sacrifice are both limited abilities. Right, so like, because Reflect Magic is above Sacrifice, if a Magic attack is coming in, he should prioritize Reflect Magic. Then he would reflect it at whoever used it. If it's just a regular attack, he jumps in the way with Sacrifice and absorbs the hit and gains passive points back. Lapis on Feather Shield is enough to net infinite PP. That's true. That is true. Yes. That is a very fair point. That is a very fair point. So, who would want the Sapphire? Probably our Cleric, honestly. There we go. Yeah, so that way... We have enough to reflect magic if it comes down to it. Then if we don't do that, we sacrifice. Seems good. When Crest Blades, Greg, he's not going to be hitting anything. It's really just competing with Zenora and Knight's Hurdle. It offers great defensive stats. I mean, that's true. He will hit things with impulse, though. He will. 
Because, like, we set this to first action. Then we impulse. Now, that said, that said, the Zenoran Knight Sword is good. Gives HP, physical defense, magic defense, and physical attack. And we don't, strictly speaking, need any of that on our Sainted Knight. So this is also a very good choice. If it's limited, it's only used once. Sacrifice, I mean. Uh, once per round of combat, I believe. Impulse does little damage. I mean, it's not a terrible amount of damage, but... We could probably go with the Zenora Knight Sword, though. That Rose is the spellcaster presence only. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, no, it's down. Okay. Pretty dece. Eighty one HP, forty four physical defense, fifty magical defense, not bad. It's not bad. Don't forget about elves too. Elves count as casters. So like if we look here, Elven and Caster. Elven and Caster. So, it'll catch both. Alright, let's test this in a mock battle. I want to see. How is this going to shake out? I want to know why we didn't encounter. It was because of Quick Curse. Because Quick Curse is limited. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, how do I work around that? Yeah, Druid's Curse prevented it. Hmm. 
quick curse physical attacks. Yeah. Set quick curse to attack by specifically not magic. Yeah. Definitely. So. Physically attacked. The issue is that that's only when the user suffers a physical attack, not anyone in general. No, it's good. Does it actually work? Let's see. Let us see. Yeah, that's brutal, man. That is brutal. Cool. Okay. So now, I want to make sure that that actually works, though. So let's test this against... These fine lads. I just want to make sure that Quick Curse is actually going to trigger. Okay, good. Yeah, it's good that that activates even though it's not her being attacked. I was worried about that, but... Not even worried. hits there. Yeah. Druid's fast unit in the party, it is, yes. All that matters is the attack that I top the target. It's good to know, because it definitely does not specify that as such in the description. <laughs> Set glowing light only when angels are present. Nah. Nah, the accuracy boost is really nice. Especially for something like Bruno. So I like having that. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to give Uriel a bunch of dues. Make sure he can really tank well. See, nice. Evasion to probably Vivian. Keenness. It's been absolutely. Agility.
Yeah, Chantal wants it for sure. Nice. Another step on the path of progress. Mystic Shield grants these are plus 50% magic defense and plus two passive points. Nice. I can always train harder. Another step on the path of progress. I can always train harder. There's our honed slash. Very nice. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. We may as well get her to, to forge 30. a brighter dawn for Fevrin. Nice. That way we've got photon arrow. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Squads like this, some healing may be handy for your tank. Potentially, yeah. That's why I am considering, rather than like... Rather than the Zenoiran Knight Sword, we could go with a self-healing item. We could also swap Scotty out. Because she's not doing too much here, honestly. Uh, you know what, while I'm thinking of it, because of healing, where is... for us and staff who just need an extra AP. So the question is who would I want for healing? I could go with like a party aid thief, honestly. That wouldn't be bad. Would give us some anti-flying as well. about the wolf pack gauntlets because those won't be good with the swamp anyway. There we go. Party aid. Very good. Get the team patched up at the end of the fight. How's it going now? See you. See you later, Dictionary. We're almost done here anyway. We're going to finish optimizing some stuff and then wrap it up here. suggest wa swapping out the Lance Connect. Mm. The thing about her is we're getting a bunch of damage off of the retaliations, though. Because we've got the lads tanking so much. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of that. And the Fire Slash gives good damage over time as well. Need 3 AP to use that? Yeah, I'm working These on that. These are beaten, that. broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride that. with them. has a Carnelian that really doesn't need it. You. Yeah. Yoink. <laughs> you really do not need a Carnelian. What well, you probably want. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Hmm. What do you want, actually? More initiative? Yeah, definitely. What is Wolfpack Call? I don't think I've seen that item. Oh, that's a fun one. Uh, hmm, the question is, where do I want to put them?
There's just so many start of battle effects, man. Do it here, actually. Drop the nocturnal strike. Put the wolf pack on here. Wolf pack is nice. Wolf pack is nice. Let's find it here. I wish all the gauntlets got lumped together, though. That would be really nice. Here we go. Wolf pack. Activates the start of a battle, grants plus 20% physical attack to all allies, grants plus 50% critical rate to bestral targets. Boom. Realistically. Oh my god, you're still rocking an iron shield. I haven't up I haven't touched Thice in so long. Wild. I mean there's all sorts of different stuff that she could use, honestly. Honestly, probably Templar Shield is good. Um she could use the wolf pack, honestly. She definitely could. And she might like the Lapis Shield as well. Yeah, I don't think we need the Wide Inspiration here, honestly. Which will allow us to do some way better stuff. Honestly, yeah, just put some damage here. Do that. We've got Warhorn. Frenzied Strike on. Take the Azure Crest Shield in exchange for... A luminous shield, perhaps, because of all the blindness here. Then. Then. Hmm. Actually, yeah, hold on. We can put the Azure Crest here. And then we can put the Wolfpack Gauntlets on our Lance Connect instead. Yeah, I like that. So we can get 100% crit rate here easily by putting a eye patch on and then putting over the Rose Broche Wolfpack Gauntlets. Now we're getting somewhere. Cool. It's like, yeah, the AP is great, whatever, but like we're going to get the physical attack here anyway. Not too worried about the bull force. We'll have enough for following slash. We'll have bastards cross. Yeah. Then we wolf pack, buff the team. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Fifty percent crit rate. So actually, I would like to have another Carnelian here. Who can I steal another Carnelian from? <laughs> actually, yeah. Hold on. Why does this thief have a ruby? What was I doing with that? Oh, for shadow bite and passive steal and stuff. It's not bad. Uh, who else has a Carnelian who doesn't need one? So if we get one more Carnelian here, this we'd be able to do a lot with this guy. So, I don't know that we need one here, really. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Mystic Conferral here, honestly. I think I'd rather just Ice Skull Arrow. So we take this Carnelian Pendant.
put a sorcerer's pendant on instead for more damage. Nice. And then we put that Carnelian over here instead of a mercenary's eye patch because we're going to get plenty of crit from the Wolfpack Gauntlets anyway. This is the name of the game, chat. Optimization and fiddling with stuff. Farewell, Bruno's burners. Your fire shall not be forgotten. They already didn't have the chlorotic staff. It had already fallen apart, man. But having it on the sweep is really nice. If we do this... Then we get the retaliations whenever they attack our front line here. Maybe that is actually better. The issue... is we don't want to flame conferral here, so let's flame conferral front row only. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, that way we've got the flame conferral on our sweep again. That's better. About the complaint of limited skills being limited, especially start of combat, it's seriously a major contributing factor to the game's ability to keep any one unit from steamrolling the whole game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. I completely hear you. Okay. I think that's about as optimized as we're going to get it tonight. <laughs> Holy stream, Batman. Yega Mahoney. That was a lot. But we made damn fine progress. Damn fine progress. If we put in a good stream next time, we should be able to finish this run. Man. I still want to know what this is about. The Hippocampus carving. This has to be part of the carved stone of Albion, right? Because this island is part of Albion, so... <laughs> Which is hysterical that that's there. Taunting you from the very beginning of the game. Not bad. Not bad. From here, we just clear the other half of Albion. Go into Cornea. Take the capital. Pretty much done. See whatever there is in post-game. Updated estimate based on this session may actually take two more streams to finish the main game. Really? Fair enough. We'll see. We'll see. It'll probably be shorter streams anyway, honestly. If I do have work the next four days, so. Not too shabby. Alright, chat. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you all for hanging out, for being here. Lovely stream. Thank you for tolerating the heated discussion of effectiveness of different units as well. I stand by my stance, and I was not about to back down, so thank you for tolerating that. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to finish Albion. See if that puts us on track to finish Cornea and do the post-game stuff, and if not, we'll do a second stream. Plenty of good content to come on the channel as well, so I hope you look forward to that. Comprehensive Unit Overview Part 2 is almost done. I'll probably finish scripting that while I'm at work tomorrow. Maybe get it out tomorrow night. We'll see. We'll see. Big maybe on that. But in the more streams and keep on keeping on. Those fun streams starting to get tired. Going to head to bed. Yep. See you later, everybody. Very, very good to have you all. I will talk to you all very soon. Uh, oh, and Teus and Joe Rodden have both subscribed. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here near the end. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other, everybody. <laughs>